Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Walt Disney World. We are here at Epcot, one of our favorite parks. And today is a very special day. Not because this guy's buying gifts for everybody, but because it is the first, or I shouldn't say the first, there's been many flower and garden festivals, but it's opening day of the 2024 Flower and Garden Festival. We're pumped, we're excited. We made a lap around the park last night to, to kind of figure out which topiaries we're gonna hit first. There's some new ones, some classics. They look great, they relocated a bunch. Look at all these shoppers. They were clearing off the shelves this morning. I was watching videos. It's wild. I don't, I hope they're dropping them all off at a charity somewhere. Doubt it, but <laughs> maybe I like to look, I like to look at the bright side. Glass half full. Anyway, speaking of glasses half full, we're gonna try some drinks today. We're gonna try some food. We're gonna look at all the topiaries. We're gonna check out the entertainment, everything that Flower and Garden Festival has to open. And it really is the most beautiful time here at Epcot. The flower beds look great. Uh, all the planters that are out. Just, it is a shout out to the horticulture team here at Disney. An absolutely amazing job. Fun fact about the horticulture team. They have a big tree in their logo. That tree is the tree that's over at Liberty Square in uh, Magic Kingdom. If you can do me a favor, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing. I have to give you some Disney pavement because Disney security doesn't like being on film. It's for everyone's safety. So a uh, good time to share the stream. Like I said, like, subscribe, and uh, say hi in the chat. We'll catch up with the chat in a minute. Hi. Hi, I've seen your channel. Oh, thanks. I was like, I'm and he told me, I'm like, oh, I'm sick. <laughs> I live here locally too. Oh, nice. Have you lived here your whole life? No. Oh. I'm not, I'm not born. My husband's military for 35 years. Oh, well, thank you for our, thank you for your service. Okay, I'll come on. <laughs> me? All right, we're going to security. <laughs> You got ding too? Yeah. I never get dinged. I did the same exact stuff last night. I, so did I. I never get dinged. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy. I, think I got they, nothing in here. I think they can turn them up a little bit. Oh, extra sensitive mode? Yeah, for when, for, for, for like opening days, because these are the biggest. I guess, yeah, because I literally have nothing in here but a water bottle of clothes and chargers. And it's the same chargers I bring every single time. Maybe they're, they're just fans of Adventures by Carney, and you have to stop. That could be it. That could could be it. I did pack a lot of stickers. That the stickers together might look like something. I don't know. I figured out that if I bring the pins, the pins set it up. So I stopped bringing pins. But I get it. I'd rather be safe this time. No doubt. Just got to do their job. I'm just really hoping they start frisking soon. I've been I've been asking him like are you sure you don't need a full Why body? Is that man wearing a parka this every time? <laughs> All right. How are you? How are you doing today? Good. Anything in your pocket? Cell so phone keys, wallet. Yeah, all those things. All right, here, please. <laughs> your backpack on this side. All right. When you're ready, step back right here. Face to the table. Your arms up. Oh. Maybe that's it. This is a new belt. Yeah, I'll do that. Thank you. Thank you. It's a new belt. I was wondering what would set it off. Oh, that's a big belt. I didn't, I didn't bring anything new. I have the same pack all the time. Yeah, those belts you All right, belts, good to know. No longer wearing this belt. It's like a big one. Yeah, that's why it's setting off. It's like a big enough to... It's like... You can get your keys and all okay. that. You're doing some exercise with this one. Oh, it's a long day. Flower and garden. Yeah. You're going to be here all day. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a fun one. Yeah. The 
came prepared. We got all the water bottles, we got the chargers. You got the chargers, you got the Good to go. Ready. Good to go. Right, I'm just gonna put, do you mind if I just put that in the middle? Sure, go ahead. All set, we're good? All set. All right. Thanks for helping us out. Have a great day, man. You too, thanks for keeping us safe, bro. That's good to share. Thanks so much, you too. Thanks for keeping us safe. Anytime. How'd you get there before me? I love when I pack my brand new screen Don't protector. Don't tell me that. Oh, the screen protector. I was like, Don't tell me you just cracked your screen. Yeah, it'll, it'll be okay. I just have to figure out how to work this. How much of today is going to be you learning and playing with camera equipment? <laughs> this, is, I, this, this guy's me. got 40 different camera equipment items. Every time you pull stuff out of your bag, it looks like you robbed a Radio Shack. Yes, I'm a nerd. I, I'm not saying it in a bad way, just you have so many devices. I want to be like, just for fun, test you. Like. And the one I probably don't have that I need, and the one I know I don't have that I probably am going to need too, is a pacemaker. A pacemaker. <laughs> getting very old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all are. Well, everyone, you can see the flowers and garden festival pole has been wrapped. Well, I should say the pole has been wrapped all different colors and different logos. You can see the colors going all the way down. It's beautiful. I'm telling you, it is the best time of year to come to Epcot. All right, well, we're gonna keep our eyes out for fruit for Daniel. Just for you. Pass holder, yeah, <laughs> none of the pass holders know how to go through. Nah, look at this, we're gonna fly through. Oh, I, didn't, I really hope I made a reservation. I think I forgot. No, it's a, it's a good day, you don't need a reservation. Is it? Yeah. It is a good day. It's oh, a you, good to go You day. were right, you were right. Little shovel noise. This is the 2019 Flower and Garden Magic Band. And this year's opening topiary from Wish, Disney's Wish. Asha and Friends in the background. You got more than one? Daniel's got our passports. She was just explaining the sticker situation again this year. And she said, you look like you could eat my boy. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, ma'am. Yeah. Here we go. We got our passport for the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival 2024. Kicking off today and going until May 27th. They also have the Garden Rocks Concert Series. So every night they'll be over at the American Gardens Theater. Love the music loop. I mean, of course the old one was a classic, but this is fun and inspiring. Besides Daniel being here, by the way, I didn't even say hi. We, we, we've been talking, but that's Daniel, the Tomorrowland Traveler. You should go follow his YouTube channel. He's got a great one. Well, he has two. Tomorrowland Traveler, and tell everyone your secret one. Uh, WDW POV. WDW POV. It's better than it sounds, trust me. Peter's other view. I believe that stands for. Get, uh, Happy we, Wednesday. How, how busy it is with how, how Spaceship Earth is? Or? Spaceship is always busy in the morning. Yeah. Always busy in the morning. Look, Minnie's out. If you come into Epcot in the morning, it's usually one of the the Minnie right here. Goofy's just down the way. But if you want to get those character photos in, they're usually hanging out here in the mornings, early afternoons. I think personally we should start on the left. Okay. Because we could show off the new Groot topiary. I think I want to zigzag through the, the upper communities. You guys know them as Future World. But uh, World Celebration has uh, figments right in the middle 
of the new planter in the new area that was opened up with the construction walls coming down. There is a baby Groot topiary, which is new for this year. You see everybody leaving? Did you see that over here? Oh, so much merch. People just come in, buy all the merch, and leave. We'll show you the merch, whatever's left. But Disney's gotten smart where they just go, all right, we'll just buy more and release more. For those who are unaware, there are people who just come in the opening day of festival, the literal max they can of all that merch and then resell it online. And we know that, uh, like, I have no issue if, like, someone, like, I mean, I help others out. They call me up or text me or message me and say, hey, Pete, if you can, can you buy me one of these or one of these, one of these? Yeah, sure. I'm buying them for somebody else. But people come in, they just buy the max and then sell them on eBay. And again, I'm not the biggest merch person, so it doesn't bother me as much. But I know there's a lot of people who don't have opportunities to buy the merch they want. So, I don't know, I just feel bad for them. But today's a great day. It's a positive day. We're staying positive. All right, I'm thinking we start by Guardians, check out the Topes, cut straight across World Celebration, over towards the land, check out the Topes, zigzag back across into the World Showcase. It'll be 11 o'clock. The booths open up. The World Showcase is happening. What is up, Very good. Hey, what's up? How you doing, man? Doing great. You want to be on camera? Sure. Shout out to Ordo. The 407 or the 321? Oh, before I lose time, but I'm vlogging. I'm not live streaming. Oh, OK. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, you should go follow follow the Bradleys Fun. We both do. Me and Daniel both subscribe, and you should go subscribe as well. You're smart. You're going to be taking your time, eating and drinking, vlogging, and putting out a nice edited video. I'm going live for the whole thing. <laughs> no, yeah. We're going to be live for hours and hours. I can't be live because my allergies are killing me. I'll sneeze all day. Like, yeah. I, like, for, for, for videoing through my sneeze, like between There's got to be some kind of fun <laughs> sneeze challenge. Like every time I sneeze, like someone's got to donate $5 to charity there or something go. like that. Um, but hopefully we see out there, we're, we're just making our way around. We're, we're going to zigzag around the front until the World Showcase opens, look at some of the new topiaries, and then head into the World Showcase. Yeah. So I'm going to find all the good food for the day. Yes, we have a list too. So if you see us in the World Showcase, come join in, come say hi. We'll, we'll try food and taste food together. It's a family affair here at Epcot. We're all family. Good, good to see you, buddy. You as well. Nice to meet you. Follow the Bradley's right. Fun. That's a great channel. <laughs> all right. I see people are trickling in. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We are at Epcot. It's the first day of Flower and Garden Festival 2024. If you haven't hit the like button yet, please do so. It really helps. I say this every stream, and I know it gets old, but really, magic happens once we hit 100. Like, YouTube just kicks us up in the algorithm, and that 100 just blows up. We get recommended to more people. It's amazing. So it may not seem like a big deal, but it really is to me, and it would really help. So if you're on a phone or a computer, it's easy. Just hit the like button. You can tap it, smash it, bop it, twist it. On TV, you might have to like do something fun with the remote, like hit the up button and then hit like. But it helps. Sign in any other accounts. Let's blow this stream up. There's going to be a lot of flower and garden content out there. And I think everyone, oh, monorail check, what a nice view. And I think they're all going to be fantastic, at least most. But we're going live so you can see it in real time and not miss any of the fun. And we should be meeting up with a nice little crowd as well. And we're going to try to do what we did for Festival of the Arts opening day is do it in teams. We can get a lot done quickly. Maybe hit one center area and send the team out to two or three booths, bring everything back, review everything for you, let you know what we think. You got a few different takes on it because that way everyone's got different palettes. Big shout out to Steven Noon, Steven Noon MVP. Go hit him up in our Discord. Go follow him on Instagram, too. He's amazing. I got to get a... Can we get a link to Steven Noon's Instagram? Anyone want to help me out moderator-wise? That would be amazing. Because he... Not only is he an amazing person and supports the channel and just an overall nice guy, he has a list of every food and beverage item, what's new for this year, what's not new, where the stuff is, what we should do. It just was an awesome list, and he's a great guy. So go follow Stephen Noon MVP on Instagram. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I, I always want to tell people they're invited to tag along, but I don't want people to feel obligated. Yeah, and, and the way he jumped up, I was like, he, I know him from somewhere, but I couldn't. 
you never see it. Hey, I, never I know, I knew his face. I just couldn't place it for a second. By the way, if you ever see us in the parks, if we've met before, just come up and say hi anyway with your name because it's hard to keep track. Look at Groot. He's got the green house mix volume one. They got a photo pass person out here. Here, one of the green shirts. That's the photo pass team. Look how awesome that topiary is. And at night it lights up, including the two little, I guess we can call them funky insects on the left and right, but they glow at night, which is real cool. And then if we continue this way, I'm kind of glad we mapped this out last night. Right in front of Mission Space, we're heading to infinity and beyond with the Buzz Lightyear topiary. I just fixed the stream. While we walk around, let me say hi to some people real quick. What's up to Mike Brainy? says, good luck today braving the eBay resellers. Yeah, there's a lot of them here. Jason Andrews, today is my birthday. Happy birthday, Jason. Also, happy birthday, Jamie. Happy birthday. Uh, Kelsey, we got a lot of birthdays. Pete Stummy, what's up? Good morning. Says you should subscribe. It's as easy as one, two, three. I, I, I would totally agree with that. We're only like 200 and change away from 9K. We're going to do a live nine hour stream here at Disney. And then 10K, we're going all out. We're going crazy. So please, if you're thinking about it, try subscribing. I recommend getting the bell on. Hit that little bell, hit all notifications. You don't miss any of our live streams. We also announce the live streams on my socials. So my Instagram is at official Carney. My Twitter is at your WDW guy. And my TikTok is Adventures by Carney. Our Discord is Adventures by Carney. Our website is Adventures by Carney.fun. Look who it is. Marquita's here. Look who it is over here. Donald Duck is here. Donald. I like the He looks great in that, right? <laughs> It's too hot for sleeves today. It's going to be a bajillion degrees. It's, it's 80 something. It's too hot. Donald's hanging out in the community garden. He's got a little bee on his head. That he's looking up at. That's real cute. We got tomatoes growing. The community garden can exist any place where people come together to cultivate the land. Perfect for growing a wide range of plants. These ingenious gardens can be found in areas as different as the blacktop parking lot or in an open field. And while their size and shape may vary, all community gardens have one thing in common. They provide people with a sense of connection to the earth and to each other. And there he is, my man Donald. What? What do you mean, backpack? No, same as always. Although we think it's my belt that got it off today. I have nothing new in there and I got stopped by security. What? Oh. There's also gonna be a lot of vloggers today and we'll film all of them yeah <laughs> uh oh we should show you doing louis before we go into the main concourse into world i'm gonna try and show all the top areas up front before we make our way into the world showcase there we can go to the butterfly garden everyone gets to do what they want today it's flower and garden festival look at these prehistoric plants Millions of years ago, dinosaurs roamed vast coniferous forests filled with ancient trees, colossal uh, cycads, cycads, cycads. It's weird. I pride myself in knowing most words. Don't know that one. Ferns and mosses. Over millennia of geological transformation, these prehistoric plants became the coal and oil we use as fuel today. There's the macho fern, the king sago. Look at the little dinosaurs in here. I like learning things. You got some fossils down there. The ruby red club moss, the Venus flytrap, be careful. Spike moss, the eyelash fern, the Norfolk Island pine. It's fun. I like these little exhibits. Happy birthday. Thank you. All right. But I really want to show you guys Huey, Dewey, and Louie. The boys are back in town. Look at these cuties. All right, now we can go across. Let's go look at Figment. 
Sunscreen. I had some. You should have asked me. All right. We are definitely going to get some color today. By we, I mean definitely me. As I was saying, I know there's going to be a lot of people uh, vlogging, vlogging today. So I really appreciate you being here. It means a lot to me. Thanks so much. And if you're enjoying the stream and you want to share it with others, that would be much appreciated. Everybody needs a little magic from Disney, especially on the opening day of Flower and Garden Festival when the park is dressed to the nines. We got new food and drink to try, new entertainment to see. And as you can see, there are a lot of topiaries. Ah, the shade it feels wonderful. Hopefully it's heating up where you're watching. I know we got people watching from all over, so big shout out to all of you. Say hi in the chat, let me know where you're from. Look at all this merch. They did a nice job here in the New World celebration uh, in terms of jazzing it up a little bit for Flower and Garden. Going all the way around, you have these towers. Towers of flowers? Flower towers? I joke this is like uh, the college campus during the day and at night, it becomes like all that magic of Disney, but it doesn't have a very college campus vibe over here. Or like you work at Apple. You get some sun. Now Figment's in the middle, but we're gonna take a little long way there because they did add a booth over here. This is new, the festival market. This was just an empty space and we said we had a feeling they were gonna put something here and they did. We have a lot of booths to try, a lot of food. I hope you're hungry. Also, if you want to get your own uh, view of the festival, here's the two QR codes. This is the festival events and offerings and this is for the allergy friendly menu. Can you do me a favor? Can you scan the, this one and see if that shows all the show times for today? I'm not sure if it will, but I was just trying to look that up. You're the best. How was your party last night? You went out last, late last night. We, you were texting me late. I was like debating too, like, should I go? And then I'm like, no, tomorrow's Flower and Garden. I'll behave myself. They also put a festival market over here too. You were partying. What? It's all food. Oh, food. Oh, I was hoping it was an entertainment schedule. They got Figment and the new planter in the middle. You see Figgy? Can't Figgy with it. Last night was a logistical nightmare for cast members as there was a private event going on here. So they closed all walkways down there to go around connections to the front of the park. The problem was if you were somebody getting off of imagination where we're headed now, you were stuck there. And if you wanted to get back to the world showcase for fireworks or to get to, let's say the Skyliner, you had to walk from imagination around the front of Spaceship Earth, around connections and into the world showcase to the Skyliner. What a nightmare. And they told the cast members last minute that they closed all these walkways off. Felt so bad. I put it on my Twitter if you want to go check, but there was one cast member, Madison. She was amazing. Oh, there's Daisy walking her way up towards Walt. Daisy does a meet and greet right over here typically in the morning. So if you're looking for Daisy, she's by the metal umbrellas. Uh, the, um, let's say the, uh, <laughs> I don't know, EDC area of the college campus. There he is. Anything, uh, anything new in there? Lots of tables, lots of charging ports up here now as well. So if you're looking to hang out, they're still finishing Communicore. This will open up, they say this year, but it, uh, as you can tell, it's still working on it. They're getting there slowly. We'll head over towards the seas and the land. Also, you may have heard in Disney news that the new Moana attraction 
has a couple elements that have been down. So they're fixing those and refurbing those now. That's to the right. It got a little bit of criticism because it just opened, but I like to say maybe some growing pains. A lot of rides. Oh, you can see the uh, construction workers working diligently during the day to get that done. Um, hey, nice blue point shirt. Uh, I mean, look at any attraction in the first few months of the first year. It goes through some growing pains. Like Frozen Ever After here at Epcot would break down like every day for the first few months. <laughs> but I still like Moana. I think more everything. Let's check out. They move this year. This is normally around the corner, but the Lion King topiary. You can see Simba, Mufasa, Rafiki. They look fantastic. Looks great. Want to go look at some butterflies? You may be thinking, all right, I love the Lion King, but what about Timon and Pumbaa? Don't worry, have no fear. Timon and Pumbaa, they are here. Right here in front of us. Why, when he was a young Lord, God bless you. It's amazing. There they are. Look at Timon and Pumbaa. You can see some butterfly topiaries right next to where we're headed, the butterfly landing. While we do that, we'll also say hi to some people while we walk, so I don't get too far behind in the chat. Again, uh, good morning to Mike, Jason, Pete, Robert, D. You want me to lane, lane anything? Love it. Everything. No, I don't know. What should we do? I mean, rides are like a second like priority, but maybe, uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, living with the land. Let's do living with the land for sure. Hi, Lynette. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Bill D. Sivako, everyone. Phenomenal Brandy, what's going on? Thomas T-Bone, Jamie Philippone, good morning. Andy Van Dyke, my man, good morning. Peach is P in the house. Says good morning, Pete and the crew. It's a rainy day. Oh, up in the Delaware, Maryland, Virginia area. My man, Arm Bandito in the house. Are you ready? James B says, I love this festival. We'll be there in a few weeks. Until then, I'll enjoy today's stream. Thanks so much, and I'm excited for you to be here. Sorry, I was talking fast. I have a lot to say sometimes. <laughs> Armandito, no, we did not. Lady Kirk, good morning. Says, working and lurking. I love it. Shout out to all the lurkers out there. Only 30 likes away from 100. Let's go. We can do it. Captain Kirk is here as well. This is the exit. Yes. Ryan's here. Look at the group just keeps growing. Happy Flower and Garden. Happy Flower and Garden. Pete's favorite festival. You know, you know Ryan, right? Do you know Ryan? Yeah. Okay. You say hi? Want me to introduce? Yeah. Okay. Ryan, you know Daniel, Daniel, you know Ryan, right? Everyone knows everyone. Just making sure. I like to make sure everyone's friendly. They have this cool new uh, little booth. It looks like they're just going to have some hummus, pretzels, fruit bars, but I like the grass moss look on the side. But right now, we're headed into Butterfly Landing, presented by Advent Health. From the tip of the wings to the top of the antenna, every part of the butterfly must be taken care of. Just like a butterfly, spending time outdoors among fresh air, sunshine, and trickling water can leave you feeling whole. Discover how to get the most out of your time outside, leaving you feeling happier and healthier. Now that is a flower butterfly, but we're going in to the real deal. I feel like we're going in one of my friend's bedrooms. I know, did 
David wants to walk through it, Julia. I mean, how many friends do you still have that have beards? I said used to, like back in like, you know, high school and college. Not okay, anymore. I was about to say. Like, That's why I was like, oh, I'm listening. No. All also, all I don't know how many of my friends' bedrooms I go into now in my age. Like, you don't really do that after like high school and college. Like, hey, can I come over to your house and hang out in your bedroom? I mean, some people do that, but. You're right, I do that. There's a whole other context. Listen, I was waiting for the invite. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I just hung out on the couch. Some big, beautiful butterflies right there. Right there, the white one on the purple. Oh, wow. I think that one's just the right peacock. Welcome to the Butterfly House. Spending time in nature is a great way to relax, rejuvenate, and practice mindfulness, the art of living in the moment. As you walk through this garden, take a moment to notice all the living things around you, from the smallest butterfly to the tallest tree. There are two types of plants you might find in the Butterfly House, host plants and nectar plants. Before they turn into butterflies, caterpillars need host plants for their food. In fact, each species has a particular plant that they like best. So you can choose your plants based on the kind of butterfly you'd like to attract. For example, monarchs love to munch on milkweed, while swallowtails prefer dill. Once their metamorphosis is complete, butterflies get their energy from drinking nectar. Some plants that provide this tasty drink include butterfly bush, black-eyed Susans, and coneflowers. The more you know, and you can see some future butterflies right here. Pretty wild. And lots of beautiful flowers. Here's some crimson passion flowers, some coral plants. Who doesn't like a good water element? Lots of butterflies over here. The heliconian butterflies, the monarchs, the malachites. I saw a zebra longwing. And I'm not a butterfly expert, but I do know a zebra longwing when I see one. See a lot of them flying around up there. This one's about to escape. Oh, almost had a prison break. Another beautiful butterfly topiary at the exit. <laughs> Have a great day, friend. It's a beautiful day at Epcot. We lost Daniel in the butterfly house. I mean, I think the, the, the pink floral shirt, he got picked up and taken away. <laughs> he had all the butterflies landing on him. Yeah. You can't leave. Where'd Marquita go? Uh, Blue Umbrella. Oh, okay. The one over in front of Nemo. Perfect. Everyone excited to see T3, Ryan, and Marquita. We, we're quite the crew today. Ferris is here, too. He's over in the World Showcase. Oh, my God. We're going to be running into a lot of friends. Farther away. Here, are you parked up front? Yeah. Yeah, it was a long line. I was like, today's going to be a busy one. Never parked farther away. I am literally in the farthest last row, six parts from the end. Yikes. 
I, uh, Daniel has a handicap permit, uh, which I don't think he would mind me sharing. Is that the man has got a bum knee, poor guy. But uh, he stayed at my place last night because he wanted to be here early in the morning. So he gave me a ride here. It was great. And we got to park right up front. I was like, this is nice. So I'm really sorry that you had to go through that. Yeah. And the tram was full, so I walked. Oh, uh, well, you got to get your steps in. Yeah. It's going to be a hot one today. I brought an extra shirt. Yeah, I'm already, I got a sweat going too. There he is. Penny B says, I love this festival. Have fun today. I'll be watching while I work. Already smashed the like. Thank you. I said, we have that shirt. Like, butterflies are just coming right at you. Yeah. Me, uh, here, actually, I could use it too. I'm going to set it down over here. It's a hot one. I always take the hottest days to come, and then when I get back home, it's nice and cool. Yours has that one. How do you operate it? Uh, push or pull. There you go. Or you just take it up. Every vlogger, yeah, everyone and their mother will be here today. I think it's uh, legally required. <laughs> yeah, or else you have the four for your Disney YouTube account. Yeah. Yeah, that's how that's how you lose subscribers. <laughs> everyone just don't subscribe. Yeah, they're like, how dare they not show up to opening day? Yeah, you, you start back from you don't lose your account. You start back from square one. Especially when today's open for everybody. I will say they blocked for Festival of the Holidays. They uh, they blocked me out, and I have the second highest pass. Oh yeah, they blocked me out for quite a bit of festival of holidays. Dude, I had like uh, two and a half weeks I could go. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, I guess had. That's what I get for a grand. Whatever. I had less than that. I mean, I don't pay a grand, but or whatever. What was mine? But I do. I had the water parks and sports. Yeah, I am a tear down from you, I believe. Now, if they really wanted to sell me, they'd give me a. That's basically Winter Summerland. Oh, that's that's everything I need. Yeah, that would be great. Um, I guess Marquita knows how to find us, right? Another beautiful butterfly topiary. We'll continue reading the chat in a minute. Once we get out of the sun, it's hard to read in the sun. Look, did they still have this closed from last night too? This is crazy. Well, we'll go look at Woody and Bo Peep. Yes, this, by the way, I did find a spot where you could still get the figment popcorn buckets right here, the imagination popcorn bucket, right here, this booth only. Yeah, they, it's like a logistical nightmare, but at least you could walk through the center. Last night, you couldn't walk through the center. We're looking for the topiary right there. <laughs> Thanks. So this is the walkway where I said they closed it off last night and they closed the middle. So last night was rough, but today the middle's open, so it's fine. We got the blocks, ABC, we got, Woody and Bo Peep, looking great. I like the sheep this year. I like the sheep this year, too. I don't think that they were as shaggy in years past. They're, well, I think, honestly, mid-festival, they're going to need a shear. I think they might already need it. Like they're, they're, uh... I kind of like them shaggy. Yeah. It wasn't him. <laughs> <laughs> we're walking back towards her because we got to walk that way anyway. Here comes the monorail. Look at this shot. It's so beautiful. Ah, oh, it's a great day at that. It's a great day at Disney. All right, let's make the trek back. 
We're coming back your way anyway. Dead ends over here. Yep. Where was I? Let's try to do some chat as I walk since the sun's on my back now. Yes, Farish Films also here. You can see him in the chat. We'll be hanging out with him in a little bit. He's over in the World Showcase. Izzo's in the house. What's up? Another great YouTube channel you should follow. Izzo's Place. Because, hey, I'm working. I'm out of wake yet, but I'll check with you later. I'm, thanks for leaving the like and subscribing. Mark Mueller, good morning. Brandy said, who's the band tonight? <laughs> we were joking this joke. I think they really just don't put anyone good on opening night because they know we're all here already. I think it's just called like the vibe or something like that. It's not a, like a popular one. It might be the M80s with a new name. Jamie says, I can't wait to move down there and be an AP holder. Do it, do it. Fire says, we're stuck on test track. That's fun. Film it. Then we're going to Italy. All right, we'll meet you over there. I mean, you'll probably get there way before us because we're going to take our time. We got a lot to eat, see, and do. Dawn says, stupid work interfering with my stream. Yeah, I know work gets in the way. But the beauty of the live stream is you could pause, rewind, come back, and it lives on the internet forever. Yeah. Oh, I would have gone very top pocket. It's the safest for uh, sunglasses. She's got it. Oh, now the backpack's heavy. Oh, boy. Don't you hate when that happens. Where's Daniel? All right. We got everybody. Yeah, that's why we don't tell you now anymore. Nobody said now. I tell people now at this age. I tell people now all the time at this age. One of my favorite. Lynette says, I'm retired. I can watch all the streams. That's awesome. There's a great reason to retire. You catch all the streams. Also, you should totally just leave the stream running while you're at work. Fun way to help the channel. I made sure to put my hair up today. Huh? said, I've made sure to put my hair up today. Oh, should I call Brookie? Do you need a haircut? No. That's so weird. I love when my, my guy friends have hair ties for me. <laughs> That's Brian. I mean, I, I have them all too for me. I like Bill D. He says, it's workless Wednesdays. I declare it. Everyone's off. You know, you've seen my hair. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Dawn, I agree. I would love some Jackson 5 playing over at the Baby Groot. It'd be perfect. They should put a little speaker there. A little mini awesome mixtape. Again, hello to Lady and Captain Kirk. <laughs> Brandy, what is your favorite moss? Pete? Yeah, Pete Moss. There's a band growing up we used to always go to see at the local bars. Uh, Pete Moss and the Fertilizers. They were an awesome cover band. Mandy would be proud. Hello, Ashlyn and Deshaun. Says it's 34 degrees here in southern Indiana. We'll be there in 20 days. Can't wait. I'm excited for you. Ooh, what would be the college mascot for this area? Maybe the Fighting Figment, since, I mean, Figment is right here in the center of the square. The Fighting Figment. Neither do the Irish, and that's Notre Dame's uh, mascot. I mean... When have I've we ever seen an fight. Irishman fight, ever? I've definitely been in a fight with an Irishman. Never! Come on. You know, us peaceful folk. I'm an Irishman, and I've been in a fight. <laughs> Steven San Filippo, what's going on? Says know, hello. I was fight that end, but... I'm a lover, not a fighter. Apparently, I did all right. <laughs> You're still standing. Oh, that's seven concussions. Seven concussions. That's crazy. There are linemen in the NFL who are like, that's wild. Yeah. To you. Yeah. yeah. Lady Kurt says, can't wait to see all the topiaries. Grout. 
Uh, oh, Baby Groot looks amazing. And it, it, yes, you can see the tape winding. Uh, the tape is moving. We're trying to show you as many as we can up front before we hit the back. We've already seen a ton. Again, you can always rewind, come back. Mel Lee, what's up? Says this is my favorite Epcot Festival. This is up there for me too. The breeze is great. The sun is beating down, but the breeze is great. Brandy says it's probably my favorite festival as well. Yeah, I mean, it's a great festival. I have to agree. One of my faves. Should we cut through? Mickey Mouse? Wow. Yeah, we got to show, show this topiary. Mickey and Manet. And then, yeah, we should probably, we should probably cut through the, uh, the center over there. Yeah. Sarah and Garvey, Pluto. what's going on? And Pluto. I took pictures of all these last night. I was going to use them for my thumbnail, but then I realized they're all in the dark. Mm. And Daniel's like, oh, well, my program i could make them all look like they're in the light i'm like daniel you're staying in my place you don't have any of your software yeah yeah we're going okay. we're going that way what yeah we're just we're, we're, we're looking at these first okay yeah we're going that way we're just looking at these topes and then cutting over hey hello oh hey guys congrats on all your runs you. you did an amazing job have fun at flower and garden you too. we'll see you later you, you too Look at Chippendale with the carrots. Pluto's got a bone. And Mickey and Minnie. That's just because you want to be like that. Looking fantastic. Mickey's even got a bouquet. We're also only 12 likes away from 100, so if you haven't hit the like button, let's make it happen. That would be super dandy. All right. We're going to go towards the test track booths first, then through the Odyssey, and then into the World Showcase. That way we pretty much have attacked all of the front of the park. If you need to... If you grab a scooter, uh, can I put my backpack on it? Hopefully they'll have one. They see you rolling. All right. As long as you don't run up with the Here's Songbird Meadow, presented by Wild Birds Unlimited. You know, few things make a backyard more enchanting than the sweet melodies of songbirds. Explore the meadow and learn how to be a songbird hero and make your yard a welcoming place where feathered friends can thrive. By inviting songbird, songbirds into your garden, you can ensure their music will be enjoyed for generations to come. And here's home, tweet home. Birdhouses aren't just pretty to look at. They provide birds shelter and a cozy spot to raise their young. There's a few here, and also you'll see these year round. These are for the Purple Martins. They're here at Old Key West. We've shown you some other examples at other parks. Uh, when we were walking around Caribbean Beach, we saw them. And they make their way up here. Uh, in the summers, it's great. Look at the vibrant, beautiful flowers. We'll show you the view from across the lagoon as well. I know it's gonna be a lot. Hey, there. Hey, there. Do you have that list I sent you? She's looking at it right now. Oh, that's what I was asking. I have two drinks here. Gosh, a real sass on you. Jeez, let's get this woman a drink. <laughs> I have two. Okay, Picking up a lot of sass early in the morning. It's Flower and Garden Festival. Are we doing both of these? We're doing the Farmer's Feast. Yeah, there's two. Let's do two. Well, if there's one good thing. Yes. So we have the... What's new, first of all, on that list that I sent you? I don't know. Is it marked new? Yeah, it should be marked. Oh, the veal. So the veal tenderloin is new. And Spring pea risotto. That's it. So the farmer's feast changes. Right now we're at early, early bloom. We'll try the veal since it's new. And, uh, and there's been uh, street corn for many years in many locations. Yeah, we're going to try and give you as much of the new stuff as possible. I think the girl street corn was good last year. Uh, from what I remember, yes, this is a savory garlic spread, plant based cheese, but we're going with the veal loin. Yeah. I feel like the 
I don't know. Is it? Hey, I'll always try a beverage. Is it beverage? A beverage, yes. Oh, they've got a Arnold Palmer. Frozen Arnold Palmer. I have an entire storyline. Frozen lemon tea cocktail. What are you getting, Marquita? So I don't double up. All right, sure. I mean, if you want that job, I will do the food then. How's it going, Danny? Can I do the veal loin, please? That's it. How's your day going so far? I just started. I'm in Flower and Garden, so I'm having a good time. Everyone's saying that. I agree. It's, 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 I think, my number one. One or two. I think it's the time of the year. It makes it like even better. I think it's definitely, yeah, definitely the most beautiful time of the year at Epcot. It's nice and cool, not burning hot like you would like. You're totally right. Totally right. I agree. You still get the shows. I, I agree. Garden Rocks Concert Series. Danny, preach. Preach, Danny. Thanks for being here. Oh, snap. It's Ferris. And it's Jess and Sarah. I thought everything goes at 11 o'clock. I guess not. It's 11.30, like 12. So, we went to... Come on, what kind of fast-fast fires are you? We got um, a remedy you, thing that they sold out. Oh, Ramp. nice. But that's not anymore. Thank God you have at least one strap, or else what would Remy do? <laughs> this is Marquita. This is Marquita and Ryan. Uh, yeah, Daniel, tomorrow the Traveler went to go get a... He's going to be ECV in it, so we can put the bag in the ECV, all the stuff we buy. It's going to be great. Marquita, great job. We're rolling dirty. About to crumple it. I was about to throw that out. I, I always forget to save receipts. I know. That's why I followed you, because I made sure that you wouldn't. Hey, look. So, menus. here we go. So, there's three menus here throughout Flower and Garden, since it is a long festival. Right now, we have the Early Bloom. We're getting the veal loin with the spring tea, uh, spring pea risotto featuring Ben's original international grains, arboreal rice, uh, and red wine syrup. They also have an upside down cake. I'm not a big dessert person, and it's not new. The Girl Street Corn is a returning item from last year, so we're skipping it for right now because there's a lot to eat and a lot to drink today. And then we did both cocktails, the hibiscus lemonade cocktail with the Isla Mirada um, Brewing and their gin. Isla Mirada Brewery over in Florida also has their own distillery, fun fact. And then there's the frozen lemon tea cocktail with some honey and bourbon. Then they have a new menu that we'll try in springtime and then a summer one. Yeah, that does. That's your scalp. They have it over there. Ooh, look at this. Yummy, yummy. Let's get a table. Um, can you do me a favor? Yeah, I was going to say. Or I got to get utensils. What do I do? We got to get utensils. We got to get some napkins. Oh, God. This is a disaster. Can you help me grab some napkins? Yeah. All right. Let's find a place to eat this. Make sure Sarah gets her own um, yes. <laughs> fork and knife. Oh, yeah. Sarah, go get your own fork and knife. Okay. Trying to get me sick. Oh, snap. Here comes trouble. It's the WWNT clan. Make sure 50 items. 50 items to try, 50 new items. Hi, everyone. We love you. See you in the circle. 50 items? That's too many. You know them. It'll They'll be here until 9 o'clock tonight. Get that table. Do you want to share? You can use it. If you were waiting, you could totally have it. We can share. Do you want to use it to take photos and then we'll move? Whatever you need to do. No, if you were waiting for it, take it. Guys, we're all going to walk away. Hanging up. You know where I'm at. You also know how to find me. Hi, everyone. All right. Thanks. Somebody ready to make it already. <laughs> passing out. Did, I, I, no. did Daniel not make it to the front? <laughs> oh, 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 that could be it too. Here we go. We're trying I the view. Pass out before this is we the first even one? start. You doing? First one. Can first booth. We, we did all the topiaries can we first. Do, um, vertical or no? Sure. I pay for iCloud, so. Oh, oh look at you! Wow, Ferris, Ferris is moving up on the world. I don't know how to do that, honestly. So, so like Look at how much ago. room Ferris has. So much room for photos. I'm afraid to see how many videos we're going to have now. Oh, oh. It was fun when you had to delete something to record something. <laughs> it was fun back then. Back in the day. All right, anyone else want to photograph this? No. Camera's rolling, baby. Wait, hold on. Daniel might want a video of this, so can you just record just the dish without me? For his. Do you need this? 
What is this? What? What is this? This is veal with rice. So yeah. English is that veal? It's you ever, Bambi you ever, you ever seen the movie Bambi? I was about to say. Yeah, you ever seen Bambi? the movie? Yeah, it's Bambi. But yeah, there's no good way for it. Bambi and <laughs> rice. <laughs> Is this really how we're starting the day? But it's to be fair, this is not the same Bambi as the topiary over there. That's the vegan Bambi over there. This is not vegan. Anyway, anyone want to try? Hop in. Yeah, I do want to try, actually. Ooh. That is delicious. Sorry for my Bambi. Yeah, yeah I'll back. It's okay. You can apologize while you eat it. All right. This is the... <laughs> we, basically, we're calling this an Arnold Palmer. Frozen Arnold Palmer. Love that they have the rosemary on top. That rosemary Great way to start hits a drink. hard. I love rosemary. <laughs> Paris looks upset. You don't want it? Uh, I don't want to eat baby. Not this early in the morning. <laughs> Not this early in the morning? It's the only time to eat it. <laughs> okay, I remember this from last year. We need a knife to mix the gin because you the do. gin is right there and there's a lemonade. Also, just so you know, it's not morning in Europe right now. It was my first time having that and I think it's really good. I'm going to give it a solid seven. It's nice. So um, sometimes you could dry out veal. It's a little tough to cook. Uh, it's hard to cook and it becomes a little tough. This is actually nice. They did a nice job. It's moist. I actually really like, I think it's delicious with this uh, risotto. They did a great job. It's alcoholic? Yeah. It tastes like apple juice. Random question, did anybody get the book? Don't even question your boy. Pass around with Sherry, guys. Sorry. Or applesauce, one of the two. I have the hardest page to keep up with. All right, let me just see. There's a list of topiaries, and we've covered a lot of them so far. So we have, uh, we saw Asha over at World Celebration, which is new. We saw Figment, we saw the, fla the flowers. Oh, Simba and Friends, Pumbaa and Simone, Woody, Bo Peep, and her sheep. Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, Chip, Dale, Butterfly topiaries. We didn't see Goofy yet. Oh, it's good And then now. the rest are in the World Showcase. But we also saw, wait, what about, like, Rude is not listening here? Gotta be. Groot's gotta be here. Where is Groot? What's in this? Oh, we did. You were doing Louis, Buzz Lightyear, mm -hmm. Groot, and Donald Duck. What is in this? We're killing it. Please hold. That is Hibiscus Isla Murata Hibiscus Lemonade Hibiscus Gin. Yeah. What do you think? That's great. Gin gets a bad reputation. If you that make a good great. gin drink, gin's fantastic. I think I love lemonade, but that's really good. It's very sweet. There's. That is not sweet. You know, that's why you like sweet. it. Yeah, it is super sweet. Then you definitely like this because this is sweet. And that than tastes. That. Yeah, these are both. They're both children's beverages. Cocktails with Kita gave it a thumbs up. Now we're going to do our. Thumbs it's very good. Thumbs very up. approachable. Uh, you it, and honestly, it hides the gin. The lemonade is super tart. The hibiscus adds flower. that little sweetness, and uh, yeah, it's a beautiful garnish. I just love an edible garnish. <laughs> All garnishes should be edible. I agree. Yeah, take a bite of the rosemary. I would. I love rosemary. <laughs> I always said if I had a daughter, her name would be Rosemary, and if I had a son, his middle name would be Time. Like, what would his first name be though? Justin. So he'd be Justin Time Carney. Because you're never on time. Because he would operate <laughs> on <laughs> Pete. Carney. Because I'm punctual, Pete. I'm always on time to everything. He'd be Justin Time. He'd be Justin Time Carney. Be, I mean, he would hate his name. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Where are we going next? Oh, that's my job. Uh, brunch cot? Brunch cot. Yeah. It's right there. What's a brunch cot that's new? You have uh, the, the impossible biscuits and gravy or something like that? impossible to eat. <laughs> Does anyone like biscuits and gravy in the group? Yeah. I'm not, okay, because I'm not the biggest fan, but if there's other people who like it, then yeah, we got to do it for science. Yeah, so everything else is everything else is cocktail, but I feel like it was too sweet. Yeah, like, avocado yeah. toast is not new. This is new. We'll get it. No, it's got milk. All right, I think this might be new. It has but milk. We'll do it later. I don't, I'm not in the mood for that. Let's skip it. Yeah, what well, brunch cut we can come back to? There's nothing really exciting. The only thing that's new is the biscuit and gravy with the impossible chicken fried steak and the impossible sausage gravy. But we'll save that. It sounds very heavy to start the day, and we have a lot, as you heard, it over 50 like items to try today. Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Yeah. Check the ones we've had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I have the notes. Is it that or no? This That's spring pea risotto at. is great. Yeah, like, as long as somebody has the notes. I sent the notes to everyone, and the notes are all thanks to Stephen 
Noon, MVP, Why made the list for us. Mr. He's amazing. Make sure you go use him as a travel agent. We have six amazing travel agents in our Discord. They're all fantastic. Steven Shout out to Noon, all of them. what do you want us to go try? And Steven Noon, plug your Instagram on here because everyone deserves, you have a great Disney Instagram. If you want a good Disney Instagram account. Can we go to the Odyssey? That's where we're headed next. Yep. They have a key lime wine slushy. It's new and they have a new IPA. I mean, you, IPA you had me, but key lime pie. No, key lime wine slushy. Key lime wine? That's the problem with Florida wines. What are they trying to do with all these fruits? Just use grapes the old fashioned we way. We can't grow them. I know. <laughs> then just don't do wine. Make more breweries. Come up with other things. Distilleries. <laughs> There's no, no, wine, there's there's no grapes new. allowed. I just want to point out that Pete is eating. I mean, <laughs> if, we, if we want to try an item that's a repeat that we know is a banger, we'll do it. But, but um, this is new too, this is all new. This is new for this year, so that's what oh, we did. Oh, snap. Have more, I can't eat all this and we have a lot of stops today. I'm already feeling full. Do you guys eat? I made the mistake of making breakfast for Daniel and I, so I, I should have just had nothing. Um, yeah, but you don't eat. Probably a whole meal for the day. I know, I'm, I have breakfast and I'm having this. It's gonna be a long day for me. Grilled warm I had a sandwich on the water. water. Grilled warm water lobster with key lime butter. Mm. This is really good though. Finish it. This have, is good risotto. I have a mm -hmm. whole list of cocktails to do. Okay. I know you could. I know you could do. Stop it. Um, that's not a good sign behind us. Oh, oh no. no. You're on the wait list at I mean, the very least? <laughs> do they I don't get I don't I don't I don't get a wait list. Here, Do they have, any have, some, international have some deal in risotto. No, I'm, good. I'm good. No, it was, I, I was took picture and video for you. Three people in line and they sold it. No. I'm like, whatever. No, no, Are there no, any no. on the on the back end? You should go in a wheelchair. I'd push you around. No, I'm not going to ask you to push me around. I will. That can be my weight training for the day. Yeah. We can get you a wheelchair. No, it's fine. I'm good. That's one of these greenies going wild. They let you borrow there. <laughs> Yo. What? So this is this is where <laughs> this is how right, they got that game. No. We were in France. Was it last week? Two weeks ago? Well, then I'll have a lot. The Everybody sit right, before the movie starts and we are. Right. <laughs> and you hear Listen, like, I'm a grown so boy. This lady had got her little scooter thingy. The arms like wedged into like empty. There's more left. Anybody oh wants more? Oh my god! She like. <laughs> every time I see and this And it was like 6 p.m. So I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, he's I'm gone wild. He had to pick up Pete these to to get it out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to save these. Great, he's gone wild. Well. Episode 6. Now that I said it, every time you see him rolling, you're going to be like, great, he's gone wild. Well. We should do ABC. I'm sticking these in the video. I saw some of friends went over in Hollywood Studios last time we For the festival, sports. sports. Oh, sports. I was like, there already is an ABC Sports. I watch it on Channel 7 all the time. Oh, no, we broke my toe. I was like, all right. Let's head to the Odyssey. Can you 3D print? Or we can out? come back Sports around and do the Odyssey on the way out. No, I like the Odyssey. I like entering the World Showcase that way anyway. All right, next stop, we're headed to the Odyssey. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks to everybody who hit the like button. We hit 100. Let's go. We can, let's keep it going. We can hit more than that. Our day's just getting started. Look at this wonderful group. Yeah, I just was wondering because of the layers. Like, oh, the guard when you tried to use it. All right. The Odyssey? Fun fact about the Odyssey, it was actually, uh, was it nightclub at one point? Really? Yep. Yeah, it was. So brunch cop, the only new item is that impossible biscuits and gravy. So we're not going to do it now. It sounds very heavy. There's a line. Everything else was here last year. We tried it last year on the stream. But we'll come back if we have time. As you may have heard, the goal is to try around 50 items today. So it's going to be a long, crazy, probably a little expensive day. But we'll review as much of the new stuff as we can. And we'll try some of the old favorites and classics as well. Heading over to Citrus Blossom. That's what they're calling the Odyssey for this festival. Hey, 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 what's going on? You guys are going the wrong way. We're about to go this way. Are you guys drinking yet? 
We're headed into the Odyssey. All right. Hey! Where are you going? We're on this way. We're on the Odyssey. I was looking for her. I don't want to slow down traffic. Are you go? Are you going this way or are you going that way? Which way are you going? We're heading into uh, Citrus Blossom. Hi. How you doing? We were just going that way. We were looking for her. Yeah, we were going that way. And I was like, Look at this shot. The gardens, the monorail. It's beautiful. During the festival, you get the orange lemon smoothie and the souvenir orange bird sipper. Also inside here, they have the orange sesame tempura shrimp with the lemon meringue pie. And then we're gonna try some of these beverages because they sound delightful. Are you in line, Faris? Yeah, I think once it's food. I do. Let's look at the people in both lines. There's two lines or one? So this is citrus. Florida Fresh is gonna be on the other All right, side. I mean, you're both. So, beer flight. Can we get a return time? This weekend? I don't know. I have to look at my work schedule. Uh, I have to look at my. Can I let you know after the stream? Yeah. Yeah. I'll be back to tell you in a second. I'm going to get a table. Yeah. We're working our way that way. That's where they want to go, too. But right now, I'm just going to get a table in the air conditioning while we have beers and food. Love it. Oh, oh man. Nice to take a little load off there. It is packed. It's Opening day. day. Yep. Why do we do this to ourselves? Because we do it for the people. And it's fun. Who's in line for what? That's what I'm about to go double check. I might uh, leave the camera here with you. Yeah, did that give you my debit card? No, what do you want? Oh, I need something sweet. Like dessert or like food that's sweet? Whatever. Because I don't drink, so. Um, all right, well, here's the list. Let's see. I need to. I will get this from Citrus yeah. and then I'll get it. That cucumber watermelon slushy sounds good. That's and then, do you want any of the food from here? I don't want to drink all sweet all day. That's what I'm saying. I'll I'll try it. Do you want anything from That's here or here? All right. I'm so they have. Florida Fresh. You want anything from here? That's where she's going. I'm going the other one. So Florida Fresh is the grilled warm uh, the lobster water lobster tail. tail. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. They have the Cubanito. Uh, That's new too. Can I get the, I want to, I got to do healthy. Can I do a cucumber watermelon slushy? And I'll We're get, getting uh, it. Okay. But the non-alcoholic one for him. Right? You don't want an alcohol? Yeah, I don't. I don't okay, I so I need a, a negative. So basically everything except for the shortcake. <laughs> and if you do get you want your shortcake. phone? If you want to uh, get the shortcake, I'll, I'll, I'll eat it. All right, and then I'll go get, yeah, I mean, I'm going to go help everyone carry everything, and then I'll tell Faris to get the other stuff. Um, here, can we grab that? <laughs> All right, I'm putting, um, Daniel, I'm going to run up there. Okay. There's uh okay, she's got my backpack. I got it, I got it. Right it. Actually before I don't even know what that's
Yeah. Please. Robert, that would be a no. I did not take my my Aleve today because I can't take that medication, so my knees are already bothering me. So, Tori says Italy would be good. We need to check out Italy, even though that's like the bane of uh, nobody likes Italy's booze. Camille, I can't take Advil or insects like that with my surgery, so it's a bummer. So I take, I have to take like Tylenol. The the people lining up to get this. Oh, this is. I wonder if this is a pass holder booth. I wonder. You see the merch spot over there? I wonder if that's pass holder um, exclusive. I'll have to see. Usually they put the pass holder stuff in here. I don't really see anything that I can't live without. A new Orange Bird coffee mug would be good. I know. You're right, Jamie. I should um, I should look into a wheelchair. I don't want people to have to push me around all day either. So I think I'll I'll uh, I'll tough this one out. I'll just walk and walk slow. Yeah, Robert D. I would have to definitely say we would have to eat eat that um, cannoli really fast. It's already over 80 degrees today already. All right. We got cocktails and non-cocktails. The one with the watermelon, well, I guess they both have it. That one is non-alcoholic, but also Ryan's gonna get two straws because he doesn't drink either. So you guys can both review the non-alcoholic and then we'll review the alcoholic version. We got food coming from both sides. So for this year, they put, I guess you could say two booths inside of one place. Typically it's the same thing on both sides, but they mixed it up this year. So on the one side, I just, I just ordered all the food from that thing. I'm just going to go get a, oh, okay. a thumbnail. I got you. It's a great idea.
Don't do it. Let's take a picture. Take your pictures, take your videos. Uh, Marquita and Ryan have, I ordered everything from the other side, so. You think I can pull the chairs or you think they'd be mad? Yeah, we also have, we have one, hold on, Daniel's here. We have one, two, we also have, there, there, how many chairs there? Is that Marquita? Yeah. Perfect. So we have, we have all those, right? So we can steal one of those if you want, if you want to do a test over here. If you want to be on camera and try some items. Oh, heck yeah, I do. Whose is this? Have you rode uh, Guardians today yet? No, but I think that's Marquita's. All of us after. Look at you, being a friend. Um, you can pull a chair. We can do it. We'll all go around the table. Do you want to slide a chair that way? You can slide that chair that way. We'll slide another chair over. All right. Slide the whole table. Let's look at some of the food we just got. So this is the Florida Fresh Booth. It is the grilled warm water lobster tail, the Cubanito. Uh, the grilled warm water lobster tail, by the way, is a key lime butter. Then over there, you can see the Cubanito with the mojo marinated pork belly, ham, Swiss pickles, and stone ground mustard sauce. Then we got both versions of the watermelon Cucumber slushy, one with gin, one without. Oh, I didn't even try it yet. Oh, you're photographing? Go ahead, sorry. And this one, what? Okay. I lost my page. What are you looking for? The actual name of this. Uh, the Key Lime Wine Slush. Key Lime Wine Slush. I don't know how I feel about it. We're gonna try it. And of course, with the thing I'm most excited about on this table, the beer flights. All new beers for the festival. I am pumped. Spill all you like it? Do you like the key lime slush? All right, let's review these things. We'll get everybody's take because that way we get a few different palettes. Yep. Yeah. I was gonna keep this right here. There you go. Oh god, that is way too close to my face. My apologies to anybody who's watching. All right, let's try some food and drink. What should we do first? Food while it's hot or some beers, some slushies? Yet, I'm gonna give you first shot. Oh. Question, did, it, did we get any silverware at all? I don't have, I any have the, my fork from last booth. I have my fork and knife from last booth. I, have none. I brought chopsticks. Okay. Save the world, people. I'm going to try a little piece of lobster when we pass it around. Because I don't like either. I don't like either one, cucumber nor watermelon. So I'm, I'm going to make myself do it. It's, um, nice. The job <laughs> restaurants are the, the best. Oh, God. All, all right, right, here we let's go. go for the, let's go for the lobster. Tori reminded me. Cucumber and watermelon are two things I despise. Oh, good. So you ordered gonna, a cucumber yeah. watermelon drink? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try good. it. Yeah. The lobster is actually pretty good. It's I'm a big intense. fan of lobster. There is a lot of that butter. Um, I don't even think it needs it as much. Like, I don't know what they're trying to cover up because the lobster is good on its own. Um, what was it, a key lime butter? Yes. Yeah, it's just a lot of it, but the lobster is good. It's solid, though. I'm a fan of lobster tail. What do they pay? What do they charge for this? Do we know? Do we remember? Um, it was eleven dollars and twenty-five cents. It's a lot for eleven twenty-five. If I'm gonna put a value on it, I don't think the lobster tail is an eleven dollar size. No, it's half a lobster tail. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a lot, which means you're paying twenty what three dollars for a lobster tail if you got the full thing. I mean, but it's good. Not we're not at Lobster Fest or Red Lobster either, so. I know, and I guess growing up in the Northeast, uh, for you those who don't know, I grew up on Long Island. Time. Yeah, I love lobster. We see lobster all the time. Um, not, I shouldn't say that. We were in like bougie, bougie, but up, special occasions. Can, is it? Yeah. You can get lobster in a lot of places. It wasn't good at first. Hey. It's, it's not good all at right. like the third. Let's try the Cubanita. <laughs> Guys, pass around the lobster. <laughs> okay, it's a little less cucumbery. Yeah, that you first is. It. It's the first hit. Oh, well, there you go. That's what we did wrong. Well, yeah, we just sipped from the top. 
Um, I, because tr I've like tried that. sipping from the bottom before and I almost drowned. <laughs> Ferris, what do you think? You're on camera, go. What is it? That's the Cubanita. It's a Cuban sandwich. Yeah, have you ever had a Cuban? I only eat Cuban sandwiches when I'm watching Scarface. It's really good. It's good, right? I like it. I said that about Cuban since day one, is that individually, I don't like a lot of those ingredients, but you put them all together, and they're delicious. We have to get the non algae for these two. Like, I don't eat a lot of ham. There's ham on there, and I like it. I don't eat a lot. I hate, I shouldn't say I hate. I really am not a big fan of Swiss cheese. Oh, I love it, Swiss cheese. I is, like it the, is it the holes I'm or not, the flavor? Because I know some people don't eat it because of the holes. <laughs> it's the holes. It's, I'm, I'm, paying, I'm overpaying for cheese. I'm not getting a full slice. I, now I see that. <laughs> you pay my weight. Well, yeah, when they see me coming in, there are so many. No, the, the, the Cuban's really good. What was the price point on the Cuban? The Cuban. I would say that's worth about six fifty. That is a good value. I would say that that's a great value. I was gonna pay that around seven fifty. The Cuban is the good value. The lobster tail is very good, but yeah, because it's I would very say, expensive. I would say for that that sandwich would be at least four dollars at like a guess. Yeah. yeah, like if you were not at a Disney festival. If you were at Disney, it'd yeah. be at least four dollars, if not five. It's like it's like a kid version of a We got Brooke. Brookie's back, everyone. Brookie's back. And she's Brookie, what do we think about the madness and of these uh lounge flies as our merch expert? I know. The ones that got released today, we saw a lot of merch army walking in to grab them and run out. They were going nuts. We were here. <laughs> they were flying off the shelves. We saw the videos of them literally emptying shelves as they filled them. People going nuts. Ooh. Back. Every time I hear backpack, I think of Dora. What are we thinking of? Is this a pop culture reference? Because I don't get it. You know Dora? No. Explore? No. I. What did What did she discover? Yeah, no, when I was a kid, it was Christopher because Columbus the Explorer. He was, yeah, it was legit. He, he discovered. Was not a great yeah. dude. Not a great dude, but I mean, I mean, found a lot of cool places. He found a lot of places people already lived. Yeah. <laughs> not, 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 I'm not talking about his character, but I mean, that man could explore. He, Just based on exploration skills. He got a boat. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's try some cocktails. Is somebody going to call somebody quiet again? That's my favorite I hope so. Uh, no, it's not going to be me. It's opening of a festival, you're allowed to be loud. I made that roll up right now. All right, this is the Marquita, you wanna get me a, watermelon, it's definitely heavy on cucumber, the and the then mine has gin. Me. Let me stir it with my piece of watermelon. So it should be known that I'm not a big fan of watermelon what things. What if you would have messed that up and me and Ryan just, like I had to grab an heavy pin for Ryan. That would be that crazy. That would have been a whole other stream. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I, this is really good. This so long. tastes like flower and garden stay. festival. Well, I had to like, put it in a cup. Because I don't drink. This yeah. is... I think that'd be funny. Yeah, that'd be a great time. <laughs> it's fresh. It's delicious. I also... <laughs> I love cucumber, but I'm not the biggest fan of watermelon. But the watermelon adds this nice sweetness to it. And it cuts the gin. I don't get too much gin. I get just a hint. <laughs> this is great. I thought you had a knife. Yum. I just had a fork. All right, anyone else who wants to try that? All right, everyone else, review the lobster tailor sandwiches. We need reviews from everyone. Multiple pallets on this, people. Oh, this is We know you love the Cuban sandwich. Do you have thoughts on anything else on the table? Well, get to work. You're talking. I'll stop waiting for you to talk. You should cut me off. I will never stop talking. All right. I haven't had that yet, so. I love it. Okay, Marquita was a big fan. Farris. Paris says he's a fan. Is it sweet? 8.5. 8.5. Wow, that's a really high rating. That's like my belly flop score on the cruise ship. That is tasty. That's good. That's good. I'm not gonna lie. That's good. What was the price point for though for this kid's cup of slushy? Twelve dollars. So yeah, when you factor that in, it's two. I know, but like again, like we thought the Cuban was a great value. The lobster tail, not really the best value, but tastes good. When I do my food reviews, I like to factor in value because this is a very expensive festival. There are hundreds of items to have. You got to factor in value. What do you guys think of the key lime? Pretty good. The lobster is fantastic. The lobster is very good. I just think one. For the price, it could be a little bit bigger. Oh, absolutely. Or lower the price. But two, I just think it might be just a tad too much butter. Oh, it was very buttery. 
Um, I love like for me, like with sauces and butters, like sometimes if you're trying to hide something. It was a little overpowering, I will agree. But I mean, it's very tasty. It's very good. I, I thought that the butter was fantastic. Give me was, a give me a pound and a half of it. I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. I was I was gonna I thought I was gonna be weirded out by king lime butter on the lobster. No, it was great. It was. Like it made it fresh. The lobster, the lobster was like uh, eleven twenty five. Yeah, well, you're getting more, like, you're filling your belly more. No, so I take it back. Like, this is really good, but not worth, um, this is really good and not worth all of it. That's what I'm saying. You got to factor it in. We're discussing flavor, and then we, when we factor in the price, we'll really let you know what's up. I think lots of people are wrong, but I think it's good. Daniel, thoughts on what have you had so far, and what do you think? The stone mustard? Yeah, that's like my favorite. So that's what put it over the top for you? I'm telling you, I agree. I thought it was going to be too sweet for me. Uh, Ryan, what did you think of the non-alcoholic slushy? I thought that it was very cucumbery. That's why I like it. I love me some um, cucumber. And I, I wish it was a little bit more watermelon. Oh, sorry, you lost me. <laughs> Rookie, Marquita, thoughts on uh, things you've had so far? Everyone liked the lobster. The, our only complaint was that we thought it was just a little bit. The price point was a little too high. I think it was. Like, I, think I know. It was, I think it was. But it's very good. Everyone liked it. Same. I think the Cuban was really good too, and actually a very good price point. I think the Cuban was a fantastic price point. And everybody liked the slushies. I thought both slushies were very good. Um, what What was the price point on the gin one that we got? Uh, thirteen. Thirteen. So yeah, again, so expensive. I that, mean, that hurts. Look at this. Dentist flossing cup oh, for thirteen dollars. Oh, yeah, this is thirteen dollars. I'm, I'm gonna get the next booth. You got margarita for twelve dollars. Whatever you got. That's what I'm saying. So it's this is where they get you. <laughs> well, next up is the beer. Don't rush me away from my favorite part. I've been saving the best for last. But let me ask you a question. You had to get in both lines to get this. Yes, we. And we, you had to go somewhere else. So technically, this is two so di different booths. So here's my thought. In the book, typically it's in order. This one booth is not next to the other one in the book. It looks like it's supposed to be in the path that's closed between Imagination and Canada. I think they had to pull an audible. So I think they pulled an audible and put the food from that booth in here for now. And when that walkway reopens with that kitchen, we're going to see this move over there. And then it will be in order in our festival passport. And that is a Pete Carney exclusive. <laughs> You're welcome. No, all right, let's try some beers. It only gets more ridiculous. All right, we're trying the beers. Shout out to the Richies. Last festival, we were all doing these together. The only when I did drink, the only beer I would ever drink at Epcot was Chopper Hopper. The grapefruit one. Yeah. That again is only four percent though. My you gotta get some bang for your buck. Alcohol tab yeah, but it's is, delicious. Uh, you're it is. The, the grapefruit taste. is delicious, but it, it's it doesn't even taste it's, like it's four it percent. It's a beer for children. All right. We are children. We we're, are children. We're, we're literally going to are. Disney. Here we are at Citrus Blossom. We're doing the beer flight. First beer we're having is the Southern Tier Brewing Orange Twist Imperial Ale. It's made up in Lakewood, New York. I know Southern Tier pretty well. I drank a lot of beer in my day. Uh, for those who don't know, I used to sell craft beer in New York City. So my job was to go to bars, drink all day long. That's my job. Now. That's my That's job. job this beats nightmare. Believe it or not, it became too much. I had to walk away. It was like, this is too good of a job. This is a... And it was a long commute into the city every day. All right, here we go. Southern Tier, Orange Twist Imperial Ale. But that's also why my beer tolerance is so high and my liquor tolerance is so low. Because I would never drink liquor. I would just drink beer. Like, anyway, let's get into the beer. Anyone else want to try these? or Should I save some? Yeah, so good. Okay. Like 20%. That's a good 20% right there. It's a heavy 20%. That's like 23%. I, All right. I would say 30%. I, I what? I never like the flight. Some people just don't like flying. You're going to try beer? I was going to say, there's no way. That's like me. So the orange Imperial, I'll let Faris try it as well. I think um, it's a lot of orange. It's like super orangey. What do you think? 
like it. He's chewing. Yeah. So. so here's what I think as a beer guy is I think that they probably added a lot of orange peel in the bright tank, which is the last step of the beer making process. And that's what usually holds a lot of flavor because you get that. It just the orange lingers at the end. And beer is kind of fun when you make it. Stuff you add up front, you kind of taste up front. And stuff you add at the end, you kind of taste at the end. That's why I say I think they added a ton of orange peel into the bright at the very end, let it sit, and it absorbed all that flavor. So all you get at the end is orange peel. In my humble opinion, it's still a good beer. And it's an imperial ale, which means it's probably got some good percentage points. It doesn't say the ABVs on here, which is interesting. I feel like it should say the ABV of the beers, but it doesn't. That's very interesting. I thought like you legally had to in some places, but... Maybe not in Florida. Hey, it's Florida. You can do whatever you want. Bang, bang. All right. Next up, Left Hand Brewing Lemon Drop Shandy. Love that brewing company. Whoa, whoa, whoa. a lot of heads popped up for the Lemon Drop Shandy. This is out of Longmont, Colorado. I'll just, I'll just try a little bit. It seems popular. I just was excited that it was left hand. <laughs> That's good. It's a Shandy, though. So, like, you're going to love it. It's sweet. If you like a sweeter beer, this is like a... Uh, you know what this tastes like to me? If if Blue Moon was like had lemon instead of orange, that makes sense. Like a lining cooler. Uh, yeah. Shandies were one of my favorites. Narragansett. Yeah, Narragansett company. had the most popular shandy back in the day. Dell's lemonade shandy. Yeah. I, I had they a sold a ton of it. One time. <laughs> that Dell's lemonade shandy was flying off I the shelves. That, um, I tried it. Okay, solid rating. Solid it rating. Still wasn't good, but it was better than the orange. Yeah, I think I also think it was better than the orange. It was more balanced. The other one was just like it almost was bitter because of the orange peel. Orange, I give it two. This one, I give it four out of ten. Wow, low beer scores. Hand it back if you're not gonna finish it. Um, first of all, all of these are not that low of ratings. That's crazy, and that's coming well, from a beer is nerd. Ferris scale. That is true. You're not a beer head. I don't drink beer. I think I think that the best beer that Ferris has ever had was. A you're right. Why am I sharing these with any of you? I love beer. Because. So people in the chat, they probably don't drink beer like us. You're right, you're right. They want to hear your Are you excited for Mexico? I don't like beer. I like Who is it? But that's because you not like grapefruit juice. <laughs> you don't like beer. What? <laughs> no, it's not. We don't have, it's not that kind of day yet. All right, next up we have the Stone Brewing Tangerine Express Hazy IPA. I'm pretty sure I've had this. Uh, from Escondido, California. Stone makes a great product. I've been to their brewery out in California, too, and it is amazing. Oh, Stone also has a location in Richmond, Virginia. So they have one on each coast to service both coasts because they're that good. And it's amazing. Both are super cool. So if you live anywhere near Richmond, Virginia, right off 95, go check it out. Or if you're out in Escondido, California, Stone Brewing, right by San Diego, great spot. Yeah, Christopher Columbus. It's not over there. There's a still on that. That's good. Um, I'm just going to say you're not going to like it. Because it's a, it's a hazy IPA. Ooh, I never did IPA. Yeah, so Hazy's I love hazy IPAs. For those who don't know, it's like the most bitter of the IPA. But it hides, uh, it just like wraps so much flavor in this beautiful little bitter pocket. No, it doesn't. It delights all parts of the tongue. And that is something. There's some, what? IPAs are like drinking hatred to me. <laughs> That's why there's certain things for certain people. Like I am not the biggest fan of other types of beers. I try them all, but... Yeah, I like this. Are you having the last piece of lobster? Somebody's got to do it. Did you have one already? Nope. I no, did. I did. You can have it. Just no. eat the shell and all. Yeah, crunch on that shell. shell you got, all. don't waste it. Five, General four, hand. three, two. Yeah. Now, no one go near Sarah or Ferris. <laughs> <laughs> what, it's Epcot Floors. What do you think? Gordon, Nobody's been Gordon walking Ramsey in here. has a four. He has it's a three-second rule. It's on a carpet. To be fair, I think that's just going to build your immune system. Yeah, you don't have to use hand sanitizer now. You don't even have to worry about hand sanitizer. Good for you for not wasting it. I would. I wasn't going to make you do it, but I like that you're really committed. Nice. Um, so we've had everything. We drank everything. Got some style points. Nice work. You guys want more of this? I like this. I might have a little more of this. Do you keep these. I like it. Mm -hmm. He does collect them. I check in these beers on Untapped. If anyone doesn't follow me on Untapped, go follow me on Untapped. Yeah, well, that, that Gansett Shandy was uh, one of my favorites. Narragansett, that was like summer, like so many of my summers. Yeah. Out I on the it. docks of Brooklyn in Dumbo. We're getting there. 
Well, no, if they have new, everything in all Italy is the new. Italy yeah. items are new, so we might have to try them all. We're this gonna year. have to. It's gonna be one of each. Interesting. Whatever, it's I'm it's such a shame <laughs> because they bring in these beautiful Italian people with their Italian accents, and it's romantic and it's nice, and then they have to serve this microwaved Italian Chef food. Boyardee. And I'm sure they're disgusted by it because inside the pavilion there's great food, but the booth has been trash. But you know what? It's a new day. New it's year. a new year. A new year and a new festival. So we're gonna give it a try. This is the pass holder pop up merch, isn't it? We'll go look at the merch. Wanna look at merch? Yeah, you wanna finish this? Um... Sweet. Whatever it is. Also, I, it I'm is. really behind on chat, but let's let's see yeah, what's going no. on in chat real quick. We'll I know. If, no, I'm no, sorry no, if I haven't no. given you a shout out or quote up, and I love that you're all here. Thanks for hanging out. There's a this lot of people out there today, the children, the and you chose us, so thanks so much. Did you say this is one for the children, right? Yeah. I did. So it's good to have you guys with us because we have no alcohol at the pavilion. Yeah. Yeah. We got something for everybody here. I feel like a dad. Like <laughs> <laughs> dad. Whoa. Whoa. Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> we might not be trying any more beer today. <laughs> that was crazy. Ta-da! That's what you should have done. Ta-da! Ta -da. We're going to look at the merch. And then we're going to go to your favorite place, Mexico. But we're going to try a few different places. Everything's new? All right. When we're going, we're having a Mexican fiesta. No, it wasn't. I just gotta be slow to do this. Everyone want any of the silverware from Mexico? Don't don't waste it. Put I'm, your pockets. I'm saving. I'm saving. Save I got a fork and a knife. You can sell Save it. Save the, the planet. That's what you should do. You should set you should set up a booth outside of Mexico selling silverware. <laughs> <laughs> As a gag. As a gag. Forget all these. Um, <laughs> hey, instead you. of all the people who like buy all the merch and like resell it on eBay, I just take all the, the utensils have, out of every have, machine. I'm like a dollar each. This year? Yeah. 50 cents each. I, is Spike the Bee back? He might be back. Where's Spike the Bee. Uh, I saw Spike the, the, the same, uh, citrus swirl sipper from last year. It is. Yes, he's back. The orange bird is back. Better than ever. Identical from last year. Yes, nothing new in that regard. But he was very popular and he's cute. To, People love him. Panic and run and get your, uh... No. But let's go look at some pass holder merch. I guess they expected a much bigger line. A lot of standards. We got the tumbler. We got the spirit jersey. I'm sorry. The original or the original Florida Orange Bird, fun flower and garden spirit jersey. The tumbler. You got Orange Bird hats. My sister-in-law, the one that, that I like. She's the only one. She would love this hat. Ah, uh, the one that you like. Oh, these are fun. They hatch. Let me, uh, let me peel it for you. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Ooh, it's a lot harder to peel than I expected it to be. Remind me to swing back. Oh, you got to really brain stuff his brain, brain in. Uh, and then it turns into the orange bird. That's fun. And then you can yeah, let's see. Back. Can you get him back? Here's the front of the spirit jersey. Good luck. Nicely done. I'm impressed. I must say, I am most impressive. Yeah, he's an orange. You peel him, and he's orange bird. Orange, you glad you did that? Nice. I think he was harder to hatch than he was to put back. If that's the case. That's childbirth. <laughs> you got... That woman with the flush. <laughs> <laughs> you got some great pots. Orange juicer. That's awesome. That's cool. I thought it was a coffee mug, but you could technically use it. He's got a sombrero that you could use to juice oranges. It would be great for tea. You could squeeze a lemon into it. Oh, I do like that a lot, actually. Because I love lemon in my tea. Does nobody drink coffee anymore? No, bro. It's well, 2024. Listen, listen, there's plenty of vessels to drink coffee in. This there's very few. Solar power. That's cool. You could have coffee in this. Uh, I would fill it up with orange juice painstakingly with it and then just put it on the table to show all the work I put into it and hopes that no one drops it. Pot is cute. The pot is, is cute. 
got 100% of your you need, you need of one of those disaster. for your cooking Fresh, show. Sweet. Uh, so it's 500%. Cuteness. 500%. You should start a cooking show called Ferris Feast. Ferris Feast. <laughs> Ferris Foods? Ferris Feast on Foods? Yeah, but it's All just right. going to be like Chipotle. Mexico time? Papa John's. Yeah, and you Olive Garden. Dance. Yeah. <laughs> I like the dancing citrus as well. All right, let's go back as far as I can. Say hi to as much of the chat as I can as we walk towards Mexico. Oh, I don't have my backpack. Oh, Marquita does. Sweet. Marquita, you got it? You want me to carry that? It is the shortest walk to Mexico. I'll take it back. Thanks, Brooke. I was like, oh, yeah, I feel lighter. My back's not wet. It's it's an ice pack in there. I mean, it keeps me cool, but my back's wet. Dawn says this is where I'll be making impulse purchases. Dawn loving the Orange Bird plush. <laughs> Brandy, Brandy love the comment. It's like drinking hatred. Glenn, we miss you. You're right. With that background, I did have a fun... I like the flower pots. I do uh, have a nice background in there. I can host a kid's show. I think I'd be good at it. I don't think I should be reviewing beers on a kid's show, but I could do it, I think. Glenn said that container we were talking about for pencils. She said that's that's a shot glass. Oh, did you know that in 2025 they're hosting the Summer Olympics uh, diving, high diving team here? Okay, this is not a real fact. Come on, man. My this is my channel expects real facts and you're dropping this nonsense. I don't like it though. <laughs> Here's, uh, here's something we didn't get. No, they had it last year. Oh, it's Tempura. But, uh, but they had it last year. So you can visually yeah. see yeah. it. Last year, we did the orange sesame tempura. It's just a lot of orange. It was so that. much orange. I would have done that before I did the lobster tail. But yeah, the lobster tail was new, and the, that was here last year. Yeah, and I do remember it being just very, very... It was so orangey. Look, it's Coco. Oh, where, wait a minute. Where's my boys? I know, we got to find... They better still be here. I'm going to riot. The three Caballeros were here last year. They better be. There they are. But that's fun. I like this. Great job. All right, we got two booths. Want to split up? You got Mexico. I'll do the other one. Somebody's got to get a table. What's over here? What do we got, what do we got going on? I don't know. Let's go see what's happening. Oh, you have the list? You'll know what's new. I won't. Trowel and trellis. We got the Impossible Farmhouse Meatball, the Soy Glaze Sticky Ribs, the Chocolate Mousse Terrarium, some beverages, some beverages with alcohol. There we go, trowel and trellis. All right, what's new here? Nothing. Nothing at all? Well, no. So um, all of the savory dishes are recycled. So the Farmhouse Meatball and the Sticky Ribs Okay, those do look familiar. Recycled. Yep. Uh, like they're from, from last year. From last year. I mean, it's also impossible, so they might be reflected. All right. Well, um, they, they were here last year, is what we're saying. It was very good last year. I just want to try the Berliner Weiss. Uh, that is new. All of the drinks are new. The Heatwave Berliner is what I'm looking forward to. Beer? They do. The Surreal Brewing Natural Bridges Kolsch style non alcoholic beer. Hmm. Interesting. All right, I guess. Daniel, whatever you get, do you want to uh, grab me Berliner Weiss? I'd appreciate it. I'm going to grab a table. Yeah, so the... Uh... Brian, would you mind helping him carry? Yeah. I'll hold down a table. Yeah, the dessert is new. The herbal tea. Well, I don't do desserts. I feel like there was a terrarium last year, unless they changed one ingredient, because there was definitely a terrarium last year. I think this one's got matcha. Oh. it's a, I'm good on desserts. We'll have, yeah, we have so many know. items to try today. And then the beer is new. Yeah, we're doing that. that Do you want the non-alcoholic one or no? No, I don't think I can drink non-alcoholic beer. All right, so there you go. 
I haven't tried it. Would you mind helping him carry, and I'll Absolutely. I'll get a table. I will help. Him I like carry. the plan. All right, let's go. Here we go. Let's see if we can snag it. Waiting for a table. Excellent work. Have you been? All right, we'll hover. I'll say hi to a bunch of people because I'm behind. Attack. Yes, excellent. All right. Look at what a perfect background. Ferris and topiaries. If I missed your comments from earlier, I apologize. It's been a fun stream. We're looking at so many things. There's so many friends here. I'm going to try and catch up now. I know everyone was excited to see you, Ferris. Everyone loves Ferris films. Go guys, check him out on TikTok. I love you guys too. Ferris. Share, ring that bell for wow, I'm loving everything he's saying. <laughs> it is. Thank God there's a breeze. It's it's warm, but the breeze is helping. I'm already uh, running hot, but I brought two shirts because you know I'm smart. These days get hot. All right, I think I'm caught up to where I was before. Let's see. This is. Uh, I'm sorry, everyone, but we're about one hour behind in the chat. <laughs> Melvin said there's another YouTuber who's afraid to go into the butterfly house well we're not we took a daring chance and we survived it we're here to tell the tale hi Mrs. T3 that's Daniel's other half you should also we've been talking about the Tomorrowland Traveler today he's here hanging out with us he's actually buying some food right now uh, go follow him on YouTube he's amazing What's up, Ghost Host? Hi, Katie McGinnis. Hi, Mark Mueller. Bill D. Glenn Ritchie. Phenomenal Brandy. I'm just saying hi to a bunch of people, and I'm reading your comments at the same time. And if they still don't apply, I apologize. But uh... Oh, Allison B., what's up? She said, I'm so excited for Flower and Garden. I'll be there in three weeks. We're excited to have you. <laughs> Brandy said the WWT girl oh, looks so miserable. I'm telling you, it's hard. When I used to do... WWNT food reviews with them it's tough because they go to each booth one at a time and then they have to photograph the food from 10 different angles then video all the food and then you try it it's all ice cold or it's been sitting out in the sun it's a rough day I really like the way we've been doing it for the last few festivals where we get people in different lines like right now we have somebody in the Mexico line somebody trial and trellis we bring the food back quick you know everyone looks takes a quick picture but we just start tasting right away I, I like our system hi Jackie Johnson Oh, that's right. I was wrong, by the way. Veal. Oh, thank Very you. Colorful. Veal. We were all wrong about veal, and I'm. It, venison is Bambi. Was, I was just going with it. I yeah. thought that you were wrong, but I was going to believe. Nah, it. Veal is uh, probably worse for those watching. It's a uh, baby cow. <laughs> and any, anyway, speaking of speaking of calves. Yeah. What did you get? A deconstructed meatball. I don't know. I'm gonna go help Marquita now. What the heck is this? Vodka. All right, so from Trial and Trellis, we have, don't worry, uh, you got what, the meatball, right? This was here last year, and also the new dessert in the terrarium as well. It looks good, nice little moose action. All right, Daniel, with the first taste. the matcha on top it, it, that needs to... so he's having the uh dessert first like you know like you're supposed to in life life's short eat dessert first here we go so they're having the chocolate mousse terrarium with a matcha crumble and a chocolate soil what do we think gentlemen i like it it tastes like chocolate pudding chocolate pudding okay that's basically what a mousse is yeah a little thicker i like it i think it's really good Sweet. 
Ladies, what do we think of the moose? Pretty good? She agrees. All right, everyone likes the moose. Hold on, I'll just try a little bit for science. I'm not, I don't even, I mean, again, I'm not a dessert person. Like, that's literally all I'm going to have. Yeah, it's good. It's sweet. It's, um... I wonder what, like... What kind of chocolate do you think they used? Like, it's not... I was going to say, it's not milk chocolate, and it's definitely, it's not like 100% dark chocolate. It's a mixture. Anyone a chocolate expert at the table? No. Jeez. No one can. I mean, but mine's mostly made by beer. Plus, I had a great fat January. It was amazing. Anyway, food-wise, Daniel also has the Impossible Farmhouse Meatball, which has a lentil bread, spinach, marinated vegetables, and a creamy herb aioli. It all sounds fantastic. I'm not going to lie. If it's what I had last year, I, I believe you on the dessert. I'm excited for the savory food. Like... All right, what do you work for? The chocolate conglomerate? I got Wonka Bucks. I got Wonka Bucks. It's a whole different, like, mm. By the way, your wife's in here. She says hi to you. Yeah, it's really good. All right, so the bottom's way better, I've been told. Use the fat force. All right, let me try. I guess I'll... Well, I want the... Yeah, that's the best part, right? Look, can you, like... Remember you used to like eat dirt as a kid, but it was Oreo? Yeah, I remember worms and dirt. It was a, they had, it was crushed up Oreos and gummy worms. Yeah, like that. Great dessert. Sometimes your mom would like mix it with like some milk or something and then put more Oreos. Mmm, yes. That's why you're my mom. I know what you want. 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 I'm going to just keep going to the chat. Um... I'll leave that one be. The meatball? No, it looks good. I'm, I'll try that with you. It sounds great. Because it's impossible? I, yeah, but Mediterranean anything is great. I love Mediterranean flavors. All right. So this is the impossible farmhouse meatball. So this is uh, vegan friendly. It's got the lentil bread, spinach, marinated vegetables, and a creamy herb aioli, which... You had me a creamy herb aioli on anything. They could have put that in the chocolate mousse, I would have had it. All right, let's get into it. I don't know, whatever. See, it looks dry, but it's running out the back. My thing is, if the, if the impossible meat is so good, why is it wrapped up in all this stuff? I just want to try the meat. Just get to the meat then. You can open it up and just have the meat. It's good. I mean, if you're looking for like a meatball, meatball, it doesn't duplicate a meatball, but it is a flavorful meat imposter, if that makes sense. It doesn't taste like meat is my point, but there's a lot of flavor. They pack a lot in there. I get a lot of different herbs. I get some dill. Uh, yeah, what else is in that aioli? I'm getting, do you get dill? I'm getting a lot of dill. A lot of garlic too, but I love garlic, so. Garlic makes all the ladies want to kiss you, that's what I'm told. How's it good, the meatball? It's flavorful, but not, it doesn't taste like a meatball. It's a chunk of non meat that has flavor. And if that doesn't make you want to try it, I don't know what does. I mean, we're not trying to bring other products down here. We're trying to build products up. I like it it's cold. It's cool. It's not cold. Yeah, so it's not hot. It's not a hot uh, item. And then uh, lastly from Trail and Trellis, we tried the Raz... Nope, what is this? This is the Brew Hub Strawberry Berliner. 
Berliner Weisses hey. are sour beers. Oh, you want a picture of the beer too? Oh, we should have waited, I guess. My bad. Well, we did repeats, so both of the items we have are here last year, except for the beer. That's why we are excited. Everyone, please sit, join, gather. See how they put something on this glass? That is the chocolate mousse terrarium with a matcha topping and a soil bottom. I know I described it probably not in the most attractive way, but. Yeah, I don't want anything with a soil bottom. You don't want anything with a soil bottom? Yeah. But everyone liked the bottom the best, to be fair. All right, let's take a look at these items from the Mexican booth, Jardín del Fiesta. So, what we are looking at here is, I gotta back this up. Ooh, smoky. Is that, I'm assuming, well, we'll get to it. So we have the sope de chorio, the guajillo pepper braised pork on a fried corn shell with black beans, shredded cabbage, a crema mexicana, queso fresco, and chives. Then we have the tamale de rajas, the poblano peppers, the corn, the cheese, and a masa topped with poblano sauce, crema mexicana, pickled carrots, onions with chives. Then there's a flan, but honestly, who likes flan? Uh, then there's the lychee margarita with the Centinella Blanco tequila, the lychee liqueur, citrus juice, and an agave nectar. Then there's the floral margarita, which is a cherry liqueur, mezcal, hibiscus tea, and lime juice with a ch sweet chili salt rim. And they have a craft Mexican draft beer. And we skipped it. It's okay, she doesn't drink beer. Uh, so I'm assuming the one she said was smoky was most likely the floral margarita. Uh, that's because mezcal is smoky. Uh, it was actually where... the lychee. No, because it, what would be smoky in there? I don't know. What? You said the smoky one was which one? Okay, they're both smoky, but this one's super good. But only one? What makes it smoky? Only one has mezcal. All right, you know what? You don't have to tell me twice. Is that him in the pink with the giant hat? Oh, I was going to say, he's, not like he's trying to hide. This guy's the worst at hide and seek. He's got a giant cowboy hat, ten gallon hat on. And is he? All right. Well, I'm just saying. I mean, but I love it. He's got the giant hat, the pink shirt. Mexicans have bigger hats than like cowboys. I mean, he's wearing a cowboy hat. I believe they're called caballeros. Uh, and I believe he's missing two friends. Well, at least one. All right. Yeah. Which one should I try? Which one is which? Which which is which? This is the what what? The lychee. Okay, I was a little nervous about this one, but also I'm just gonna. Oh, sorry about my hair. Whatever. It's okay. You're right. Why is that so smoky? What? Let's get him over here. What's his name? Sebastian. Sebastian. No, it's not. I'll just go over there. I'm gonna go ask him. Hold on. I would, I'd be running if I just heard my name like that. Yeah, well, that's, I, if you look, he's leaving. Wow, Ferris. Supposed to save the environment. It's the Flower and Garden Festival. <laughs> Marquita, you might need to go uh, mediate. I like that guy, sir. Pink is a very nice color. I wonder why you would say that. <laughs> I wish they would leave the floating floral uh, arrangements. I wish they'd leave those in all year round. Me too. Where does he see the bird? Do you have a snack for him? Uh, he, found, he found more people. Well, it's there on top of the 
So first of all, that was great. Did you get the hat size? We got the hat size. It's an eight and a half. Who's coming tomorrow? Tomorrow I'm going to be, I have a live stream over at the Central Florida Fairgrounds, but I'm going to have to come here because tomorrow they're doing a secret margarita release. So I might have to come here before I go there or afterwards. We're going to figure it out. But it was really cool because we got to meet the creator of the drink as well as the beverage director, uh, which was super neat. Um, and he was surprised that we picked up on certain things. I was describing the two drinks to him and he was like, I'm surprised you picked up on those things. So then he told me the secret little ingredient, which was fun. So there's actually, I mean, I don't know if I should share the secret, but I know well, everyone here can keep a secret, right? Like you guys won't tell anybody. Uh, in the lychee margarita, it's actually the reason they don't, uh, the smoke does come from a little bit of mezcal, but it's actually eight parts tequila, one part mezcal. So he's like, we just wanted barely to be there. And I was like, yeah, I did pick up on that at the end there. Um, really cool. So tomorrow they're doing a secret one. And I mean, I don't want to get too excited, but Marquita tried to steal away from me. They were like, listen, we need to make something with Pete, maybe some kind of Pete margarita. And I want to say I already have one at Animal Kingdom, but I would love to have one here at Epcot. Yeah. Pita Rita, we'd have one. If, for those who don't know, I have a uh, secret menu item over at Animal Kingdom. You can go try it right now if you want to. Go into the restaurant, Desaurus Lounge, ask for a Pete Carney margarita, and you will get hooked up with one of the most delicious and strongest drinks on Disney property. But I would love to have a drink here at Epcot, too. You know, now I'm really excited. So I hope you're having a great, what's today, Wednesday? You made it halfway through the week. We're here at Epcot at Walt Disney World. It's a beautiful day. I'm surrounded by beautiful people, and we're eating some beautiful food and having some beautiful beverages. And I bet you you're beautiful. <laughs> yeah, let's eat some food before it falls apart. It looks like, what, uh, let's get into this food. Do we have a spoon? Do we have a spoon? Anyone? Uh, no, but I have a fork. <laughs> Can I try it once? I'm going to try the Mexican food if nobody else will. Golly. All right. I'm assuming. What did you get? What? This is a tomato. Is it? You didn't. I said I need one of everything except for the flan. All right. I'm going to. I'm guessing this is the pork. That's just. That's the pork because it's in the corn bowl. You're right. It's in a cornhole. Oh, that's funny. Bowl. But yeah. Well, I thought you said cornhole, but whatever. All right, let's get in there. I do like it. It's kind of like a little... Already, I don't know if it's because we let this sit or... But I think it should be crispier. The, uh, the corn shell. Well, let's get in there. Flavor's flavor. Yeah. <laughs> That would be brilliant. But Disney would shut that down immediately. 
Disney would shut it down. Okay. All right, so I actually, I'm a big fan of this. Although the corn shell was a little soft by the time we got to it, the I get the guajillo peppers uh, on the pork. The little slaw is nice, no issue there. Uh, queso fresco on anything is delicious. Same with crema mexicana, just Mexican, like a little cream. It's yummy, although I will say, this kind of taste, and you'll you, when you guys try it, you'll taste the same thing, like, kind of just like every, I feel like they just find like a new vessel to do the same thing in a different way for the festivals. Yeah. It's definitely not Taco Bell, it's better than Taco Bell. No, it's very good. Oh, you're like, yeah, like, well, let's wrap it in a Dorito. Let's wrap it in a this. Well, yeah, it's four ingredients in different orders. Yeah. All right, next up, we're gonna do the tamale. Yeah, you need a fork and knife for that. Uh, <laughs> This is the poblano peppers, <laughs> corn uh, and cheese in masa, topped with a poblano cream, the uh, me <laughs> the crema mexicana, the pickled carrots, and the onions with chives. All right, let's I get love to the it. Are we, are we doing more than one lap? I mean, we might, but we're gonna try and get through one first. Down, we're in the first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are we doing more than one lap? We're literally at the first stop on the world showcase. <laughs> like. Slow down. This is, the, this is good. This has a super weird texture. However, the flavor is delicious. I'm a big fan of this. That is good. I wish there was something to give it a little bit of a crisp or a chip or something on top uh, just for texture, but it is a delicious sadly mushy bite but the flavor is really good i just wish it wasn't mushy if you like the mush you're gonna love that but <laughs> it I just mean, it needs a little texture it's, it's not all the mush. a crispy onion or something it's whoa, no, I like um that. I like it's that. not as mushy as i expected when you described it well, as mushy yeah get in the frame my friends than, go ahead uh, it's um it's more of like a bready texture almost. Yeah, well that's the masa. The, I'm assuming they, the, that masa that was, was rolled, I mean, I'm sure it can't, it can't be hand rolled. It's probably mass produced because it's Epcot. They have a hand that rolls in it, which is not a human hand. <laughs> it's a mechanical hand. Yeah, they've, they have animatronics rolling in. Um, all right. And then, oh, can I just, uh, for science, yeah, the floral margarita. It comes in this fun souvenir glass as well, which is nice. In this one, did you get the beer? Which beer was the Mexican draft beer? Did you know? You got a little bit on your shirt. Um, this is the cherry liqueur, mezcal, hibiscus tea, and lime juice with a sweet chili salt rim. But I like your style, no rim. Takes away from flavor of the margarita. I tried it. Don't hide anything. Give me all the margarita. I tried it. Yeah, that was good. No, it's Dasani. <laughs> This is delicious. I like them both. And normally they I like them both too. They don't do the best job with it. They don't do the best job with it is what I believe you were saying? Yes. Um like you eating potpourri. No, I thought this was going to be so much sweeter, especially when they lead with cherry liqueur and then you have hibiscus. What did I say? Yeah. But Marquita was really worried about the cherry liqueur. Apparently, it's a very strong cherry no, liqueur. No, it is, because you just a little, if you do too much of that, it ruins the whole drink. Yeah. This is nice. Mexico? Yeah, I tried it. It was really good. As always, you delivered. Gracias. You're not the Mexico or the Mexico <laughs> contingency. I do like this better than the pork. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, it's it's got a weird texture, but the tamale is the flavor is there look at faris chopping away <laughs> faris has been working on this since mexico got their independence <laughs> and he's dropped it off his fork six times <laughs> what do you think good right oh. it's just hard to get into there yeah, yeah. so how about i will not do well, now. Tomorrow, I have this <laughs> it's fine. I uh, I have to figure out my schedule for tomorrow. If I'm a, if it's a later day, then I'll come here first. If it's an early day, I might come here after. But if it's a, uh, tomorrow, could be crazy. <laughs> dun dun dun. Daniel. 
I was about to make the same joke. I was go you walk up. Uh, I'm looking for six pickled carrots. <laughs> All right, anyone who has a list, um, we do have one more thing to try here, but I just want to plan ahead. What is, is there anything new in China? Unfortunately. Oh, uh, well, China sometimes, isn't always. What's new in China? Oh, uh, what's new in China? It looks like it's going to be a shaken dragon fruit pina colada. We can skip it, that's way too soon. We can move that. Any of the, but none of the food is new? No. Oh, thank goodness. We, it's only one beverage. We can come back no, to answer Marquita's question. We'll do another lab. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. um, all right. So if we keep moving out, what about? Oh, geez. Oh, uh, Japan with the, the, the classic. Well, you're jumping two countries ahead. We have to talk about the outpost no, and Germany. No, okay, do you know how the, what the order of the world showcase? No, that, that, that list is in a totally different order than the book. They changed it. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know that Japan relocated. I'm so sorry. Um, how about this? I'll just, I'll just throw places out and maybe you could help me. Is there anything new at the Outpost over in Equatorial Africa? Uh, let me look at the menu. Uh, no. It's the Refreshment Outpost. Uh, maybe, actually. Honestly, the only thing I'm really worried about are the beverages there because they have a seasonal fruit parfait. I'm good on that. They have a tangerine sauce serve. Sounds interesting, but I'm also good on that right now. And they have an ice cream float, which also I'm good on. Yeah, but it's all like heavy dairy and desserty, and we're just starting our day. Nah, I think it's a different one. Nah, you're good. You're good. Yeah, I'm trying to eat less. But what about are any of the drinks new over at the outpost? Paris is trying to grow up big and strong. No? Okay. Even the half a gummy fruit punch IPA? That sounds amazing. It's called half a gummy fruit punch IPA. I, I, I really want to try it. I'm not going to lie to you. Is that new? The dragon, the, no, they weren't dragon balls. Sesame balls. Sesame balls. Sesame balls. I'm not hanging to you. Yeah, you can just, you can, yeah, in the middle or just drink. Oh, Ferris, those were great, remember? Did we figure out... No, they were no. so good. All right, so the outpost, I'm going to get that IPA, just so everyone knows. Uh, Germany, anything new in Germany? Uh, no, Potato no, pancakes, no. toasted pretzel bread, yeah, that was here last year. Warm cheese strudel, we had that. Yeah, none of that. Uh, the and beers, the beer, we could do a beer flight, and that will cover all of them. All right, and then, oh, jeez, like, Italy. Everything is, Italy. everything is new. All right, so I guess we're going to make our way straight to Italy. Uh, a quick stop at the outpost for that IPA and a quick stop in Germany for the beer flight. And then we can find a table in Italy and eat and drink there. That will be our plan. Let's go. All right, all right, don't be excited. And also, don't get up yet, Daniel. Take a load off. We need you to rest. It took me forever just to get up. I heard the process is new in Italy. Um, there, sadly, I think there's everything is every new. Every single item yeah. in Italy is new. So is the prosecco. Yeah, prosecco, it's, it's a whole new concept. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try because we didn't really do excited. an official review <laughs> of ever. the Brewhub Strawberry Heat Wave Berliner. This is over in Lakeland, Florida. It's about 45 minutes away. It's on the way to Tampa. Let's give it a try. It's okay. It's, uh, I really had high hopes. I like sour beers. It's like not sour enough. I feel like it like kind of like it's on its way to being delicious and then just drops off. And also I don't get, the strawberry flavor tastes very like strawberry syrup and not actual like strawberries, which is a shame. So yeah, I'm not the biggest fan. I probably would not get this again, sadly, but it's not an awful beer. I'm just a beer snob. Anyone want to try it? See what you think. I get what you're saying because strawberry syrup has I like a it. way different of flavor course. than real strawberry. No, no, I'm saying because it's sweet and the strawberry syrup is actually like more sugar. Yeah, it's got a chemical flavor. You love sugar and sweet things. Your diet is insane. <laughs> it's totally and sweet. It's wild. <laughs> Just that boring. Is, that is delicious. I'm going to make it better. <laughs> Yeah. All right. We have a couple cocktails. Who wants to drink more of these cocktails? Or has anyone not tried the cocktails? You guys want to try it? All right. You want to try it? Thank you guys, Adelaide. Appreciate it. 
No problem. I feel like everyone's chipping in when they can. Everyone jump in when you want to. You want to pay for Italy? You can do Italy if you want. So let me ask you a question. <laughs> you can. <laughs> but you just got to give us a bite. Would you also like to see them add, like, this, to the sit-down restaurants in the country as, as different menu items for the festival? I think that would be fun. If, like, they did, like, a... Yeah, I think that would be fun. I think that they would be forced to use ingredients already being ordered, but yeah. That came from Trial and Trellis. We got the the Berliner Weiss there, we got the terrarium, and we got the farmhouse meatball. I wish they would have made like a little gummy turtle or something in your terrarium. That would have made it all the better. Because, you know, they put a flower in there and it's nice, but like, you think a terrarium, you think like an animal. You think turtle, turtle in terrariums? Going to work. Like gummy turtle. <laughs> Marquita is high-fiving random people. That man was on That's true. I know, he... He now has a new excuse why he was late. Like, he was, like, 10 minutes late, but he's like, a guest stopped me. I had to talk to a guest. She had a pink hat. Yeah. Just like I'm gonna just watch you do it all day. Anyway, I think we should start moving. Um, I feel like it's a great time to do it. Also, big shout out to Dawn for the Venmo. Says you can use this money anywhere but the Italy booth. So thank you, Dawn. Yeah. Uh, yes, big shout out. Thank you, Dawn, for the Venmo. Trial and trellis? Like the impossible? Meatball, terrarium, impossible meatball? Berliner Weiss. Yeah. Was it impossible? It was, no, we had it last year. It was all right. It just, it didn't taste like a meatball, but it tasted like a lot of flavors. What else did you get? In a ground mystery meat, but it wasn't meat. If they just called it an impossible ball, I feel like they would have hit a home run. Cause it's it's just a ball of it's a ball of flavor. <laughs> All right, so we're going to Italy. All right. There was a cocktail there. You guys didn't even get it. Um, what beer did you get, Peter? I got the Berliner Weiss. The cocktails were new, but not something that he liked. It was. It all sounded very not what we would like. I mean, we're again. We can come back to another lap. Fill in the gaps. You are. I'm very proud of you. I think you can just get rid of that one. We'll get a new one. I have a new one in my pocket. All right. Journey on. I like when they sold the sporks or the and they had or the remember when they had like the bamboo ones. Anybody want this? I got two here. All right. I'll race you. I mean, I can slam this. Sure. Cheers. I didn't cheat. Monorail check. That's a great picture. That would be a great thumbnail. Look at this. I'm going to use this as a thumbnail. <laughs> I love that you didn't go to go back to the, the, the film to get the, the image. You just screenshot it. No, just a screenshot. We'll see if it works. All right. Shall we start journeying around the world? Showcase. I, Brooke, you don't have kids. Come on. Brooke said I can't finish my cocktail. You can you have all the way to Italy to drink it. With just two little stops. Thanks for hanging out with us today, everyone. Appreciate you being here. Happy Wednesday. Happy opening day of the Flower and Garden Festival here at Epcot. I'm Pete. We're having a good time. We got a fun group here today. Hopefully at the next stop or when we're in line over here, we'll keep catching up with the chat when we can. We're a little behind, but we try to jump in and say hi. Some streams we get to spend a lot of time talking with the chat. Some streams 
in days like today, we're doing a lot of describing foods and chatting amongst each other uh, over certain things involving the festival and Disney, so it's a little tougher, but we're making moves. Uh, Italy with just a quick stop for a beverage at Outpost in Germany. But Italy is the next like sit down and let's get the food and I've got review. Another great idea for you. Let's hear it. Temporary cab tattoos that say your business name here for you. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I always think it'd be fun to have a, a like on one, subscribe on the other. <laughs> or just your QR code. <laughs> Donald's out! Donald! And Mariachi Cobre, what a day. Oh, I love Mariachi Cobre. The troll topiary is out. We gotta look at the troll. Ooh, pardon me. What a legend. And at night, his lantern lights up. I, 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 I. Even the flowers on the roofs, which these are, these are, they, they have grass up here and flowers year round, but it looks beautiful. Everything, the park looks so great during Flower Garden. Oh, good call, Ryan. I forgot my backpack again. Thanks. I'm like, I keep forgetting I brought a backpack. Do you want me to carry it? No. On my back now. All right. Just a little nod to Frozen with the snowflakes. I mean, it's 80 degrees out, but. I mean, there they are. There's Anna and Elsa. So here at the Lotus House is the China booth. None of the food items are new, so we're skipping it. And there's one new cocktail, but we'll double back. It's a long line for one cocktail. And it's it one that uh, no one's excited about. I'm excited about it. it. There's alcohol in it. What? What are we talking about? The drink at China. No, 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 I thought we were talking about Italy. Oh, Italy? It's a whole other story. I'm happy you're excited. I'm going to go in with an open mind. I am the most hopeful I've ever been for Italy. I would love for it to be good. How many festivals has it been since we had like some really good food out of the Italy booth? Years has food and wine gone. <laughs> so forever. All of food and wine. 25 years of food and wine, right? Was there a launch today? Sorry to interrupt. But you see like the one coming down and one going up? Was there like... No, I think those are just planes. All right. Cause that's typically the point in the sky when like when they do launches, I've been here for a few and they go up right there. I'm not sure. When I was right up there, I don't wanna, don't wanna look up there anymore. Could be, uh, I only was saying that cause I thought maybe the one coming down was, what do they call the, uh, the SpaceX thing that can land out on the boat. So oh, yeah, the like fuel solage. Yeah, did they reuse it? Brilliance, by the way. It's very good for the environment. I mean, it's better than the old way, that's yeah. for sure. Well, no, I, I mean, it was kind of a joke, but also it is better for the environment than the old way. Yes. Because we don't just, like, litter space junk into our ocean. <laughs> I 
We're out here using the same fork, you know, trying to help, but trying to make the world a better place. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Either check this one, I'm still alive, otherwise I'll text you. See you later, Ferris. It might be joining us later. He's taking off for now. Bye, guys. See you later. There goes Ferris Films. We love him. And Jazz and Sarah. Um, I'm going to grab the beer here. Because I'm really interested. The Half a Gummy Fruit Punch IPA. I'm intrigued. I will. Unless it's super dry, like I don't do the sweet uh, wood, ciders. Woodchuck is, it's more of a sweeter cider. They have a barrel aged cider, huh? Yeah. But Woodchuck is, is a sweeter cider. Yeah. Maybe another time. I mean, we're going to be doing Flower and Garden a lot here on the channel where I'm going to want to try new things. So, you never know. Yeah. It just sounds like it would have been right up my alley. I'm sorry. All right, yeah, I like it. Just get committing like I am. I'm into it. I oh, know, I'm doing the half a gummy IPA. Half a gummy fruit punch IPA. Susan Richie says, EAP, hello to everyone. Just got home with my dad from the hospital yesterday. I'm having him watch you for the first time. Hello, Father Richie. <clears throat> you have an amazing family. I love the Richie clan. Thanks for watching. Thanks everybody who, uh, has ever made someone watch the channel? <laughs> has forced them to sit down in front of the TV and watch this crazy red-faced man. Yeah, where's where has Chief been? Jordan Garrett, what's going on? Great to see you. There's Jordan. Ikea calls their non-meat plant balls. I think that's a proper name. I don't see anything wrong with that. Why not? Good job. What's up, Joey M? Just mousing around in the house. Hi, CJL. Rebecca Dolan's here. Andrew Palmacci in the house. Glenn Ritchie says, as a guy that is from Portland, Maine, and the Gulf Coast, I prefer Caribbean lobster, but... I mean, I don't know. I, yeah, I mean, New England Maine lobster is like yeah. the best There's a in, that, that I've had. Maine yeah, it's so good. Dawn says lobster should not come from warm water, nor should oysters. I mean, I will say, yeah, the, I like, hey, how's it going? Can I please do this half a gummy fruit punch IPA? Sounds good. Pick up down there? Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much for your help. Thank you. Uh, can I do the seasonal fruit part? No. Yeah. Just that. That's it. It's so fancy. What did you get? I got the parfait. It comes with Dole Whip, but I'm hot and I want to cool down. I'm not judging. No one's judging here. Thank you so much. Oh, I don't know that's good. But. How do we always miss that 11 or 19? Because we've had it. It's been here. It was here last year. I'm, uh, I was saving. I'm trying to try the new stuff because there's so many new items. There it is. We're going to get into it. Can you watch that for one second while I throw this out? Please. Well, I have...
things in my hands. I don't have enough hands for everything. No, but you could always just use these. It's quite a red. You're still breathing. So what you got, the seasonal fruit parfait with a sweet chili sauce and Dole Whip mango. Can't wait to see how that tastes. Tastes like sugar. This is the Sweetwater Brewing Half a Gummy Fruit Punch IPA out of Atlanta. Let's give it a try. Oh, come on. Ooh, what'd you got? Oh, you have the tangerine soft serve. Ooh. Let's, I can't wait. I need the review. Someone's got to give me the review. Aiden, be the official reviewer for us. Like my mom, I have one job. Here we go. So this is what? Oh, you want to try it? No. It actually smells like gummy bears. It's good. It's really good. No, don't waste. Is it good? It doesn't taste like an IPA. Oh, he likes it. Eighteen year old. Yeah. Big they, fan. They know things. Wow, already wants another one. And, and look how much you spilled on the floor. Well, that's why you need the second one. Yeah. It tastes like another one. It's so good. It's actually good. All right, and then what do we think of the other one where you have the seasonal fruit parfait, which is with the sweet chili and Dole Whip? Hold on, we got to make room. Oh, that is really good, actually. Is it? Yeah. That's pretty good. Very good? Okay. Two berries that yeah what makes it good like describe it can i steal a tiny spoonful oh, well, i'll just get a new one do you want to try this yeah i'll try it hold on all right here i'll go here first we'll try the this first just the tiniest bit oh i don't want to this is so much harder than it looks all right there we go That is so weird. I don't know what to think of that. No and this, there everyone's raving about. I'm excited. The tangerine goal whip is actually pretty good. Like, that is tasty. It's not It's cool. Sweet, yeah, that's the I thing mean. is, yeah, it's, there's a... And you're not really the sweet, so... I love savory, and that, yeah, that's good. It's not yours is weird. I can't figure out what's going on in my mouth with yours. That is nice. It's a nice dessert. Very well balanced. That's the good replacement for my pineapple. All right. You're correct, I would say. I am a big fan of this IPA. Because it starts very gummy berry. Yep. Hey, Graham. Your brother? Yes. Oh. He's just looking at hats. He likes that. It starts very gummy bear and then ends very IPA, which I'm a fan of. I think if you don't like IPAs, you'd have the opposite reaction because you're left with a lingering IPA taste as opposed to a lingering gummy bear taste. But that fruit punch gummy bear is right up front, which is fun. And then as an APA, <laughs> APA which is what Marquita said it tastes like, which is an American pale ale, uh, it has a nice little IPA taste at the end. Here in Germany at the barn, go the barn market, barn markets, barn markets. All the food are repeats from last year's festival, so we're gonna skip it. I was gonna get the beer flight, but I have no hands, so we'll come back. I got this full delicious IPA anyway. Next up is gonna be Italy. This is the real test of the day. The moment you've all been waiting for. Also, hopefully we'll grab a, a table and we can catch up with some chat. Say hi. We got to move. 
over here there's some crazy conversations going on to my direct right look at the beautiful germany pavilion here's a fun fact for you if you look up at the crowns and you look at the uh three knights up top go to the knight to the left look at his crown hidden mickey right in the middle of his crown also some of our favorite topiaries snow white and the seven dwarves are right here at the old boat launch and i say old because this boat launch hasn't been in operation for at least five years if not more but you got the doors right here and snow white and dopey Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, the life of a Disney duck. Tis a beautiful day. Thank goodness for the breeze. It'll be very warm. You want to share the fun the fact? Banners? We got to show the new banners. So, whenever we celebrate a festival, so does this beautiful little village here in town. And since it is now Flower and Garden Festival, they too are celebrating the Flower and Garden Festival. If you look at the banners down in the village, it's Flower and Garden Festival. And they have some extra flowers blooming in their village. They do. There's some extra flowers. Good for them. So fun fact, whenever you come by during a festival, check it out. They're celebrating as well. And... They, some of their arms and eyes work, and it freaked us out last time we were here. Yeah, there's some zombies in there. There's some it terrifying. <laughs> yeah, it was a revelation. Okay. Last opening day. That's right, the last opening day stream, yeah, for uh, Festival of the Arts. More like an opening day scream. Twas a scream. Because they were zombies. <laughs> Whoop. Hey, look. Look All right, doing. it's time to do the deed, but I want to steal one of these tables in the shade. I'm going to politely hover to steal one of these tables as soon as it becomes available. I don't know, Primavera Kitchen, mixing it up. Boom shakalaka, look at that, sliding right in. Okay, it's judgment time. What? So these tables need a break. They uh, they, they, they get reseated. The turnaround on these tables is incredible. Yeah. While we wait for the rest of our party, and hopefully for this line to die down just a little bit, I would love just Catch to say hi to anyone I haven't said hi to. And if I missed it, I'm sorry. But let's do it. It's very bright and sunny today, so it is harder to read the screen. I, I was saying that it's besides, I actually, I didn't even bring that point up, that it is hard to read the screen while you're walking, that it has to be at a stop. But also, I was like, we're having a lot of good inter-group conversation about the food. We're doing a lot of reviewing. We're talking about old memories, new memories, fun facts. All right, Just let's see. Me. It's my fault. <laughs> no, never. I you want to take the backpack off? You can put it on the table or on the ground. It's on... I mean, I'm not gonna lie, doesn't it? There's an ice pack on the back. It feels nice in your back. It just makes your back a little wet, but it, it's cold. No. Oh, it's, it was nice and cold for me. I haven't noticed that one time. Oh, that was the only the only good part of carrying that. Oh, uh, Daniel's walking right past us. Daniel! Daniel! Tomorrowland Traveler! We watch your channel! Is that 3T? Can we get a pic? How much camera equipment you got? I'm actually worried we're talking about how much camera equipment you always carry in case there's like a camera thief somewhere. Um, I have chargers in there, what do you need? 
We're, uh, we're waiting for the rest of the group here, but we have decided we're going to try Everything. all the new items in Italy. It's going to be something. It's going to be delicious. We have the highest of hopes. You don't have to. You can wait. We're, unless you're dying to get in line. I did not see you. I'm see sorry. You if you should have wore something where we would have recognized you. Yeah. You just blend. You're wearing too dark of a color. Go away pink. You just blend. Yeah, you fade away pink. Well, you've blended in with the topiaries now. Is the problem. I love that shirt. Yeah, you're like, I I don't know if I'm talking to you over here yeah. or over there. Is this Daniel? Is this Daniel? I grew up with Marquina. Uh, it's funny you say that because I grew up with Iggy Azalea and always been a big fan. Did you? Yeah. In Australia. You know what? I'm I love international music. Peaches Pete, thanks for dropping the link to the Discord in the chat. She says Discord is completely free. We have an awesome and fun community. Please come join the fun. I agree. For those who don't know, if you're new here, we do have a Discord. Uh, over 300 people strong, and it's just a nice, kind, generous community. If that's something you're not into, that's fine. But uh, it's nice having everyone there, and it's free. You can use your cell phone. You can use your computer. You can use them intertwined. So we're getting the Germany music loop while looking at Italy's Primavera kitchen. Very multicultural today. Well, it's because we're on the border. We are look, on the if border. You look right here. Look, on the so we're right down the line, and I'm standing on the right side. This gray stripe to the right is Germany, to the left is Italy. Wow, so close, but so far away. Yeah. All right, I said we take this line in shifts because it's in the sun. I'm into it. We came to watch uh, in the World Cup when Italy was in the final. We came to watch it here in Italy. Which was fun because we were sitting right by the kitchen and all of a sudden, I guess our phones were on a delay. As you heard in the kitchen, like, ha! Ah! And then we saw them score. Peaches, thanks for posting the links to the Twitter, the website, the TikTok, for those who don't know. Um, I'm on all the socials. Everything's down in the description. Well, no, it's, ice, it's Dole Whip and fruit. I get it, but I just, I thought it was Is it pudding? It's parfait. parfait. Hello, C4 yeah, 0423 said, the way the guys are dressed, it looks more like it's a bear gathering. Now, you're right. This is, this could definitely be a bear gathering. Facts. Although, uh, although, 100% facts. Although, most of this group right now, technically, well, us two, we're from the north. But I was going to say, if we all grew up in the south, it would be more like a country bear gathering. Yeah. There's a stretch there. There's a stretch there. You're a, a city there. slicker over there. I am a city slicker. You're a city slicker? I am a city slicker. I'd love to see all the new hair colors for flowers. Me too. Everyone coming into bloom? Yeah. yeah. They're all coming into bloom. They're emerging. Uh, a lot of people want just a Daniel report. Are you doing okay? Is the knee holding up? It's, it's, I think it's we should try there. and get one when we get to international game. No. Yeah, so, we should. So, um, Main Street Thieves, you know how they send their Instagram? They, they're, they put their t-shirts in a locker somewhere in the park. Okay. I just DM them, so see, hopefully we can get a code and maybe get a free t-shirt from Main Street Thieves. Shout out to Main Street Thieves. And stuff. That is so much fun, though. But I just, I, I follow them on Instagram, so maybe I'm trying to get you some sponsors. That would be fun. I'm here for it. I'm here for all the plugs. I don't. I don't know anything that just happened except for we're gonna rob somebody's locker for a T-shirt. No, it's technically not robbing when they give. Oh, you that's the nice. It's a giveaway. Yeah, it's a giveaway. It's oh, like, okay, cool. Remember when we found? I got stickers. Should we just start leaving some stickers on tables? Yes. Oh, they'll blow away. Yeah. Or they'll get in trouble. No, no. I'm, I was just. I was throwing it out there, and it was a bad idea. I take it back. Okay, let me tell you why. So I was sitting in front of the American Pavilion. Not American Pavilion, but uh, all the presidents and Magic Kingdom. 
seat him on that white bench outside. That's and I put, a, I put a stack of stickers on the armrest and I forgot them. And so when I made my loop back around, I'm like, what's all over the ground? And then I realized they were Tomorrowland Traveler stickers. Yeah. About 60 of them. So luckily I scooped them all up so nobody started, because I didn't want to be like, oh, this day I probably think I'm doing it on purpose. I don't want to tell people this, but um, we lost two good ducks that day. And, uh... <laughs> they, were, they were all present and It's okay. Them. Only the squirrels got injured. <laughs> <laughs> we don't condone the injury of anyone or any animal here on this channel. Wow. That's... Hurricane. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, who are you drinking today? Uh, Andrew Pomalchi says all the Sweetwater Candy IPAs have been awful so far, in my opinion. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like this one. I haven't had any of the other ones yet, which I, I didn't know it was out. a series. I actually like that one. So this one, yeah. I, well, I guess, no, but here's, I don't know, like, I don't know, if, well, here, here's the thing. If beer heads are judging it and writing about it, is that you don't get, it's not like a real, what's a polite way of saying this? Also, it's watermelon. It's not, um, <laughs> it's not very IPA forward. It tastes almost too sweet. Like they're just trying to throw things into an IPA and see what works. It's, uh, it's, I, I know a few breweries who have done this. Like once there was the Skittles IPA I had way back when, and a lot of people have tried it and a lot of people have made it. So I can be talking about any brewery, but it's to see what work. They literally just like put Skittles in a cheesecloth in the tank to see the flavor would absorb and it. It was interesting, but not the best. This, I don't know, I kind of like it, and here's why. And it could be one that it's very hot out today, so this is very light and refreshing. Uh, and I, a, a fruit punch gummy bear is delicious. And also, I just like beer. So if you took the IPA out of it, I don't know, I kind of get a little IPA in the finish, but it's all fruit punch gummy egg. I said that earlier, you said it was an APA. Oh, Sergio's coming out. All right, I say we take shifts in this line. You guys want me to go first, second, third? I'll wait in the entire line if somebody else pays. I'll pay. That's a deal. Yeah, wait, did it for your say he was taking Italy? He, no, they said they actually wanted, they were so hungry they went into Via Napoli to get a full meal. Do you want? All right, you sure you want this one? It's up to you. Rock, paper, scissors? Everything here is new. All right, everybody, his card number is? Non alcoholic drinks? Yeah. All right, I'll get the next one. Do you want to like, leave the backpack? No, it'll, it'll save me from the side. Okay. I'll catch up with some chat. Hi, everyone. I'm trying to post pictures. Finally. So it's been a very fun and action packed day so far. We've been live now for a good amount of time. Wow, I didn't realize it's almost three hours. Uh, we started our day right in the front of the park to show you as many topiaries as we could, and we're loving the topiaries in the gardens. A few things happen here during the Flower and Garden Festival. You have the topiaries in the gardens. You have the outdoor kitchens, which we're looking at here with Primavera Kitchen. Uh, there's the Garden Rocks concert series, which takes place right over there. You can see it in America every night. Uh, they have live entertainment. It changes. Make sure you check the schedule tonight. Is I believe, Vibes or The Vibe, something Vibe. During the week, it's typically um, cover bands, which are all fantastic, though, like really good cover bands. And on weekends, they bring in the uh, acts that you may know. There is unique festival merchandise, and there's also the Garden Grays, where if you have the five specific items uh, on the festival menus, you get a special treat. Uh, if you want more information on that, I guess I could just tell you now. The way it works is you purchase, <laughs> yes. I had one in my pocket the whole day. So the Garden Grays menu items are right here. Uh, it's the Flo uh, Florida Strawberry Shortcake over at Florida Fresh, which we did not do. The plant-based Buffalo Chicken Tender Poutine, which sounds good. I might do that at the end of the day. Oh, that does sound good. Then there's a Coconut Tres Leches, uh, which will be a disaster for me as lactose intolerant, but we'll push through. Potato Pancakes, which is, uh, we just skipped in Germany because that's a they did that last year. Ooh, the Seasonal Fruit Parfait. We didn't get the sticker, dang, or the stamp. Ryan got it. Oh, and the Apostle Farmhouse Meatball, we're going to get the stamp. Ah! You guys are not paying attention to 
And then the last two we both, we didn't do what we had last year, the avocado toast and the grilled street corn. And then if you get all five, your sixth treat is the pineapple promenade uh, festival treat. It doesn't tell you what it is, but if it's from pineapple promenade, probably something a little sweet, perhaps a dessert. So I personally am not doing the garden grays, but those are some of the fun offerings. Also, there's fun for all ages. They have a scavenger hunt for the kids. They have Spike's pollination exploration where gardeners of all ages can follow Spike and his pollination trail where he will be busy collecting nectar and pollinating gardens around Epcot. Uh, maybe we'll come back and do that on some of our streams. Again, this festival runs until May 27th, uh, which fun fact is Lauren's birthday. Um, so there's also the egg extravaganza scavenger hunt, which will be happening during a limited time. That's usually around uh, Easter week where there's a colorful Easter egg hunt inspired by Disney characters that you have to kind of see a cast member for. That's typically the week uh, leading up to Easter and the week after. There's also the Blossoms of Fragrance uh, and the Bridge to the World Showcase where you have those fragrances. We pass by them. It's if you want to buy perfume. Then there's the PB&J Garden, which is new for this year, presented by Smucker's Uncrustables. And that's where you can enjoy a playful exploration of the quintessential American snack, peanut butter and jelly. There's the butterfly landing, which we did, which was a ton of fun. We get to observe many species of butterflies up close. Then there's the Camp Get Out and Play Garden presented by Off. That was right behind, we were right there. It's just the playground. It's, I don't know why they're saying it's unique. They put a sign out. And then the Purple Martins, which we talk about, those little birdhouses, uh, it, they are in season. Then there are many, many topiaries, and we've shown you a bunch so far today. When we walked in, we got to see uh, from Disney's Wish Asha with Valentino and Star. We got to see. Hey, everyone. Everyone's live. Uh, thanks. Yeah, hi, I'm Adventures by Carney. Uh, I'd appreciate you watching my channel uh, when Theme Parks Assemble are not live. And he's a great guy, so I think you already have great taste. So thanks for watching Theme Parks Assemble. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, get that bell on, hit all notifications for channels that go live. The bell is so important so you don't miss any of the fun. Anyway, that's Theme Parks. No, I, honestly, I just, make, I just improvise it. But that's kind of been my job forever, just doing other versions of it. Anyway, it's Theme Parks Assemble, everyone. You want to tell people about your channel? What's up, everyone? Yes, my name is Michael Anthony. Appreciate you guys. Two first names. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, Italian. I know. I was going to say, you sound like every pizzeria on Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've had many slices from Michael Anthony's. Exactly. Yeah, well, we like to have fun over here. Uh, stream every Wednesday from the parks, randomly. Um, start the stream on the weekends also. We do the parks at home. And then the home streams are going to be doing uh, some watch parties. We're going to watch the movies I haven't seen. Some what? Stuff, Marvel stuff. Yeah, of course. I get it. I love it. And I, I love it. rocking the shirt. You got to self-promote. I had a hat too, but you know, it was a bucket hat day. It is. It is. Yeah, you got to protect the face. Uh, yeah, I like, the, I like the shirt. I would never self-promote at all. Of course. Why would you? No. No, that's ridiculous. <laughs> like, like, just promoting your channel is out of control. Did you turn the out? Yeah. It's just, I'm just saying, like, I mean, but... I do like your shirt. Is you all I'm saying. Neon colors because they lose me. I do. Thank God you wore that hat, or we would we would have lost you today. This is. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So have you tried any of what's been some of the highlights of your day or stream so far? How long have you been the live? Butterfly. Butterfly Garden was really cool. I've never seen that. Before. Really? Oh Get out of here. How long have you lived in Orlando? Well, I came. You got off the boat from Italy in what year? Seven, eight years ago, I left for Houston, and then I went to San Diego. And then I came back. Okay. Yeah, that was the big festival. And yeah. I never gave festival directors a chance. I never gave flower garden. Oh, chance. how dare they you? Actually, like, soaking it in. Yes. And that was the when the influencer cool. table just grew. Many people have said this is their favorite festival. I don't like to say there's favorites. Uh, Daniel, you know Theme Parks Assemble. Daniel was actually the first one to tell me about Theme Parks Assemble. Uh, Daniel is the man, he also has a YouTube channel, The Tomorrowland Traveler. I'll promote his channel since he won't, but Daniel is amazing because he 
<laughs> likes <laughs> to see. Oh yeah, let's talk about your hat for a second. Uh, that's a great hat. Yeah. But Daniel uh, is the man because he'll hit me up and send me a text or whatever. Sometimes, we t you know, when we talk on the phone, he's like, have you seen this channel or this channel? Or I just started watching this person. I think they're going to be something. I like it. This is great. And then uh, he told me about Theme Parks Assemble. And then I just, I was, I'm very pleased. I'm happy he did. And Michael Anthony came into my life. Yes. And we all came into each other's And you can support multiple streamers. We don't, yeah, we love everybody. The more content, the better. I remember that's how I got, I fell in love with this kind of community is I used to fly for work and I was always looking for stuff to watch in the airports, on the plane or at the hotel at night. Cause I used to fly out Monday mornings at four in the morning, work all week, be in a hotel, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, fly home. And it was just stuff to do at night. And that's where I came to learn about the entire Disney community. So that's why I say there's enough for everybody. I was always looking for content. There wasn't enough. And it's something for everybody. I'm a lot. I'm a red-faced maniac. <laughs> All right. Uh, for those who don't know, Daniel's about to do a karate demonstration. Yeah, the first days are yeah. great. Yeah. It's, it's interesting because you see, you just see a whole mixture of crowds. You see overwhelmed fathers going like, where did all these people come from? Because he didn't realize it was the first day of whatever. Yeah. Yeah. He ran into him earlier. Who? Oh. <laughs> Our overwhelmed father. Oh, overwhelmed dad. Two days ago when there was nobody here. <laughs> It is a big difference between yesterday and today. Yeah. Oh. Skyliner's a great place. It's like when people say go up into the uh, Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse in Magic Kingdom for fireworks. Like Skyliner for fireworks are great too. And you can sync up the music if you really want to, which is fun. We saw a whole group when we were walking out because you took the Skyliner, Ferris and I walked to the car and then met you. And uh, there was a whole group on the bridge between yacht and beach. People just hanging out. They great. Could you still hear the music and see it? I don't know, I'm a fan of Luminous. I'm a fan. But you were at beach and yacht? Yeah. I thought you were, you said you were wilderness. We were here. Oh. Yeah, I did one. It went pretty well. Oh, then I walked right past it. I'm moving all my stuff into a different space, so now I'll be able to set everything up the way I want it. And so I'll, once I do that, I'll be going hardcore on the weekends, either being up here or being streaming. Um, I, just, I just told him we were going to start working on my church and we're going to You guys all chat. I have to run. Um, my friend's calling me right over there, so I'll be right back. Because I was going to finish before I got there, but... <laughs> Yeah, you can take OBS. You can take the original OBS. 
and and that's what streamlabs. Streamlabs is like this OBS. They just made their own thing. Welcome to Geek Coffee. Yeah, sometimes they do. I'd just I like to dedicated. welcome everybody to Geek Talk 101. Yes. yes. <laughs> this geek saved your phone. Yes. Do you want a longer charger? Or you got an iPhone over my head? It's always pretty sad until they need something. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. And they're, I don't, they don't feel too heavy either. Yeah, they're very like foldy. You know, because this like gets it gets locked up. Yeah, Where'd you get these on Amazon or something? Chubby cable. Chubby cable. I need some chubby cable. Chubby cable. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh, wait. What does that do? Excuse me, ma'am. What are you drinking? I'm like, not what are you drinking? Or you can un. What are you drinking? You can swap it out. Ryan, you need help or help? That's awesome. It was too fast. It's just like me when they bring the groceries in. One trip. I'm, none of this looks appealing to me. That one looks thrown together. This looks That's the best out of all of them, actually. Okay, so yeah. this... I am, and that looks This horrible. looks like Ferris made it. Yeah. <laughs> this looks like... I made it. A sh some, oh, no, no, give yourself more credit. This looks like Junior Chef. It looks like, like Phoenix me. made it. Yeah. Phoenix did this. It looks like Phoenix And then this it. is just pretty, but I'm, I mean, who doesn't What's like tomato, tomato basil? And, and there's mozzarella in there as well. is. Yeah, I see the moats on the bottom, yeah. It's it not, good. none of this looks encouraging at all. Come on. I'll try this shrimp. But all right. Phoenix, did you make this? It's new. Yeah, <laughs> at least it's, it's new. Uh, at least it's, it's like, new. It's like buying a used car. It's like, <laughs> at least it's new to me. It, yeah, you know what actually would make this booth okay? If everything was like half off. If they were just like, <laughs> everything's booth is $3. Just make it an Italian style, like open air flea market. Yeah. So far, that's the best thing I've had from Italy. From the Italy booth, but that's not saying much. No, no. I mean, uh, today, no. I haven't tried anything. I'm not trying too much today. Um, Thank you. I got uh, something else going out on after the stream, so I'll be using it later. I brought PB and J's. You know, my low, I get, I get like headaches. You know, my sugar gets low sometimes. So I. Yeah. I know. I gotta hit up. Uh, I gotta grab All right. Some water. Let's. Let's try this food. All right, we're doing Italy, everyone. Up first, oh, hold on, I brought my silverware. This you be in there, Phoenix. Container. Well, since he didn't uh, have the pasta with the shrimp, he should be. I was gonna say, you probably make better pasta than shrimp. He probably does. All right, here we go. First up, we're gonna do, I don't even know what to, all right, let's, let's do the quote unquote arrabbiata. They have to be so upset in there that they're serving this. All right, so this is the shrimp with the red sauce and the penne. Uh, they, so they're calling it a panette pasta, spicy tomato sauce, and butterfly shrimp. Very young butterflies, barely out of the cocoon. It's, and there's like a pile of water on the bottom. Yeah. I just feel bad for it. It's fine, but let me just show you something. I just feel bad, no, for like the Italians that have to work this booth because like they... Yeah. That was one of the worst mozzarella that I've ever had. The mozzarella? It's one. You can't even mess it up. They take it out of the package. Oh, great! I can't wait to try this. All right. Again, we're a positive channel, but we're giving you real reviews. Don, we did not use your money for this. Yeah, Don, we didn't use your money for this. As a matter of fact, thank Daniel for this booth. I'm going to do the next one. We've been alternating, having fun out here. I will use that money at a future booth. Next up, we're gonna do the Quattro Formaggi Panette Pasta and a four cheese sauce. So it's basically small penne in a four cheese sauce. It's not good. 
I feel so bad because I try to find like the Phoenix, silver lining I and everything. Like this. Phoenix was like, you know what? I'm just yeah, but it's, it, everything here tastes like, and I and I don't, I don't. I, again, I really want to find a positive thing to say, but that it just came out of a jar or it's easy. Michael Anthony, Theme Parks Assemble. Everyone, go follow him. That's right. We'll see you on another lap. We're doing uh, 40 laps today. I just feel bad. All right, so listen, this is why, and people ask, why do you skip the Italy booth every year? And this is why. It's just rough. It is such a shame because inside the Italy pavilion, there's great food. Go in and try Tutto Gusto. Try Via Napoli. Have some of that food. Out here, it is not good. So this is a basically a tomato, mozzarella, and I'm assuming some kind of pesto. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the mozzarella, borracini, and the grape tomatoes with a pesto sauce. Let's try. I'll do a little bit of everything. A little pesto, a little tomato, a little mutz. You can have all the rest. I just wanted one bite. Oh, you have one right here. Facts, right, facts, but we can't say that out loud. <laughs> because it's almost impossible to mess up, that's the best item. But it's a pesto sauce with a tomato and a piece of a bowl of mozzarella. I was the most offended by that one, even, it's even better. No, I like here's why. That all like that. came out of packages you can buy at any supermarket These in the world. It was somehow oh, they're grape tomatoes. I got a dry mozzarella. Oh, the mozzarella mozzarella? wasn't that bad. No, the other two pasta dishes were just... The only thing that redeems this watery red sauce that you like in the shrimp is that there is a little bit of heat and spice yeah. to give it some kind of body, but that's the only thing that gives it body. Otherwise, it's... It's rough. It's a rough booth. I feel so bad, but I've got to be honest with you. There's so much, there's a lot of good food here. And sadly, none of it is here at the Italy booth, unless you go inside the pavilion. So, I mean, let's be honest. Out of all of us, Farris was the smartest. He went and got a table at Via Napoli with the two girls, and uh, they're having delicious Italian food while we have this. No, oh, the gelato with gelato with is great too. Yeah, you're also extremely smart. How was the gelato? Everyone should get an affogato. What? An affogato? Why? They're delicious. He can't do an affogato though. Well, he can't, but everyone should. You can't either. I can. Yeah, you an affogato? It's, an es it's a shot of espresso poured over vanilla um, gelato. Oh, well, that sounds delightful. I mean, I'm like those tolerant, but I'll still do it. But I roll the dice. Hey, no doubt. You got to do it for the people. <laughs> They're like, where is Peep in for 20 minutes? They're like, remember when he said he was lactose intolerant and had all that cheese? Uh, yeah, this would have been a better shot for <laughs> The opera started going. Did you say that would have been a better? That would have been a better shooter for a drink. Yeah, that. Imagine, so here's my, and you are like this too. But here's the mixologist old bartender me. I would love to use this as a drink and do some kind of, uh, like a take on a Bloody Mary, so you have tomato in here, and then you could have some fun with it with some maybe some green on top. Uh, I don't know what we would put in there on a Bloody Mary on top. Baby, baby carrot. No, yeah, a little baby carrot, but also I'm like thinking some kind of shaved green vegetable to make it look like a little. Yeah, but it's too it's too light green, like something that could go in a Bloody Mary, but also would look like grass. You could do that, or even um, some kind of zest from either like a lime or a watermelon could work too. Not a wasabi. What are you out of your mind? You love spicy food. It's in the, we're making a Bloody Mary. <laughs> I'm saying, but like something shaved on top to make it look like grass. Wasabi is horseradish. Horseradish would work too. Wasabi is horseradish. So All right, everyone just needs to settle down. It's not that crazy. I just when I heard wasabi, I, I get scared because I've been tricked into eating a lot of wasabi in my life. Pete, you gotta stop getting tricked into doing that. How do you get tricked into eating? Something? Because people be like, Pete, try this, and then I always forget to ask more questions, and I just say yes. That is me. I feel like Hangover like three would be if we all went to Vegas first. I don't want to ruin your world, but there's already been a Hangover three. <laughs> hangover eight. Hangover seven. Uh, like Kung Fu Panda, it would have to be uh, number four at this point. All right. The four is coming out. I know. That's what I said. Uh, see, I know things. I, I don't know who's asking for it. Right, well, Jack Black is. He's getting paid. All right, guys. This is a positive channel. We're at the Italy booth. We've been really hating on a lot of things. 
Maybe we can just go around the table and say one nice thing about anything. It could be literally anything. A lot of nice shade. All right, thank goodness for buildings. Ryan, one nice thing about literally anything. I would say that if this had maybe 10% less olive oil, this sauce would be really good. I think we can't respect your Italian opinion anymore, and I'm sad because I really held you in high regard when it came to Italian food. You think it, if it had only 10% less olive oil, that would make, you know what that needs? 20 million percent more ingredients and time on a stove no. to develop no. flavor basil and <laughs> herbs and san marzano tomatoes i don't know what happened either all right i i think we're done with everything um anyone that i sh sent the list to can you tell me what let's develop a plan for the next few stops america and, and japan unless it's a cocktail. All right, well, let's just look at America and Japan on the next two and Morocco. What is new on those three? Again, we're going off our amazing list thanks to Stephen Noon, the MVP. Uh, he's absolutely, he's got the best Instagram account. Go check it out. Uh, Japan, there is a new steamed bun with yeah. vegetables and Yeah. Vegetables. There is a new ramen cup, ramen salad shaken in a cup with fresh vegetables. I'm into Grilled all of chicken, that. Dashi broth. Uh, with chili oil and I yuzu. The worst look you wanted a, you really want a frushi? There is a new no. watermelon strawberry lemonade. I'm excited about that. Oh yes, but it's non-alcoholic, so it's very exciting for you. There is a sake with strawberry and watermelon. I'll try it. And a pineapple nigori sake. Alright, so I hate to say this, Marquita, but basically we want almost everything except for the frushi. You really want the frushi that bad? I mean, what's in the fruit? it's so you know what sushi is, right? It's just instead of fish, I it's all fruit. That's right here. No, America I meant, I meant on this too. list. On the uh, if you want the name of it, it's known okay, it's Magnolia Terrace. Uh, the Mufaletta Panini, I believe, was here last year, unless they changed it, which was very good. And the spicy gumbo, uh, was also very good last there year. There is a new uh, fruit punch cabbage? ale. <laughs> By Urban Artifact. Ooh, I do. Ooh, that beer flight sounds great. Ghost of the Machine is so good, the double IPA. And there's a new and the Schneider Weiss. Yes, Love I was going to say. Uh, all right. All right, so remember, though, last year, honestly, this America did crush it. And I hope I really there is the same. The gumbo. the gumbo was great, and the panini was great. And these beers sound fantastic. I'm in for a beer flight. Does anyone want any of the food? But then also in Japan, we got the steam bun, the ramen cup and basically all the other things. And the beverages, yes. Yeah, everything but the frushi. Anyone want to pick one? I'll do one or the other. I'll, get you, I'll do America or Japan if we want to split up and meet back up. You just did this, so you are not allowed to pay. But if you guys want to split up, I'm, I'm down. Anyone. You also just waited in line, so like, I'll ask Marquita. Would you rather do, we're going to do Japan and America at the same time. Would you rather do America or Japan? Um, we're going the two teams. You're a team leader and I'm a team leader. Please hold. Um, Japan. Okay. America she can has get nothing her but beer. Okay. What? <laughs> Japan has nothing, I mean, America has nothing but beer. No, we're going to get one of the food items. I'm saying, which one do you want? Because uh, we, because we, no. we liked it. Japan. I know, we're just going to do it because we liked it. Okay, fine. Japan has two new cocktails, right? But it also has two new foods. So I'll get one of the foods and my, uh, my, my delicious little slushy there. All right, so you guys want to be Japan, Team Japan? Yeah. I'll go be Team America with Daniel. Okay. It's also a shorter walk. I and come back with ribs. Don't blame me. Sorry. Okay. Um, I do also think <laughs> if you got to be in communication with anyone but me, unless you post it in the chat, but... I'm gonna try and secure a table in America as well because there's picnic tables and there's no picnic tables in Japan. That sounds brilliant. All right, you and Marquita are going that way. Marquita, you're going the wrong way. Yeah, well, she's on the phone again. Bricky, you get to choose a team, America or Japan. And honestly, no judgment. This isn't the 1940s. We all get along. Okay. Yeah. The only thing that's the bomb around here is the food. Yeah. All right, hold on. I gotta check something, everyone. Hold on.
Yeah, we'll talk about that first. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we all should talk about that later. Uh, I um, would absolutely love to. But right now, we're about positivity. And look at these two. I'm being very positive right now. I know, but look at these two beautiful topiaries. so positive right now. All right, you guys are Team Japan. I'm Team America. Look at how shaggy she is. We're going to go look at the topes and then keep moving. Who let her out there like that? Now, that's my favorite version. They do trim these up, so I do like when she grows her hair out. I'm just saying. Lady is looking good. Even with the little side eye, I'm a fan. But look at Tramp, looking at her with those loving eyes. Love that the entire stage here covered in flowers. It looks beautiful. And honestly, I know we've been doing some negative speak, which I don't like about the Italy food outside of that booth. But that, pretend that doesn't exist, is that inside here, in this piazza, this beautiful square, the food is fantastic. Go to Tutto Italia, go to Via Napoli, try some of the amazing foods here in Italy. Just I'd recommend avoiding Primavera Kitchen. I think that might be the problem, is the proximity. No, it's really not. I go. I went with an open mind today. Like, I'm pumped. Yeah, I went in with an open mind. I want things to be good. You know me. I, would, I love saying nice things. It's just a shame because... Again, here's how I look at it, right? If I'm a, a cast member, vis, like... Visiting and working here in Italy at Epcot and they go this is the food you're representing me with I'd be upset. I'd be upset. I Believe and this is only for the Italians. I might understand this, but uh, I, this is what they say is uh, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> also a fun hack if you're going around the world stop by Joffrey's and grab your straws from Joffrey's they have the agave straws Oh, no, I did. did I, people know about that? I never talked about that, did I? I don't want to. No, no, no. It's, uh, I, that's for Patreons only. <laughs> Patreons only. Tonight is The Vibe, spelled with a Y. They might. They... I don't know you want us to grind at 530 and find out. Are you gonna make it? They also redid the screens and lighting package. I love the, the the tech team. God. Shout out to the tech team. New lights package, new sound package, all the festivals, crushing it. She she knows it. She loves it. Alright, let's go over here. I always just loved like the back of the house people i was like i was the actor or the person front you know singing dancing doing all those things and i was always like man these people make all the magic happen but never get any of the love hey you stopped in america with us look at tiana looking amazing in america oh we got to charge on the next stop i'm at 10 percent uh-oh All right, Magnolia Terrace. That is the name of the American food booth during this festival. So what do you want, Daniel? I'll let you pick. You want the panini or the gumbo? I forget we were going to America. You know, well, we're also getting Japan. This is never, this is my Italy booth. No, this is good food. Uh, I'll try the gumbo. Don't, I mean, I'm not going to twist your arm. Because I don't do dessert, but if you want the pudding, you can. I feel like you're only doing the desserts. All right, I'll get you the pudding. I'm going to get it for you. You're right, and banana's important to stay, you know, in this hot weather. You got to keep the bones and the body going. I can try the gumbo. 
I feel bad. I don't think I've carried my backpack since the first stop, and uh, Ryan has it again. I but also, you. you have a great channel. Really? Thank you. I appreciate it. What are you celebrating? Harper, happy birthday. I love it. We're live. We're at Epcot. 21st birthday. 21st birthday, opening day of Flower and Garden at Epcot. Talk about a birthday. That's good. Wow. Yeah. Can you imagine 21 years ago, the parents were like, we timed this right. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Happy birthday, Harper. We'll have to have a drink to Harper once we finally get to the front of the line. Yes. I just say all of the above. <laughs> also, I have to, when we get Ryan a charger, because I'm at 9%. We can't let it die. My battery. Oh, she, she took, she, um, I have everything in his bag, but I, it's for the iPhone. I have three iPhone chargers in his bag, just in my bag that she has. Well, I have a block. But here, here. But hold on. I have a better idea. Can you hold this in this line so I don't run with it? I'll just run to him, take the bag, and run back to you. Mm -hmm. I'll be, I'll be. How do you even see this? I got it. Carney sets his up different. I can't even see his screen. It's so bright out here. But anyway, we're just chilling out at America Booth. It's uh, 150. Was it 154? We've been going since, what, 10.30? So when we came through last night, we saw a lot of the topiaries already out, but it was dark, so you really couldn't see them. I can't see the screen, so I really hope it's at a decent spot. This is Magnolia Terrace. I never even noticed the little window boxes with the flowers up there. I guess it's all the little details. Man, that sun is brutal today. New popcorn bucket out. Uh, well, it's not new, brand new, but it's new, a little, it's newish for this year. It's the, the, with the green top. I think that's pretty cool. Ooh, we're doing some sound checks. Let's see if Carney makes it back before we have to order. Good, how are you? One of all three. I think. Do you want a drink? Do you want a, what do you want to pay for this? Uh, I guess we'll try the drink. I'm going to do the beer flight, the cocktail, and what do you want? I already ordered one of everything. One of every, all three. All right, that's fine. Here, take mine. So beer flight, cocktail, what were the other ones? We're just one of everything on your menu. Okay. But instead of all the beers individually, the beer flight, the cocktail. And then all the food. And then all the food. Yeah. Please. All right, $40 even. I'm gonna just tap the top. Do work? No. I was about to say, y'all are on fire. 
got all the alcohol on the menu. Oh. I don't I don't drink, so. <laughs> we also have a big group. We're splitting yeah. it up. We're yeah. taking our time. I'll be back to the car here. Okay. take that and charge it. I'll be right back. Have a good one. Thank you so much. All right, all right. We got, they're on their way back. We just ordered everything from this booth. Hey, congratulations on Bob Weiss. That's friggin' amazing. The head of Imagineering. I'm a. Uh, I have to say, I'm pretty amazed. We're we're live, but you want me to turn it around or face the other way? You can. I probably need to go join them. I think they're ready to eat stuff. Well, anyway, I'll let's do a little plug. Um, I I have to I have to go down here. I know. Well, it's as high as it goes, Tom. Hold on. There you go. Well, tilt it up. You're How so, long have so, you been so doing this? It's my first day. I'm really trying. Give me a break. You'll, you'll get I'm trying my best. Uh, if you haven't heard, uh, there's a very special a few anniversaries coming up. Uh, stage 89 celebrates. Me and you. <laughs> yes. It's actually Stage 89 signifies. Well, was that one of my first events with you? I think I no. Know. It was Wreck the Halls was the first one, and Stage 89 was I think the second one. I know. Wow. Six, seven years. I don't know. Going back to. Actually, I can tell you. 2017 is when I started working for WNT. It goes back to a different point. All school. Um, there's like a harmony or like no, just for the day. Like everyone, be ready. Okay. Is she coming? Uh, but yeah, no. The whole reason I wanted to stop is to help promote your events. Uh, is because I think it's pretty awesome, and I'm very impressed. I have been watching. If you don't follow WNT, the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news. Uh, you're doing a really big event. Uh, the Stage weekend after, yeah, we're doing, so we're doing a little family event. We were going to do it the same weekend, but I said I cannot do it because You can't compete with Bob Weiss. I cannot compete, and that was even before Bob Weiss. So I was just like, I can't compete with, like, the guy who painted the side of a building. Uh, the guy who created the alien scene in Great Yeah, the, the guy who created one yeah. thing. Um, so if you're staying for two weekends, do a 10-day trip. We're doing the run weekend, but the following weekend, May 1st, uh, is the anniversary of Disney's Hollywood Studios, as well as Typhoon Lagoon and many other things. But you have an all-star cast. You're bringing in the guy who did the original uh, voiceover for Rod Serling uh, for Tower of Terror. Yeah, Mark Silverman, who did the commercial for the event, Yeah, too, and the commercial. Days. If you guys uh, want your daily news, also a great thing. But Bob Weiss announced this week. Bob Weiss is a, a major, the creative lead major get. Yeah, like, so, this is a major get. The man ran Imagineering. The thing we love the most, if you're a Disney fan, is Imagineering. That's cool. I'm so excited for you. Excited. Stage 89.com. All proceeds go to give kids the world. We're not making a set. So it's just yeah. a, it's little, a fun thing to do. A little pricey in person, but you can watch it literally online. And I think it's before March 12th. Before March 15th, it's only $10 to stream. There you go. It is pricey in person because we have to fly everybody in. Of course, I get to meet no them and actually spending. get autographs and you get to ask huh? them questions. So. And there's a, a, an event at a brewery. And I'm, of course, the I'm like, oh, I don't yeah. work here. And now they start doing events at breweries? What the heck is going on around here? I'm just gonna show up. I'm gonna be on the other side of the room, like, oh, there's. That a wouldn't be like Pete to just show up somewhere where he wasn't invited. That wouldn't be like Pete. What do you mean wasn't invited? I can't just go to a brewery. Fine, I won't come. I will go to another brewery. Anyway, congratulations, Bob Weiss. Yeah, do. Thank you. we're on the 26 more items, by the way. But yeah. Well, you're doing all of them. We're just in the new stuff. The new stuff. That's what I'm. Yeah, but we're. We, I have a group of eight, so like we've been hustling. You've got more people than I. You also have to stop and do a lot more than I have to do. I just go, ooh, this is yummy. You take pictures and video. All right, we'll see you later. Anyone? Oh, I gotta help Daniel. Can um someone watch the stream? Or you guys talk to the chat? Talk to the chat, Ryan. Ryan's like, no thank I'm scrolling. I'm not scrolling, so uh, I'll only react to the things that are happening currently. No, that's the wrong way. Pete has his controls inverted on his little gimbal. But how are we doing, everyone? This is a. Uh, Strawberry watermelon lemonade. Um, I thought it was going to be a slushy. It might be a slushy the rest of the year, but it's not today. Let me know what day you're going. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know. I don't know. 
me their cocktails? One day is, is day one of your new drinks. Right. Yeah. She um, actually hasn't reached out yet for... But like, how are we doing in the chat? We got... Yeah. It's, it's a normal like 78 people. Hey. No, no alcohol in this one. Oh, and we got Pete and Dale with all the food from uh, America. Food and drinks. Ooh, that drink looks fantastic. I'm coming to America. Singing songs by Neil Diamond from many, many decades ago. Look at this. We got more beautiful people joining the stream. Hi. Hi, how I'm are Pete. You? I'm Adriana. Hi, Adriana. I'm friends with Ryan. So... Yeah. You stole my friend. Well, so in that case, it is true. You do have a friend. So. <laughs> I do. Look, she just claimed me. Look at you showing off. She claimed that I was friends with her. Did you see that? Canadian girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, sir. You don't need to. Get out of here. I'm telling Melon that you're being mean to me. First of all, we don't have to call Tallahassee, Canada, because it's that far north. <laughs> It's ridiculous. I don't know. It, it went below freezing this year. It, that is wild. We are so loud. I'm going to put this over here. Is that all right? Phoenix, you cool with that? That's it's facing this way, though. Careful. All right. We have a lot of food. So we have, that we have Japan and America uh, reuniting, which is nice since, you know, the movie Oppenheimer did so well this year. It's time to bring us back together. How did you pull that? That, that was... <laughs> <laughs> You've never seen a movie. What should we do first? There's so many things. Do we have the utensils and forks? I have some. I brought the napkins. We have one fork and spoon. The gumbo does have a kick. Look at there. Look at this. The man I've been referencing all day. Stephen Noon, the MVP. The camera, we got to put the camera. Well, right now it's on me, but we're going to put it on you. Leave it to Stephen to show up at dinner. We slow down. You're on camera now. Welcome. Do you want to tell everyone your adventure? You're here for what, 36 hours? Yeah, we took a 5.45 a.m. flight this morning. Good morning. It was 73, little different. 73 yesterday afternoon. Snowing and in the teens when we left this morning. We wow. had a tornado watch and we hail stuff and things like that. So, so we made it out. I was going to say, then, you're wearing pants, which is crazy to me. Uh, Give me one of the tips. Nice. Love it. What do you do? Yeah, so what is the plan for tomorrow if you're here for that quick turnaround trip? Back here? I was going to say, just two days here? Yeah. Okay. yeah. They're, they're good, but like, they're not going to blow your mind, but they're good. They're not, you're not going to have one and throw them out. Very nice. Yeah. I do wish each booth would offer a non alcoholic There is one at everyone, I think. No, not at all. Oh. I, he I says he wishes every booth had a non-alcoholic option, but I thought there was at least one. I didn't. I haven't okay. seen a lot of them. Usually, you see us all the time at the cleanup. Yeah. yeah. I guess I could do that. That's what they offer. Yeah. yeah. By the way, can you please plug your Instagram and anything else you want to plug? Because we've been referencing you all day, saying that we are so happy you sent us a list of all the new items. I saw you were checking things off. We are checking things off. We have Marquita, Ryan, and Faris. I put in charge. And all of his clients. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to say anything, but we have we have two amazing travel agents here, Daniel yeah, and Stephen Noon. But Stephen Noon, I do it on the side. The man put MVP in his name for a reason. He is the uh, literally the best. He's so great, and you're awesome in our Discord. You answer everyone's questions, and a very selfless person. So please plug everything they can to to uh, just do your thing. That's what I left out. Yeah. So, and, uh, yeah, kind of, I found these silly little like, film of like puzzles that have kind of blown up. And I saw them. Yeah, they're, they're very fun. Some of them bother me because I can't get them, which is a little annoying. Oh, come but, yeah. on, really? There's been like one or two where I'm like, maybe it's because it's like two in the morning and I'm just trying to fall asleep. But I'm like, why can't I figure this out? And then when you do it, I'm just, I get so frustrated. But. Look at that. So pretty soon, uh, I'll just be working for Steven full time here at Disney. <laughs> well, I'm happy you're here. And then you want to try while you're here? 
this one, we're kind of trailing here. Okay. Kind of following your interest in going along. We know America doesn't have anything new, but we just liked the items, so we got them. Yeah. And then there's, this is the from Japan. From Japan. And then this is the bun from the Japan. Bun. Yes, with the, uh, but we don't, thing. yes, we don't have utensils, so I'm going to work on that. this at all, the fruit tart thing? Oh, yes. yes, Ryan had that. Okay. Where did Ryan go? I thought it was interesting. The tangerine one was, I thought, well, have really you ever good. eaten like tahini on fruits? Yes. Like they so it That's what it tastes like. To it yeah, yet. it's just I don't know. I feel like they kind of. So this is just me. Try this sake. Is like just wanted to do something like different and weird. I don't know if it works as seamlessly as the other one does because the tangerine mm -hmm. is so good. The one they got that I sampled. What was the other one? The, uh, oh, with the, the, the float. The float, the float the, was very good. Yeah, we were tossing around which yeah. one. Yeah, we kind of grabbed that quick. We kind of skipped a few countries so we could catch up. Why didn't we got the banana foster last year? Why didn't we get the sandwich? The muffaletta's great. These oh. were all great. These were all here last year, but yeah. we love them all, so we just went for it. No, it was a Friday, and it was Lent. Oh, that's <laughs> oh good news. That's right. It's yeah. Wednesday. There you go. Hop in there. Let me get some. All right, let's get some forks and knives going. Are you coming back tomorrow? By the way, you're still on camera, just so you know, like, you're oh, just, your face is the whole screen. We're really at the opera. So. And they actually know that we're supposed to sing or do something. No, no. Um, tomorrow, I don't know if you saw. There's a new margarita. Oh, are they doing a similar thing? Wait. At the booth? Where, what booth? Uh, oh, the one, the one, uh, oh, the Mexican one, right? My knee is done. Your knee is done. My knee is done for the day. Are it was, do it was done at 11 o'clock. Yeah, I'm getting all the topiaries. I'll make it shorter, too. But I'll come back. I'm staying in Orlando this weekend, so I'll be coming back to the parks tomorrow just to get content and stuff. So. How was the resort you stayed at last night? Oh, it was, it's in. it was the Arctic Wilderness. Oh, yeah, he learned that Lauren and I keep our apartment at 68 degrees at all times. Winter, we're at 63. <coughs> nice. That's probably warm, though. 62, yeah. 62, 62. Oh, probably yeah. warm, though. Yeah, probably warm, though. Yeah. We have high ceilings, so the heat just kind of goes up, and so it's still so I'm going to jump in and try some of the things that are brand new. If you feel free to please jump in and give you a review as well. This is coming. So all the stuff in America is the same as last year, except for the beers, which I'm going to do in a minute because I want to get the food while it's hot. We went over to Japan as well, and we tried some of the stuff from Japan. This is that soft steam bun, which sticks to the paper. That's really good. Mm. probably wouldn't have it if we didn't eat it all the time. That's <laughs> vegan, right? Is that plant based? Yeah, so, I mean, I don't know. Steven probably could describe it better than I can. What's up? Try it. What is it? Uh, strawberry watermelon lemonade. It's got no alcohol in it. That's the gumbo. It's actually good for no The gumbo is thin. very good. Is there rice it is under thin. there? I think yeah. it's supposed to be a, uh, it's, a it's very peppery. Not yours, yeah. but this. Yeah. Yeah. It's good though. I thought it was, I think it's supposed to be a slushy, but it melted. It's like, right? It's like, it's, it's, um, mm -hmm. you know how the slushy machine first yeah. starts mm -hmm. up? That's what it tastes like. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's supposed to be slushy. All right, we're going to move this back so you can see some of the food. No, I'm just going this way and we're going to aim this down instead of up so you can see the food. All right, here's everything we're working with. We got beers, we got cocktails, we got ramen, we got sushi, we got it all. Um, it's a steamed bun filled with vegetables and plant-based soybeans. Um, okay, here we go. I will tell you the impossible meatball oh, was pretty good. Steamed bun with the plant-based meat. Let's go for it. <laughs> Honestly, the plant-based meat is very nice. It needs, it's extra it because so of there's so much of that steamed bun, it could use a dipping sauce to absorb some more. It's just the, the, the meat. Did you have the Festival of the Arts bun that was similar, yeah. but actually, did you like that better? Or? I think the flavor of this is actually better. Okay. Uh, again, I just wish it had a dipping sauce because there's so much steamed bun and it's a little, you can see where it's sticking, it's, it dries out a little bit. It just fills up a lot of your mouth and takes a lot of the moisture out of your mouth. So if it had just a little bit of a soy sauce or a ponzu or something, you guys want to try it? Ponzu all day. Ponzu with Pete. Ponzu with Pete. Yes. Here, we'll just we'll get the, this is a big piece. That's way too spicy. The gumbo has it's a little bit much, of heat to too it. Too much pepper. Oh. Why can I not find Japan? I like the gumbo. Yeah, take it. All right, anyone who hasn't had some, please awesome. jump in. Next up, we're going to go with the ramen. 
Marquita, what's in the ramen? I thought it was a salad. Food, uh, ramen noodles. Thanks, so Marquita, nice. for that insightful. It's got a dashi bra. I'm looking for the. I'm looking for Japan on the checklist. I just asked Stephen where it was. Ramen cup, ramen salad. There you go. It does shaken look like a, a with, big. Yeah. Yeah, shaken in a cup with fresh vegetables, grilled chicken, and dashi broth with chili oil and yuzu. All right, so I like yuzu, I like chili oil, I like all these things, but it does look just like a big garden salad on top. It looks like something you would get out of a gas station okay. door. Yeah, yeah. It's I'm, I'm going to mix it up because yeah. I feel like you need... So Frucci was really good. I'm just putting it out. It, there. it is designed to be shaken. The better oh, ramen is salad is the H2O Glow Ramen Salad at Typhoon Lagoon. Ooh. That was very so good. Well. Are we going to do the after party for... Do you? Yes. Remember, if you want some of that, gold, try it because it's got some definitely ramen um, at the Villains Nights. Mm. We never did that. We've never, there's never been one when we've been out here. The, they won the first year that they had them. That is so They nice. had a corn right, Zerg's uh, ramen, mm. and it was one of the best ramen dishes that I've ever had in Disney. Oh, nice. All right. No, All right. The, the ramen, not, the ramen food. Sure. Not terrible. Yeah. You guys can have whatever. Yeah, guys. Also, we're not yeah. going to finish all this because we are doing trying to do all the new items. So, okay. if you want half of that and half of that, just go for it. Yeah. Try the pineapple sake. Huh? Try the pineapple sake. Oh. Is it tofu so or chicken? And you know I don't like sake. Yeah, I'm okay. It's straight up sake, no. I'll try. I haven't tried it yet either. I'm gonna get in there. Oh yeah, it's sake. It's good. I like the pineapple, but it's yeah, it's sake. It's sake. <laughs> so if you want to get one of those, this is my favorite of the cold ramen that I've had. Right, is it a cold ramen? Yeah, so it's a cold ramen. The cold ramen actually, once you mix it up, you need to shake it or mix it up. It's very good. Shake, shake, shake. But again, Ponzu makes everything delicious. That's yours. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna get two of those. <laughs> yeah, the, the the dashi broth is good. The dashi Ponzu broth is good, is good but it needs to be mixed. The chili oil is good. The chili, yeah, that, that uh, sweet chili oil. Is it sweet chili? It's just chili oil. Oh, okay. So yeah, I mean, again, but it needs to be mixed because the stuff up top was so dry and flavorless. But then once you get it all, it is fantastic. Oh yeah, if you if you coat that that salad with the dashi broth, it's so good. Do you want to try it? Sure. How are your How are your kids? Are I'm usually good? not a huge fan I'm of the cold well. ramens, well, especially. There. I'm not a huge fan of the cold ramens, especially in years past. I thought that they just that was they, a cool picture kind of your wife got about to take. That was noodles. super cool. This one is I was the like, best no of the cold way. ramen. The best of the cold ramen. Because and when that I was a kid, them. and um, um, I think it's super refreshing. But what was the price point? So now let's go back to price. I don't remember, but they came to our town and did their celebration. I think it's a little high for ramen. I would have said six bucks. It's always cool. Yeah. It's something that I'll probably order again just because it's super refreshing and it's going to be hot this festival. What was the steam bun? The same price. See, I think I feel fuller from the steam bun. Yeah, you but know, I, I don't want to be full. I want to be refreshed. Yeah. No, I, I don't want the fruity. I don't want fruit with my sushi. All right. Uh, you also, to this? it's just syrup. No. <laughs> you advertised that completely wrong. Uh, <laughs> Daniel, since you're sort of in camera. How, uh, I've never done that dessert because I'm not a big dessert guy. How is the Bananas Foster here in America? It's good. It's good. Presented a a man of a million dessert. words, that it's, Daniel. It's, it's very soft. Sorry. It's a very soft. Um, is it like super decadent, more sweet, more? Oh, it's definitely, um, it's not rich, but it's sweet. It's not cold. So it's me. <laughs> it's more me because it's my, my color. Out of the inside. It's good. I mean, it, it's it's definitely. It, I would buy it again. I'd buy that before I bought the gumbo. The gumbo is way. But too you were definitely bananas. So that makes sense. <laughs> uh, what else do we get? What what beer was this from Japan? Uh, the green tea coaster. I like it, and I am not the biggest Either green tea guy or even a pilsner person, green. but. It's a cherry blossom green tea. It's Orange Blossom Brewing Company. Cherry blossom. So good. I will say, we were lucky enough to meet um, the beverage director over in Mexico earlier. I know the guy over in Japan, and he picks, he only gets one beer per festival, and he picks, like, some of the best beers. That's actually good. It's very good. I'm going to sit. And that came from me, and it was a beer. Uh, okay. I can sit now, and now. 
That's the Bayou cocktail. That is Bayou cocktail. You want to try it? It's I haven't tried it yet. Made. I've had it before. It's, it's pretty good. I just want those like strawberry cherries. Is it? I thought it was new. No, it's not. No. Oh, I thought they changed an ingredient. All right. Well, then we ordered it for no reason. Did not change anything. I thought there was a new ingredient. That's that could be my bad. But it's, it's a new garden. We're not gonna. That was it last year. Oh, it looks completely different. Hold on, let's just hold on. Let me just look at it. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> well, there goes that Guys, theory. clearly different cocktails. I just said they put a different garden. There's nothing different. They look exactly <laughs> the same. It is like looking in a mirror. But can we talk about Disney consistency? Hey, here's to the Disney culinary team for consistency. Two, two years in a row. Not even two days. Two Nailed years. it. Also, love that you had that ready to go. Like, well, this was last year's. Well, I was looking at the Banana Foss one. That's pretty much exactly the same too. What do you think of the Mufaletta? It's good, right? Well, that's fine. It's very dense, but it is good. I love a good big sandwich. I, this, I have this argument with Lauren where I think there should be equal parts of meat to bread, where she does, like, two slices of, of meat, and then it's all bread. And I'm like, well, you're just having bread with, like, need I need a carrier. Stock. Yeah, need, equal parts meat to bread. And also, I don't care what anyone says, every sandwich tastes better. I can't eat all of I love a press sandwich. While we're talking bready foods, we need to take a trip to Boca Raton. Yes. Okay, I don't know what one has to do with the other, but tell me more. Dave Bortnoy rated a pizza in Boca Raton like a 7 8. All right, well, which is you, the highest rating in Florida. Do you know that Dave Portnoy's mother lives in the same building as my cousins in Lantana? That's very funny. Do you know? They're like, Dave was just down at the pool crops. area, and then we found out that his crops. mom lives a few doors down oh, in the same those. exact oh, complex. That's crazy. It was like Spaceship Earth. Mm -hmm. It was, no, sadly, there was no song or band about the moment. <laughs> but it, well, it, it has been one week since I texted them. Um, by the way, Bare Naked Ladies, great show this past Saturday over at uh, Universal. The Canadian band making their way down. Yeah. I dropped my beignet knowledge because uh, they started talking about how uh, Canada invented Mardi Gras because it's a French thing. And then I said, technically, they're, they're not wrong, but they're not right. You can take beignets and French things way back further. Actually, bean, B-I-G-N-E, goes back to the Irish, the old Gaelic, uh, to rise. But really, beignets can go all the way back to the Romans because they used to put... Uh, a very uh, moist dough in animal fat and let it boil and it would be basically like a beignet. Similar to a modern day zeppelin? A modern day zeppelin or How come we don't similar get a to a beignet. with boiled animals fat and whatever dough you just Yeah, well, can we have more food effort. in boiled animal fat? Yeah. The thing is, uh, you remember when we talked about veal earlier and half the stream just tuned out and they were really upset? Yeah. We don't want to talk about it. Uh, but no one wants to know how the sausage fries made. were. What? That was the veal. Was what's veal? <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna do the beer the flight. Was really good, though, the risotto was really good. The risotto was. Did you try it, right? Yeah. I thought actually the veal was cooked well too. It was good. Yeah. I feel like the bison from last year was slightly better, but I'm very excited for the next risotto dish. The the, um, the, the scallops. The mushroom. Mm. For those who don't know, what we're talking about we're talking about. I believe it's Farmer's Feast. The name yes. of the booth. Yeah. Early. Farmer's Feast, which is uh, right early. by Test Track. What? It's the early one. Yeah, and there's three menus. Right now we're in early bloom, and I do think consistently during this festival, their food they put out, there's always one dish that's like a big wow dish. And they do it really well. I mean, they're dishes that could go really wrong. Huh? What did Portis make in here? Steven Noon. That's at Steven underscore Noon. By the way, another fun fact. You know, if, uh, you can't get into Epcot, but you really are craving an avocado margarita. You can get one over at Frontera at Disney Springs. Frontera. I had brunch here the other day. I love Frontera. Uh, big fan. We have one in Chicago. Yeah. Rick Bayless hooking it up. Yeah. Have you ever eaten at RPM in Chicago? Mm -hmm. Man, that's probably some of the best steak I've ever had. Yeah. My sister got engaged. Outside. Wow. We were in there, and the room next door to us was the Chicago Blackhawks, <laughs> and they were loud. Yes. I've never eaten anywhere that had you have your own wait staff dedicated to you. It was crazy. Ace. You've been with me all day, and I've done everything you've asked. <laughs> yeah, but we've been eating off plastic and cardboard. They didn't have that at the RPM. Well, I thought. I didn't know you wanted to step it up. I will do that in the future. Yeah, Pete would have bought, brought out the fine china if you needed the fine china. Why do you think I'm carrying a backpack full of fine china? I still think we need a, a plastic cutlery sponsor. No, it's got to be like bamboo or something. 
Okay. Fun. There's already plastic cutlery everywhere. No, you can't add more plastic fun. to the ocean. We need an ABC sport. I told you we should be the. What is the number like for pieces of silver? Oh, that it's is used here. every day. Yeah, that's yeah. such a great trivia question. Is how much silver do you think they use every day during this festival? Does your shirt have Vinny all over it? It's yes, trash. It's, trash it's, trash it's, trash it's push. Yeah, but uh, we have to show his shirt. Hold push on. the just, talking trash can. It is it's an amazing Vinny. shirt. No, it's push. It's push the talking trash can, not Vinny, it's which Vinny. is from D three. If you're a D three, or it's Vinny. All right, let's try this beer flight. Uh, this is coming out of uh, Magnolia Terrace, which is the name of the booth here in America for the Flower and Garden Festival. The first one is Urban Artifacts Cappy Snacks Fruit Punch Fruit Ale out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Does anyone else want to try it? Nope. I always like to ask that before I drink yeah. the whole thing. Wait, which one is it? It is a Fruit Punch Fruit Ale. Okay. That, that literally so tastes like, uh, no, you wait to try it. It literally just tastes like fruit punch. That's not Urban fun. Artifact doesn't Okay, I would actually drink this. That just tastes legitimately like fruit punch. I don't taste any beer. I'm convinced that that is a fruit Our punch. Fruit punch. That's, that's like, like too good. It's sweet, but not too. like it's the perfect amount of sweet. It's good enough for me. Next up, we have the Schneider Weiss uh, Love Beer, Weiss Beer, out of Kelheim, Germany. Love, love a good Weiss Beer, and it's from Germany. Uh, this Interesting is that they brought a German beer. Have you American ever drank any of that American Miami Weiss? We're a global society. Did you say Miami Weiss? Uh -huh. The show or the cocktail? The beer. <laughs> I haven't had that. But yes, it is a good point that we're, uh, we are having a German beer in America, but you know, everyone's welcome in America. Schneider Weiss, love beer, Weiss beer. Here we go. Anyone else want to try this? Nope. Okay. I'm it's all you, boy. That's a delicious Weiss beer. Man, there's just something different about the Weiss beers out of Germany compared to when we try and do them here in America. I don't know if it's the process or the malt or... These are the most uncomfortable picnic Water. tables I've ever sat at. You're not a big fan of this picnic table? No. no. Do you want to lean on me? You can lean back on me. As long as you'll sing the song. Lean on me. <laughs> when you hate no, this picnic just, table. No, it's just like you can't get we'll under enough table. and it's... Who was on picnic table, you? Thank God we have one. I'd rather, what yes, I'd rather be uncomfortable Shopping. than standing up. Oh. So I'm not complaining. I appreciate you. Last up, this is a repeat from green, last year. I want to holler at the Green Shirt Club. Like, is it the what? coffee one? Green shirts. No, it's not. They didn't bring that one back. This is the Parish Brewing Company Ghost in the Machine Double IPA at a Louisiana. That is the lightest, like, colored double IPA I've ever it's, seen. And it tastes like a double IPA. It's delicious. That's very bitter. When though, I right? go to see concerts at Garden Rocks, I just come back for a pint of beer. Okay, you see that. Oh my gosh. Can yeah, I have this it is so good. I haven't tried this yet. Let me try it. What is this? Pineapple sake. Pineapple sake. Yeah. It just tastes like straight pineapple juice. I don't taste any sake. Does anybody want it any of this like before I trash it? It's delicious. What? You want it? Any Anyone before? else want bananas foster or muffaletta? No. Or that's empty? That's gone. I eat nice all of it. Can I have the, the ramen? How? The what, what, what? Can I please have the ramen? The ramen, yes. Ramen was very good out of Japan. You want to try that? Brookie, would you like to try some muffaletta or a banana foster? Or beer? Or a cocktail with a lot of fruit juice? It's that not sounds very real appetizing the way he just said it. That's what a about cat a beer? Or another beer? I know you don't drink beer, so I'll just keep offering. Or, or some pineapple, pineapple sake. sake. It's pineapple juice. That's how you know we're French. Can't wait for the ghost in the machine, double IPA. Like, you, th you think of double IPAs as being, like, darker beers. What's dark? No, oh, it's delicious. That is so good. Well, like, Cause this that's, is, like, a very so tan beer. Yeah, it's almost, it, it actually has more of a color of a hazy IPA. Yeah. yeah. Or a New England. Yeah. yeah. But it is fantastic out of Louisiana. And that's the thing. It's delicate. Oh, no, Come on, don't waste that. I'll eat a little bit. Yeah, take it, because I'm, I'm, if it sits in front of me, I'll snack on it. All right, you, you can... Oh, wait, there. 
You guys want to sit with us? They're taking pictures first. Oh, I forgot. Steven Newman, MVP. Gotta take those pics. Yes. Camera eats first. How do you, how do, you do like this? Yeah, that's why I have cold lobster. Well, that one got relayed by the Diz. The Diz was there? Yes. Who did you say hi to? Rhino? Rhino, Craig, and oh my gosh. And oh my gosh, I don't even know that cast member. Who replaced um, Pete Warner? No, I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's rough. Come on, we're all making jokes. Come on. Come on. I wonder how he's doing. I hope he's doing well. Stephen Noon is like the Olin Mills of Disney food photography. No. Yes, he, you know what he reminds me of? And this is a sad thing. So I don't want to talk about it for too long. But do you remember, uh, I don't remember Josh? Tomorrow? Easy WW. Um, he passed away a few yeah. years ago. Big yes. That was a big, uh, he was a friend of WNT. He was a great photographer. Amazing oh, photographer, yeah. yeah. Um, and we uh, we used to do these together all the time. And he was the same way. And we have so many hilarious memories because he would take food and drink at the most obscure places of Epcot. Yes. But he would, his pictures and his photography would be so he beautiful. And he would really dedicate. So like, I remember once we, we had to buy these shrimp in Italy because they were new, kind of like today, which thank God you guys skipped. Um, what a debacle <laughs> that one was. It was the worst. But anyway. The shrimp right dish was way. fine. So I we, wanted the Italian margarita, but. No, you don't. Yeah, you, get, totally you get skip I, anyway. I, I, you can actually get a better one. So Josh, the guy I'm talking about, put summer. the shrimp on a railing because there was a beautiful flower behind it and he could get most of the Epcot space birth. And he got a great photo, but just as he was done and went to go pick it up, the wind picked up and yep. just blew the entire plate oh. into the lagoon. And it was made for a lot of lives. Anyway, rest in power, Josh. Uh, never forget. Uh, yeah, you eat the sausage. Yeah. Thank you for your service, sir. Sorry, I just looked over. We wouldn't be able to enjoy all this amazing food and beverage if it wasn't for our armed service family. So make sure you thank a veteran out there. Yeah. I don't know. We'd be we'd be screwed nowadays. Oh man, this. Oh boy, we'd all be like, all right. But if we go serve in the war, do we get iPods, oh or is that a thing, or do we get PS fives? How much? How much iPad time do I get? Anyone watching? If anyone wants a new great series on Apple TV, I mean, if you haven't, go watch Band of Brothers in the Pacific, which is already out. But Masters of the Sky is out right now, and it's so good. The gumbo is good, right? Yeah, that's it way, spicy, to me, it's, it's way too hot. I'm going to put you guys on camera if that's no. okay. It's a good, no. oh, dear Lord. No, it's good. It's, it's really just the back of your head right still, now. Okay. Yeah. Still, I think the hottest thing we've had at a festival. Yeah, it's, got, it's got a little undertones of heat, but as someone who's sensitive to heat, I don't think it's that crazy. No, no, it's not. The hottest thing that we've ever really had that was legit were the wings at the Muppet. Uh, the Muppet wings. The, oh, they call the, it. Unnecessarily. Unnecessarily oh, spicy. yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got... Yeah, that. I was literally, it was the literally orange. Crying. What was it? it was well, the, the orange ones. No, the orange weren't the hot ones, though. Yeah. Oh, wasn't it? The hot ones were kind of curry. It was some peanut butter and jelly yeah. ones. I thought. No, it wasn't. No, 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 it was. No, no, no. It was. I'm telling you, it was the orange with a something blossom pepper. You. Car the cardamom orange ones were just. That's what the oh, maybe the orange cardamom paired well with the beer, but there was yeah. another one that had some kind of. Uh, we're talking uh, a wing from another festival that is served over at the Odyssey. Oh. Well, the ones at the ones at Food and Wine, and they kind of had a little bit of curry. It was a really nice flavor, but it was way too hot. Yeah, I couldn't. Mm. Well, I can do heat, but something yeah, bonnet. It was, it was, uh, the, the scotch bonnet. bonnet. Scotch pepper. bonnet. Ooh, the scotch bonnet. Pepper, yeah. But it was labeled as the unnecessarily I mean, uh, spicy. Yes, the scorching scotch bonnet pepper. I'm just not. It's. I don't know. Um, where's it's Phoenix? Like, there's a lot of Italian meats, and I just don't know a lot of Italian meats. I love Italian meats. Like, I could do that all day. Uh, they're sitting out here. Yeah, I'm not, not going to do it. It's just not my deal. Oh. Uh, all right. But to me, this is like New York deli. Like, did you guys get Mexico dishes? Yeah. We did. We did a lot of Mexico. Uh, everything in Mexico. Actually, everything in Mexico. Everything except for the flan. Like, they looked at me, the guy's like, how can I help you? I'm like, I need everything except for the flan. Yeah. The one thing I was craving. Was the mezcal margarita really, really smoky? No. Neither oh, one was. Neither of them are like okay. super, super smoky. I'm not a, I'm not yeah. a smoke um, To be honest, it was the was, restraint was in the mezcal drink was really good. And in the other one, the lychee, which I didn't think I was going to like, 
is really good. That's good. It, it's yeah. very well yeah. done, and I picked up a little bit of a smoke, so we found out the guy who made the drink was standing across from the table, so we ran over and talked to him. Oh, nice. And then he introduced me to the beverage director who yeah, oversees, all, and tomorrow apparently there's a secret margarita at Mexico I'm so excited tomorrow. because I know what it is. So if you want, mm. then... But he was impressed oh that we picked up a little bit of smoke. He goes, yeah, we used E-part tequila, but only one part mezcal. So we didn't even list it as one of the ingredients. Because there's not enough to, like, even, like, it doesn't even matter. And he's like, so the fact that you got smoke. And I was like, come on. We're talking about mezcals and tequilas. It's my wheelhouse. Is there a secret word for tomorrow? No, they'll have a little bit of a small sign. Okay. I said, I made, I asked him that too. I go, do I have to walk up and say, like, hey, I know Don Julio? Like, you know. <laughs> Funny which which of the two savory list. dishes did you guys like better? I, like I didn't the eat any of them. Who's busy drinking? So, <laughs> the tamale, texture-wise, was the worst, but the best flavor. Mm. I like the texture too. I li I'm like a soft the sauce? food person. It was a soft food, but the flavors were that. amazing. It did have a lot of. The flavor. other dish the flavor was good, but it had I'm more like texture. Looking at my nails, I'm like, I need a new. They just always seem like, you know, it's always like cotija cheese, some kind of crema. I said the same thing, so that's something. that's the first one. That's the, whatever oh, the... I definitely uh, missed the pickled carrots. No, the, whatever the, not the tamale, the first one was. Taste, and I, 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 I said so this. Thing. Yeah. And said so it tastes like every Mexican dish at every, Mex at every festival, but they, like, just find a new way to arrange it. Like, it's in a new it's vessel, a or they they sub out a crema for a fresca. Like, pulled it's... Pork, pulled pork, you know... Pulled chicken, pulled Pull pork. Beef. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, it's it's good. There was no tostada this time, which is kind of good. Oh, yeah. The tostada, I think, is a waste, too, because that just. I feel like it's going to come in the middle of the festival. I feel like it'll be more of a summer. I think the yeah. tostada is food and wine. Yeah. Sorry, I meant to date. Did you guys get a lobster tail? We did. How was your lobster tail? Okay, it was good, and I'm not the lobster eater, so the fact that I said it was good. <laughs> I thought they could have used a little more restraint on the butter, but everyone liked it. But there was a lot of butter, so a oh, little no. more restraint. Oh, I thought it needed more. But no, ours was more. covered. Ours oh. was covered. Um, and, it, and again, that comes down to the cast member pouring it, so like that's that's going to be inconsistent. But I thought it was good, but I just think it's just too much for the price point. I mean, you're paying almost twelve dollars for that tiny little lobster tail, where I thought. The Cuban for only six bucks was a great value because that little that's a decent sized sandwich for six bucks, like half the lobster tail. Yeah. That we didn't get, but that's my fault. I'm not a pork belly fan. So. <laughs> That's the thing. That's when we try it everything. It's not. It's not. But yeah. Dizzy's got a pork belly guy. Yes. Just the fatty meats. I'm just surprised they're doing lobster. There was a there was a whole time where we were talking to one of the chefs at California Grill that said they were like he's going away from lobster because Disney it. didn't like how they were being farmed. Yeah. And so that's why you see more clam, crab, things like yeah. that in like the fine dining yeah. the signature yeah. stuff. Uh, I mean, we were saying, Glenn said in the chat that he likes Caribbean lobster better, but. Ryan and I disagreed as New Englanders that mm -hmm. Maine lobster mm -hmm. and cold water lobster is like where it's at. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to get it down here because obviously they got to get them out ASAP, freeze them, or keep them ice cold. I and was then, in Arizona, had this really nice place in Scottsdale. I initially posted a picture of it. They find the Maine lobsters and the um, lime. Yeah. And Definitely doing Vegas them, too, yeah. yeah and you just pick them. That was really cool. Idaho has, Idaho has great Because he and I are going to go to France. No, they don't. <laughs> Daniel, always with the ridiculous facts. They have a great potato <laughs> selection. That's what I got with oh, me that and then have the meat grow up. You want to leave? I remember my dad no. teach me how to pick a lobster. He's like, you want to look for a lobster one. Like, they got to be alive. You don't want a dead one. You want, you want one that'll take your finger off, dude. It was. I remember he would be like, who wants to try to take the rubber bands off? I don't know if it was a wild guy. I can just go to Seinfeld and just cram it with the lobster. Uh, <laughs> See, Lauren knows all the Seinfeld references. Oh, I've only seen select. Yeah. She knows all of it. And you're a New Yorker. Oh, I know. I, I like Seinfeld. Oh. I just I just yeah. didn't watch TV or movies for that generation, so I came in late. Like, I started watching TV and movies in the 2000s on. We were, like, like, we were like middle school, high school. Last Seinfeld, week. So. I just always either, like, I worked all throughout high school and college. And then when I got out of college, I was working 80-hour weeks. I'm actually excited for this. 
There's a hair honeysuckle hard cider at Monaco. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Any, any new foods? Where's the nitro mango thing? I like, that's what I'm, I'm here for the food. Showcase. All right, oh, what else in Morocco? Anything else new? You're crazy. See the banana foster, the banana, the banana foster looks good. Yeah. Like yeah. That's East La Fresca. Morocco, it's the... Uh, oh, just get the cider flight. We should try all of them. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Morocco, it's the cake, the we tan, one, so. the orange. I said, oh, and there's another new one. Oh, I'm Morocco. I'm thinking the next one. Oh, I stopped listening. It is the first one. Yes. <laughs> Um, it's in between. All right. Let me guess. Uh, bread with dip and a kebab. You're watching along. Hi. Thanks for being here. Hope you're having a great day. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> We're at Epcot's Flower and Garden Festival. Right now, we are in America. We've made our way all the way through Japan. We actually went to Japan and brought them back. No, ma'am. If you want reviews on all the new items, we've hit almost every no, single new thing no, so far. Next up, we have Morocco and France as our next combined spot. So, Morocco, France. What is going on in there? And are there any booths in between there as well? Yes. Oh, La Isla Fresca is between Morocco and yes. France. Yeah. They have some new stuff. And then what's... Morocco's the flatbread. That's been there. That's been there, though. That's been a, or a different festival. They've kind of rotated the tangerine. I can say Morocco and come back. And then the orange blossom saffron cake, that was the, that was new last year. That's like that orange bun yeah, cake that thing. Looks good. Then they have new ciders. They have a pear honeysuckle hard cider, a woodchuck. Citrus hard cider. So really what you're saying is we just need a cider flight out of Morocco and we've covered everything. Mm -hmm. Morocco Pretty is much. our favorite stuff. And then La Isla Fresca, anything new there? They have the impossible Jamaican beef pack with spicy papaya syrup. Ooh. That's new. Okay. The trash that has been there for a while. Uh, a new Wicked Weed Brewing Mango Wowie Hazy IPA with mango. Wicked Weed? Oh, that's a double dip for you. I love, uh, they're out of Asheville, North Carolina. They're a fantastic company distributed by one of my buddies, and they make great beer, so I'm very excited. Are we gonna ride? And then anything else in proms as well. So I think if we bring those three together, that's like the middle. Can we like go the, the sing-along and get some AC? No, I hate doing the sing-along. Uh, we can go, after 7.30, we can go to Impressions Day Friends, mm. but I will not support that sing-along. American <laughs> Adventure. If you want to sing along, I'll start now. one right here. Mm. I'll bring out Sweet Caroline. We'll have the whole pavilion. Oh, no this is America. This is America. Good old work. France has Sweet Canada. <laughs> France has Parmentier de Canard à l'orange, old duck sorry, coffee what? with orange sauce and garlic rosemary mashed potatoes, and a gâteau au crémeux citron. I don't understand anything you just said, but there's so there's new food and drink, or just drink, or just food. So, so the English version is a pulled duck confit with orange sauce and garlic rosemary mashed potato. That's and then you've got Toko Fremont Citron is a uh, warm cake filled with lemon, lavender, and thyme infused cream served with berry compote. And then there's a new Sauvignon Blanc. That's it. Ooh, is it dry? Probably. I love a good dry Sabi B. All right, so uh, what I'm hearing is a cider flight in Morocco, a Jamaican beef patty at La Fresca, and some awesome French food. And a beef patty. It is And also, where I grew up, I love Jamaican beef patties. Did you guys cover the funnel cake, the new funnel cake? We skipped it. We skipped yeah. it. Yeah, it's what is it? too heavy. It's uh, powder sugar, vanilla ice cream, strawberries, whipped cream, strawberry glaze, and strawberry crunch. Some it, it, it just, it just, yeah, it just seems like someone emptied all the ingredients in there, like that was left over. Yeah. And just, no, they have it every year. And aren't you going to the strawberry festival tomorrow? No. I'm going to the Central Florida Fair tomorrow. And we'll be live. You should subscribe and come. You'll make it. I think we should go to. Are we ready? Oh, I have no We're heading to. We we said it was the best cold noodles they've done so far, but it wasn't like blow your mind. It was it was the what's best the, cold what's noodles. The sauce? It's a chili oil. It's a chili oil. But I mean like, but it's not spicy. It's just I don't know. If, if I had wanna, a very bad chili oil experience. You want to try that? Tony's. I just want to point out that looks really appetizing right now. No. I'll steal it. I'll, I'll, I'll steal it. 80% back. Let's see. Hold on. I just want to point out. It's totally not terrible. What do you want to point out? I'm taking the whole line. Oh, you, you want it? Yeah. You want it? Was Japan a long line? If you like it all that much, it's yours. I can go grab it. I can. I can. 
catch you guys over in after that? We're going to be between Morocco and France. Yeah. Morocco is just a slider flight, so that could be a quick stop. And then I love Fresca and, and France, and we should get a big table there and wee wee. And wee wee. No, it's the flatbread and it's the saffron cake. Yeah, that, that was new last year. All right. Friends, everyone hear the game plan? Mm -hmm. What? What are you doing? Let's here. I'll just I'll narrow it down. What are you doing? Table duty. And table duty. Table duty. I like the sushi, but can you? In that case, since you're the first stop, can you do your cider flight? I'll jump over to you, and then one of us can do Isla Fresco or Friends. Can you get into the line of the ice cream line in France? Okay. okay. You want to, I mean, we'll stay together as three, we'll, we'll, we'll break apart like a beautiful tripod of love. Um, if you do the cider bite, you're going to be the first one done by far. There's going to be very little wine there. But can you not take all of it? I want to try it. And then in France, do you want me to just get everything? Like, what do you want me to get? I'm going to get more than enough French food in three weeks. Okay. In that case, I have to clean the table. Oh, oh across, yes, the water cups. Yes, I need to go fill my water in Morocco. That's a good water spot, spice bro. It's actually good water that doesn't taste as good. We don't. How much more fun is it? The water is good. I don't know what it is. Like, it's so like, come on, guys. That's why I'm out of here. The expo when they pork sickle was like, try this bag. Look at this photograph. Who's excited for vibes tonight? Every single person on YouTube is here today. It's everyone. If not, you lose your YouTube card. You gotta show up today or they kick you off of YouTube. The Disney community will never respect you again. All right, team, everyone has their assignments. Ciders in Morocco, Jamaican beef patties in Isla Fresca, French food for Frenchies. Jamaican beef patties are good. I don't know if that's true. I'm 64. I'll, listen, I'll take people calling me young all day. It looks like you know a guy who knows a guy. Yeah, I know a guy. Yeah. He's, he's always <laughs> I watch Tracker, I watch Ron. Oh, Tracker is awesome. Tracker's been around a long time. Long time. Uh, Here, I'll make it easy for you. That's also, uh, that's us. There's some stickers. Good, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I can look for you now. There's so many. I, you, know, yeah, you gotta I, jump I, in. I, what's I what's your name? Up. Willie. Willie Pete. Nice to meet you. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay. Where are you from? Long Island, New York. I was gonna say that's where I'm from. I know this guy's from New York. Yeah, what part of Long Island? I get around Islip. Get the heck out of here. I grew up on Connecticut Avenue. Okay. Yeah, I lived in East Islip. I was on Carlton Avenue my whole life. Uh, I lived. I grew up on Connecticut. I went to St. Mary's. I went to St. Peter right over there. Wow. You're smart. You get the hell out of there and you're here. It's you know the the weather and the taxes. Tell me about it. Do you live here now or are you still in no, New York? No, 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 no. I got to go back. I, I, I climbed here. I come down for the weekend. Oh, okay. I'm back every, uh, yeah, my nephew turns one uh, Easter week. So I'm going back for Easter week and we'll be there for a week. I'm trying to find a cheap flight next weekend. I, I'm a groomsman in a, in a party. The wedding's still in a year, but the, the engagement party, too many parties for weddings. But the engagement party's next weekend. So I'm trying to fly back for the party, but we'll see. But I knew you were a Long Island guy the minute we started yeah. talking. That's so funny. I used to live right around the corner. Oh, it's been rainy. It's been cold. Yeah. Yeah. We said that we moved down. It'll be five years in July. And we said, this is the first January. We're like, it kind of feels like we're not in Florida. It just.
Kirk and my father was at the uh, uh, U.S. Veterans Home in Stony Brook. That's why I say so much thank you for your service. He passed last March, but uh, but he also served in Vietnam, so I love seeing the hat. Yeah. So I know it ain't it ain't no picnic, but it's a bit of a picnic. Carol, appreciate that. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy uh, the, some of this nice weather before you go back. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs> the minute we start talking, I'm like, this guy's from New York. He's got to be like Long Island or where I grew up. I'm like, he's like talking to every uncle I have. It's unbelievable. I hope everyone's having fun. We're kind of just having a good time. We have a, a group coming in and out. Lots of great people. We're trying to catch up with the chat when we can. Uh, we were caught up about a half hour ago. We'll catch up again in the next stop. I'm also enjoying our style. I hope you are too, where we kind of grab a few country and a few different food booths and bring them all together and try a little bit of everything. And we get a few different perspectives and different palettes. If you're enjoying the stream, please hit that like button. If you're brand new, consider subscribing. And check out our Discord, Stephen News. Ryan. So is Daniel. There's Ryan. There's Daniel. Yeah. We're inside your phone right now. Living in the phone. The files are in the computer. Oh, look. Yeah, it is that time of year. We saw them the other day. Look at mama and the babies. We have a new set by us, too, and they're the cutest. I'll carry them around. It's fine. You think they're like us. They don't realize how lucky they have it growing up here at Disney. Like, we grew up here. We're very fortunate. Holy cow. What She, she has an army. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? At least. I feel like... I think she has ten. Dragon. Ten. Holy moly. All right. Well, anyway, let's head to France and try that duck cone fee with that orange glaze. Is yeah. <laughs> that a bad transition? <laughs> Speaking of ducks, <laughs> bon I do love the bonsai here as well. Bonsai! They reoriented. And the dragon is facing more towards us than normally crooked. The face is right at us, which would look weird in pictures, I feel like. Yeah. Normally, the dragon's angled where you get a profile of the head, like this. But we love the topes. We already did Hanami. This is the Japan booth. We did into the Frushi because I have it every year, but we tried everything else and everything was good. Marquita had the Frushi. She said it was good. It's good every year. I also, they brought back the musical garden. There's more bonsai in this garden here, but uh, straight ahead, you can see some of the instruments on those bamboo sticks where the water as it fills cups will make different instruments ring or gong or jingle. It's very neat. And now it is time to enter Morocco. That guy we just passed was a serious real deal runner. He had one of those overnight, like, elimination ultra marathon race shirts on and was wearing the toe shoes. Wow. You know, Mandy, a uh, friend of the channel, she's, I, I don't know if she's here right now, but she does those 24-hour runs. Like, it's crazy. Like, just it's, how many miles can you run in 24 hours? Like, it's, it's just world. nuts. Yeah, I have one, it's crazy. one friend who I uh, met through Disney that I, uh, I track her races all the time. She's a post about them. She'll post the website, and I'll be like, wow, my friend just ran 114 miles today. That's I nuts. didn't leave my apartment. Yeah. <laughs> and I made homemade nachos. Yeah. I marathoned a TV show. Yeah. I finally finished The Wire. Yeah. <laughs> 
By the way, we love Spice Road Table and the staff here in Morocco. They're always awesome and fun. How's the calamari? It's really, honestly, I liked everything out of Spice Road Table. There was nothing I did not like. I judge a restaurant heavily on how their calamari is. That's if interesting. They have, if they have good calamari, they're going to have other good dishes. I guess you're right. I never thought about it that way, but I'm, I like that perspective. Want to go see Miss Piggy and Kermit? Of course I want to see Miss Piggy and Kermit. Well, then let's go do it. This is MK's favorite topiary. It's got to be. And today's her birthday. Happy birthday, MK. See? Look at that. Celebrated her birthday this weekend. What a day that oh, was. Wow. Somebody tried to climb the fence. I'm going to say it was uh, an ECV that went out of control is my guess. One of those uh, where's the brake pedal on the ECV. Yeah. The, uh, the scooters where they just forgot where the brake pedal was. They just oh, yeah. went right into the bamboo Holy. fence. Yeah. I've had a few run into crowds yeah. where we've had to jump in front of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, they are. I mean, they take out ankles, families. I've seen it all. There's no, there's you no spend place. enough time here, you see it all. Uh, hey, oh, by the way, I love your sweatshirt. Thank Can you. I put you on camera? Is that okay? Oh, yeah, absolutely. One, I can't believe you're wearing long sleeves today, but that is such a cool sweatshirt. Thank you so much. You, know, you have a great look. Uh, I tried to pack for every day I was here. The flowering garden. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, but what a great look. Hopefully, yeah. I was. That's a good idea. You see, I think you feel you dress a little more comfortable. Look at that. I love it. Anyway, this is your fashion fifteen minutes uh, here at Adventures by Carney. Uh, brought to you by. Are you guys local? No, I live in L.A. L.A. No, of course it's why I dress so appropriate. Virginia, right? Alexandria. Oh, very nice. Yeah. So love it. Kind of yeah, we love it. We got a lot of people watching from there right now. Awesome. Are you live? We're live on YouTube right now. That's oh, why I asked yeah. first before I put it on you. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, anyway, you both look great, and please enjoy that tank top because you deserve it. It's so hot. I know. I it know. is so hot. <laughs> and we have this cider flight to taste. Yum! Happy birthday. Great jersey, power line. Look at that. So La Isla Fresca. I gotta stop here, right? This is where I have to stop? I don't know. I'm gonna need hands. Here, I'll I'll do this one. Anyone else wanna do France? Uh Ryan, do you wanna do camera, backpack, this booth or France? All right, cool. Well, then you're also on find a place to settle down so I can go buy this and meet up with you guys. I need to go get ice cream. All right. If you do this, I will get the food and drinks from here. Cool. I'm going to try and find a somewhere tablet. to settle. And then eventually we just need the French food and we can all try everything. Yeah. Marquita, can you save some of those for me? She's trying not to spill them. She's doing her best. I think that there might be some tables over this way. There is a top lane. found a table very fast and it has at least two chairs. And Pete is right over there. You found a table already? Yeah, look at it, and it's got chairs. I love it. I thought you were gonna be a friend. No, I found chairs. It is very warm today. 
You know, I don't, I don't want to complain because I know I would much rather be hot than cold, but it is 84 degrees, feels like 85. With a UV index of six. Hello, Peaches P. You on opera duty? I am on uh, camera duty. I don't know what it's, what exactly is going on. Oh, Does okay. Martina know we're back here? I have no idea where anybody knows where we are. So the one piece of advice that we do have for this dish is mix it up thoroughly. Yes. I get my pictures of it in Japan with like the gardens in the background. So yeah. Kind of dress up the plastic cup. Um, Yes. But once it's mixed up, it's very good. Yeah. It doesn't take the best picture. Oh, what? sorry. Not that, the Miss Piggy, because the sun yeah. is like directly behind her. Did you see that somebody had a uh, bit of an accident on that fence? No, what fence? Where? The, the fence in front of Miss Piggy that's been run over? Oh, oh. ew. They did? No, they, they ran it over. They didn't, like... Oh. Did, like, did I step in something? <laughs> we got this, this, and this. Isn't that from America still? Well, that's, yeah, we're not going to let it go to waste. <laughs> America to go. The American way. All right, I'm shaking Who's this all thing. here? I'm just looking here in the chat and seeing where we're at. Peaches said hi to you. Peaches said, hello, Peaches. David Long said, Siva Co. We have a impossible Jamaican beef patty, I believe. I don't know how to feel about it. It looks a little... Interesting. We got the mango wowie, and we got the Jamaican beef patty that's with the impossible beef. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. New for this year, oh. according to my man, Stephen yeah. Noon. Mm -hmm. Take a picture. Are you getting that? Yeah, I'll get a picture of that. Just take a photo. You I'm can move photo. whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, take, take it and walk away. Yeah, See you later. Later. it's later. Hey, Pete, try this beer and review it for me. Okay. Hold on, let me just put these down. I'll give you a flattering angle. I appreciate that. There. I don't know if that exists. So, if you found a new filter, let me know. Uh, I mean, it's it's more flattering than uh, looking up at your chin. That is wow. definitely true. Nope, that's Ouch. there's that yeah. is true. I mean, it's the worst angle for everyone. It is. No one looks good that way. Every um, selfie up here. Yeah, that's why selfies are above. So that's why I don't get Ferris. Like, I got a great shot of you, and he's always facing up. And I'm like, Ferris, stop the man. All right, so I'm gonna give you, uh, you guys can sit where I like to stand, but I'm gonna give you a quick review of this beautiful beverage and food item. We are here at La Isla Fresca, where we have the impossible Jamaican beef patty with a spice of papaya syrup, which basically means it is vegan friendly, made with uh, plant-based items. And then I got the Wicked Weed uh, Brewery Mango Wowie Hazy IPA with mango out of Asheville, North Carolina. Better than I thought. I thought it was gonna be way too much mango. It still tastes like a beer. That's why I love Wicked Weed, because they put the beer first, but the mango is subtle and delicious, and for a hazy IPA, I get so much of that hazy IPA, and the, the mango is just so subtle. But it's there, and it's it's delicious. If you wanna try it- I feel like I was never the biggest beer drinker, um, but a fruited hazy IPA was always something that I knew would be a safe bet.
and would impress beer drinkers around me. And it's hard. Sometimes they overdo it is that they just put so much of the fruit in. We talked about this earlier with like the orange over at Odyssey. And there was another one we had where it was just too much. Where that's all you got. And it's that's not the point. It should be there, but subtle. I mean, like any good food or beverage item. I'll yeah, it's, a, a it's an accompanying. You Here, you sit. Oh, it's fine. We sit. Uh, I like to stand. I'm a stander. So. Then sit down, leave, leave the camera on me, Ryan. There you go. There you go. You guys sit there. I was going to say, who's Daniel? Uh-oh. I, I, I don't know if I told Daniel and Marquita we'd meet him in France, but we found a table here, and here we go. We'll try this. Daniel, Daniel can you hear me? I mean, they always know how to find us through the... Uh, Try a little bite of this, and you guys can try it. I'll go find Daniel. Just want a tiny little bite of this Jamaican beef beauty. Impossible. Impossible. Yes, Disney partners with Impossible. Alright, here we go. The Vegan version of a Jamaican beef patty. Be honest, I don't know what the camera's looking at because I'm using it as a mirror to look behind me. <laughs> it's not bad. Actually, I don't. That's good. If you like Jamaican beef patties, that's good. Here, try it. Don't push all the meat out. I didn't want to. Scoop it in there. There you go. Look who it is. Heck yeah, we got color. What's up, Nana? I'm doing good. We're all just sweaty, full messes today. What's been your uh, favorite item today? I liked, I thought it was the best cold noodle cup we've ever had. It was great. <laughs> By the way, does everyone know Nana? Yeah. Special sure WNT. Yeah. Yeah, she's a celebrity. She's a big deal. She just goes around like kissing babies around Epcot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I'll see you later on. Okay, see you later. By the way, you don't think you have a light on your back. Huh? You have a light on your back. I know. I wanted, so I'm actually happy I actually, well, I asked for uh, beef lo but it, um, no, I know. I wanted something that was like kind of, uh, you only live once, but remember before YOLO? Like I wanted something to say that like from birth to death, like kind of like you have one life to live, make the most of it. That's what I told the artist. It's like, what, it, what would be like, how do you say like, you only live once, you have one life to live, make the most of every day and every moment. And that's what I got. And it basically, I know it translates to just life. So I have life on my arm. You picked the wrong people. Here I am. What would you put instead? What would you have put? Uh, I would say like, there is a one person called Ichigo Chie, and he's like, one time you meet person. If you don't know what it means, how are other people supposed to know what it means? You're trying to figure it out as you talk about it. Yeah, I don't want people to be like, you know your arm kind of says like this, but not really this. I, I feel like, listen, I was this was this tattoo came from a special occasion. You fall seven times, but you get up eight times. Oh, I like that too. Oh, wait, say it again slower. Narakorobi yok. Narakorobi. 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 Yok. Yok. Yoki. All right, there we go. We're learning what uh my uh, the tattoo I should have got instead. Instead of the one I have. Yes. As Wayne Gretzky once said. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> For those who don't know, I have a tattoo on the back of my arm, and that's what she's referencing. Um, and when I got it... Apparently it just says life. It means, yeah, apparently it just translates to life. She's like, you know you have life on the back of your arm? And I'm like, yeah, which is better because... Well, I always make the joke like, well, I asked for, like, steamed dumplings. Um, but... There you go. Daniel, try the beef patty. It's delicious. <laughs> what? You know why? Because you've had dessert in every country.
I was singing, Oh Danny Boy. Oh yes. Danny Boy. The crew, the crew is calling. No, I like it that we're treating Daniel like my dad on vacation. Like, you got to get up. Come on, let's go. And he's like, no, this isn't vacation. I'm supposed to rest. And we're like, get up. We're doing things. You always need a vacation from the vacation. When you go to yeah. Daniel Listen, what he was getting into when he signed we'll, we can always go to a pool area later. Daniel was smart. He's like that uh, girlfriend that leaves a sweatshirt at your house. Daniel's like, can I just leave some stuff here? I'm like, he wants an afternoon nap or the pool session is really what he really wants. Tori, we're going to keep Daniel. We're keeping him. All right, so we have a cider flight. Is this without Marquita or is this a separate one? No, this is without Marquita. Yeah. Did she, is this Marquita's or no? Who bought this? Marquita. Okay, so she, yeah, so she bought it. All right. Marquita has tried all of them. Yeah, but where'd she go? I don't want to drink it if she hasn't. I know, but I feel bad if I finish them is the problem. Uh, and then she's like, well, you're a jerk. Really? Or there was a wine. Maybe we got the wine flight that they had last year. So maybe no, typically Morocco place. does the cider flight. Yeah, I might be thinking of food and wine. Wine flight from Morocco. I don't know if I cider flight. I no, still that think scary. that was... No, Greece. Greece was the wine. Greece had a wine flight. I'm, oh, I'm telling you, Morocco the always the cider. That's true. No, no, no. I'm thinking just of the booth right there. Yeah, the right next to it is typically Greece. Uh, always Panacopita. Yes. And then a wine flight of interesting wines. It took me a really long time to learn how to say that. Interesting? No, Spanakopita. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, has little... anyone else tried the Jamaican beef patty? Please try it. I think it's good, and I can't eat all of it. I'm very full. I also thought it was good. I don't want to eat all of it because I will be very full. I thought it was good for an impossible Jamaican beef patty. I thought... I see the sauce worried me because Jamaican beef patties don't come with a sauce. The sauce helped though because it, it, it would have been a little dry. It did. No. Yeah. Well, it's because normally like beef is so juicy and impossible isn't as juicy as. Yeah, but the sauce helped. It needed something, and I think it helped. Yeah. I liked this. Like, what is the price point on this? Um, Let's see. Hold on. Six fifty. That's a good value. I'm telling you, all the stuff, I just got so afraid. Was that my drink? <laughs> so I also think this is a great value because this patty is only six fifty, and it will fill you up. You can split it among the family. I think it for an impossible patty. I said we have your cider flight hostage. Steven, what are we thinking? Uh, do you need more of it or it can be killed? Yeah. Oh, okay. So Pete cannot finish it. Okay, cool. I'll tell Pete that he can try it, but not finish it. Mask and black goose. All right. We'll see you soon. Yeah, for Jamaican beef patty without beef, I think it's pretty good. And it is a price point of six fifty, which again is, is on the so, cheap end of this festival. So filling for six dollars. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I well, think um, that's the value. Like that's normally here other festivals. When yeah, it's they Brazil, use the, they use the same yeah. mold. And not to go down like a whole rabbit hole and like big discussion on the Disney dining plan and things like that, but now you have to think in terms of Arcata. all of these things at the festivals back as being snack credits. That is true because all it's coming back. Yeah, that's right. So this, so this is a snack credit. So as a snack credit, that's a great use of the snack credit. But I have a question. Can you use it on a lobster tail too? No. I don't think that. I didn't look, you have to go, you have to go so back. only some items during the festival are snack credits and some are not? Because to me, I would say, like, I'd have to have something be $10 or more to use a snack credit. Because this, I'd just rather pay for six bucks. The most snack credits are going to fall. In, the thing is, like, when people use a snack credit for, like, a banana at Sunshine Six. Which is crazy. Or, like, or just, like, a bottled water. A bottle, yeah, just like, yeah, No, that's... Talk a lot about the water. Uh, also, Tip, you always talk about bring a reusable water bottle. Great fill up spot. Is that Spice Road table? Yep. They have the ice water jug there uh, that's nice and fresh. But, uh, they have them all over the park now. We have a bunch of reusable, like, if people think we joke about reusable water bottles. Let me just show you a look into the bag. We have three big ones, small ones, some as big as your head. Look, this was the Adventure by Carney prototype. That's the prototype, but this is the one we went with. If you got one, you're very lucky. 
That's the Adventures by Carney Water Bottle. You can always ask for them, but if you have your bottles and you just want to actually self-serve fill them, Epcot, it's what? Connections, Regal Eagle, Spice Road, Sunshine City. Every other country you could find a spot. Okay, that's a tip I did not know. Marquita threw this on the ground, so here you go. You can How dare she? I want that after you sip it. Okay. But no, the snack credits, they tend to run like in the... If you can get a snack credit, I'd say over $7. Then you're doing then it's a value. value of your snack credit. So it's been a while since I did a dining plan. You know way better than me. But yeah, we used to try to maximize our snack credits. Yeah. Well, in part, we used to always do it when you could do free dining or when there was like place day dining and you could get a discount. Then there was a whole kind of method to the madness of like maximize, maximizing on the dining plan. You know, if you were just gonna go to get a burger at Sci-Fi, no point. But if you go to Ohana and you get a $60 meal and a $15 cocktail and you're getting 75 of your like 110 in that one meal already. Yeah. Plus your back then two snacks, plus your quick service meal. Yeah. And then, Let's assume it's up. Maybe with tax. No, but I remember it like, so again, it's been a while since I've obviously, I moved here, I don't do it. But I remember when like, let's just say even Les Celier, we used to be one credit, which was like a steal. And then when it became two, everybody was like, not worth it, we'll go somewhere else. There's no whites, no white dinner. Is one, yeah. Two, is now two. Um, What's the best one credit deal left? So that's a kind of a. We were talking about trying to get new footage within the parks. In general, it's going to be character dining. So in not the best food, yeah. but the best. So Magic but experience Kingdom, and a lot of food options. So best, so best value, Magic Kingdom. Be our guest is two credits. So best one credit in Magic Kingdom is going to be Crystal Palace. That makes sense. Uh, in Epcot, your best one credit value is going to be Garden Grill. Yeah. Uh, in Hollywood, hey, I mean, it's have you been gonna, to Garden Grill yet? I have, uh, Garden Grill is one of my four restaurants or three restaurants left. It's gonna, yeah. In the parks, it's going to be the characters. Hollywood and Vine is one or two. One. one that's good. And then is Tusker House one or two? One. Oh, that's and to me that is the best character dining breakfast on property for one credit. I don't know, in my opinion. Uh, and you get it to Animal Kingdom early. Yeah, as far as across the board stuff, I, Topolino as breakfast. Is, but isn't Topolino two? No, no, it's one. Point really? Because only forty five. But it's it, like Garden Grill dinner as, as a value is like sixty. It, dinner is two. It's, it's so funny we're talking out of these restaurants. I've eaten at almost every single restaurant on property, which is you would know about how many, probably sixty to eighty, and that there's only three or four I have not done, and two of them are in this conversation. I've never done Topolino. And I've never done. Uh, what was the other one you just said? Garden Grill. Garden Grill. Uh, I mean, in Epcot, doing beer garden for one credit. That's a oh, that's a great deal. One one credit. Yeah. I yeah, love I that. Done that one. And Chef de France, I'm pretty sure I'm not 100, but you always can do the prefix meal as your one credit. I'd rather do beer garden. Um, I would, but like just if you don't want to have that. Yeah. Food, yeah. I mean, beer garden is always a go-to for us. Um, you still can get the one credit at studios. A lot of the Fantasmic dining packages like that. That is a great value. Uh, Melrose, uh, Primetime, Sci-Fi. Brown Derby will be two, but that's a good value. But the Fantasmic dining packages for one credit is a steal, in my opinion, because you get that premium seating right in the middle. You don't have to rush and wait for an hour. You still have to get there 30 minutes ahead of time, but you're not waiting an hour. And also, the food, I, I tell everybody this, the food, I think Brown Derby is the best. But after that, it's all pretty much the same kind of on a point scale to me across the board. Yeah, so for that, you're basically paying like a ten dollar premium that you add up what you get food wise, and then the you also yeah you don't have to wait and you get great seats. Exactly. The best do is pre COVID two Mama Melrose. You get a free appetizer for every two people that dine. It's kind of a secret thing. Like no way. So you could do the fantastic dining for like the entree. And the don't talk about all the pre COVID stuff because yeah. I could go on about this for days. No, no, but I, I, I'm partially saying because I'm not quite sure if they're still doing that because we have not done Mama Morris since. But we always used to do dining, especially with the kids, because we want to do any type of big all you can eat meals and things yeah. like that and max out. And you, there were ways to bank meals and things like that. And quick serve, the big thing, the old dining plan, which doesn't exist now, it used to be quick service would just be kids or adults. It, it wasn't delineated. Yeah. So you could just like get three adult quick service meals, split it amongst everybody, and then like bank the kids ones, and then you could get which was so great. Yeah, and let them eat off your plate. Yeah. Exactly. 
Uh, if all of this sounds super confusing to you, and I know some people are like, what is going on? Is that this is why everyone should use a Disney travel agent because Disney travel agents do not add any money to your vacation. It's usually, it's literally the same exact price or cheaper because they get to keep checking. And if prices go down, they find you a better deal. Correct me if I'm wrong. And you get that cheaper deal. And you, everything he's saying, he could translate to you and your family. So if you say, we really like this kind of food or this kind of place or this, we want to have a big breakfast or we usually skip breakfast. This is why everyone should use a Disney travel agent. And that's kind of why I want to promote you for hanging out. Oh, no. The gimbal died as I'm talking. Hold on. We're coming back. Can you just hold this on, Steven? Talk about Disney. I'm going to charge this really quick. Hello. Uh, but why should people use a Disney travel agent? No, they should use it because it costs, you know, you're already paying for a Disney travel agent when you book your vacation. It's built into the price. Uh, and a lot of times, you know, depending on the agent, how proactive they are, we get heads up saying, hey, you may want to wake up tomorrow morning because something's going to drop. So we wake up at 6 in the morning, or if you're in Chicago, wake up at 4 or 5 in the morning oh. and can go on, log in, and modify the reservation and save you potentially a good amount of uh, money with things and you don't need to do anything. And the biggest advantage you get the same person to kind of call and talk to versus calling in and things like that. Uh, yeah, and it's just so much more complicated than everyone else to be too. And understanding, do you, is it Genie Plus meant for you? Yeah. Understanding Genie Plus, all those best. different aspects of things. A big thing to always find with people is that even just understanding the transportation system and the resorts and what exactly they're paying for the conveniences, how to get from park to park, from resort to park. A lot of that people don't, you know, fully, you know, Disney. Know the answer to say. Uh, I like to give this answer too. Is that I see Disney is a lot like if you if you're not from New York, like visiting Manhattan. There's so much to see. How do I get around? What do I do? What's a scam? What's the real deal? Where do I go? What? So if you had someone in your corner be like, this is what you want to do, what are your goals too? And I think that's a big thing travel agents do, at least for me, is would you rather save walking time? Would you rather do the best of the best? Do you not care about waking, would you rather wake up early? Do you want to take a nap in the middle of the day? Are you a night person? Like they can cater a trip to you and still make it super special. And when you have those questions, at least in my experience, they're there for you all the time. You don't have a light. Like, you have to be there for your yeah. guests. Yeah. This is the reason why I'm not a Disney travel agent and that's, I'm excited to be friends with them because I don't have the time at all. If people are like, hey, we're stuck in this situation. Can you help us? You help them. And I'd be like, four weeks later, hey, where are you? Yeah. Yeah, and that's why we come down as often as we can. Yes. We can just to kind of experience what is the new things, how do the systems work, what has changed, what is not, all that type of stuff. Um, so yeah. Drop your Instagram again. Uh, it's Steven with a P-H, S-T-E-P-H-E-N, underscore, noon, N-O-O-N, underscore, Disney MVP for Magical Vacation. And he follows me, so you can go follow that. Too. Yeah. And he's in our Discord, which is yes. fantastic. You should join our Discord. Links are down below in the description. You don't have to follow that, Ryan. Thanks. Yeah. By the way, this is Rhode Island Ryan. He's in our Discord, too. Look at this I handsome gent. <laughs> and look at the rest I of the group. refuse to learn how to use Genie Plus. Hi, everyone over there in the shade. Daniel, how you doing? All right, it's a smile. So it's just us kids. All right, what's what's been the, the best thing we've had today? I think it's that lobster tail. Ooh. It was good, but I mean... I mean, what, else, what, what beat it for you? I have to think. Because you're right, but I just got so mad about the price. Because it's not fair for everyone to have such... It really... You know, it is a lobster fair, is just so good though. But and and also they got they brought that lobster all the way down from the north. Did they? Because it said it's warm water lobster tail, so it means it probably could be a Floridian or Caribbean lobster. You know, then it might be. I'm just saying. It might not be worth the price. Because it said it was a warm water lobster tail, and that's a from you the know, north to be cold water. Yeah, cold water lobster is so much better because it's just we are so both sweeter. from the northeast, so that's why we're saying that. Rhode Island, Ryan. I'm from Long Island. But We're now both we both live here. Boys. <laughs> but now, island boys. <laughs> but now we live here. And I love that our group has just taken over all the tables behind me. It's been a fun day. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, if you are, please hit the like button. I love that we're only, uh, I don't know, 30 something, 35 likes away from 200. So if you haven't hit the like button, please do so. It helps. If so you're brand new, consider subscribing. Yeah. Okay. Um, just doing your math backwards. Definitely. I appreciate it. I definitely would recommend uh, hitting the little bell if you subscribe and hit all notifications. We do go live randomly. We will be live again tomorrow. We have a very special stream tomorrow. You're going to love it. 
especially if you uh, have ever gone to a Blockbuster or a Monster Video in your life. Tomorrow you're gonna wanna be there for the live stream. Also, you get to see the Central Florida Fair, which is a lot of fun. We're not done yet. The stream continues, we're charging the gimbal. Hopefully it's got enough juice soon where I can put this back in there because on these long streams, I forget things die so quickly. We're charging as fast as we can and we're going as fast as we can. But I'm gonna try these ciders while we sit here. Do you so, want me to hold the camera for you while you do? Do you want to? I feel bad asking you to even do that. Here, did you, Go ahead. can you flip it? I flipped it already. Okay. No, it's fine because I right. can rest my elbows on the table and uh, now all right, I go. am a tripod. Okay, so. Let's get into the cider flight. Marquita, did you try these? Kita, you had these? Which one is that? She wants the honey The first one, okay. So she wants me to save some of that. All right, we're gonna go through. These are the ciders from the Morocco uh, booth, the Tangerine Cafe at Morocco. I don't know, it's actually that one. Oh, hold on, hold on. Boy, did they pour it in reverse? That's the honey circle. Why, they poured it backwards? Are you sure? Alright, so that means this this should taste of honeysuckle. Like pear. No, but I mean they all Yeah, everyone knows what honeysuckle tastes like. It should taste like pear. Here we go. Uh Glenn, I am using the table as a balance point. So yes. Hi, this is the one I like. I, I only took a little sip of baby sip. You also had sips of all of these, they're not full. Oh, that's something I didn't spill. That's actually really good and it's the <laughs> driest. I know. That's very nice. Like my sensory here. And you did not spill at all. There's not a single drop on here. You know why I didn't spill? Because you're awesome? Or... No, it's because she was doing a lot of... <laughs> oh, yeah. Off the top. <laughs> I was sipping and walking. Awesome. <laughs> this is the Woodchuck Imperial Sip Citrus Hard Cider from Middlebury, Vermont. Shout out to Vermont and Smuggler's Knock, where I used to go on ski trips yeah. in college. Shout out to Ben and Jerry's. Also from Vermont. That's good. This isn't that sweet either. I'm a fan of these cider stuff. And also, if you go to uh, the Ben and Jerry's factory, sit very similar to the kitchen sink that you can get at Beaches and Cream, you can get something there called the Vermonster. I did not know that. And then she claims this is the pomegranate, but we'll see. This is the Three Daughters Brewing Pomegranate Hard Cider out of St. Pete here in Florida. Have your fun. Why? What came back today? I don't want that. It's good, honestly. These are the best three centers I've had at once at Epcot. They're very good. They were all like dry enough for me, but sweet enough to be loved. For you. I know. I, I don't know why I got it. I'm just gonna power through it. I didn't drive today for everyone wants to know. Pete, empty it right now. That? Yeah. No, I, we're on a live stream. Very good about that. Could I do it? Absolutely. Will I do it? We're doing it. We're proper. We're prim. Plus, I'm pretty sure Mark Maron tried behind uh, it. Whose beer is this? Is this mine? Yeah. So I have this and that. All right. Do you guys want some uh, Jamaican beef patty? You want to try? It's good. I actually like it. I think it's one of the best values. Try it. Just try it. It's good. I like. <laughs> Just try, you don't like plants? You've never had a salad in your life? Yesterday. I'm telling you, it's good. It's surprisingly good for an impossible Jamaican beef patty. No, it's very possible to eat. Pete and I ate it just fine. We literally you guys also it. ate the sesame buns. Yeah, but we didn't enjoy those. We enjoyed this one. We're okay, <laughs> 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 gonna try. Since we're getting even glowing review. I'll be. I'm running over to the other kid and my brother. Okay. And then I'll call her and see where you guys are at. So we'll leave it out saying goodbye. Are you coming back? Yeah. I'll see you guys in a minute. Well, I'm ketchup mixing alcohol. There's my ketchup, man. That's uh, like a hot sauce kind of thing. <laughs> it might be a tomato-based sauce. Pete, everyone's very concerned about your sunburn. That's not a sunburn. Guys, I hate to bring it to you. I came out like this. Uh, when I was first born, they thought, wow, this guy will make a great sauce, and I was not a tomato. This is just always the look. The, how you look is here. That's pretty bad. No, that's, that's pretty bad. 
Well, you know what? I'm dedicated to this channel. And I put on suntan lotion this morning. What if I do that to you? I, if I'm in the sun enough, then no. But I also put on 70, maybe 75 sunscreen. 75 I don't even think exists. I think I've already worn 35 for a bit. Isn't that the real story I've heard? That's what I've heard. Yeah, Dawn says we know usual red peat between and uh, versus sunburn peat. And this is sunburn peat. Well, it's a hot day. It's open day of flowering garden. You like the hat? I have a hat stain. No. Oh my goodness, don't no, take it off, take it off. No, why are you doing it off? It's for the Patreon, it's only if I take it off. That's for the only Patreons. The ghost pepper almonds were very disappointing. Let me just say something. Um, I like to just say thank you, first of all, for everyone who's watching today, because there's a lot of options that you'd be watching anywhere. But also, not everyone who is watching. But we have an amazing channel sponsor, and I wouldn't have them if it wasn't for all of you. And I think everyone should go check them out. It's SJG. Don't throw it out unless you're going to drink it. That's fine, but I'll drink it. I didn't drive. I'm allowed to have as much fun as I want. The fact that he caught that. You were going to just throw out alcohol? It's watered down. That's all Even better, I should be drinking water. It's good. Yeah, hydrate before while you dehydrate. Or while you dehydrate. Yeah. Get out of here. Stop trying to throw out beverages. Uh, Lynette, I'll fully admit that I am sunburned. I don't have to deny that I'm sunburned, like Pete. Oh, I'm not denying you. I'm, uh, I like to say... But I have the, uh... I have the um, Disney cooling well, aloe really, gel. Listen, if I was really sunburned, I couldn't do this. I've been really sunburned. I think people don't yes. realize there's different levels. Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm a level one. Yeah, like this. If someone did that to me when I was sunburned, sunburned, I don't want to tell this whole story about when I was Cancun playing uh, beach volleyball with the uh, real world road rules. That's when I got real sunburned and my friends had to pour aloe all over me and stand around me in a circle at the club in Cancun. Because if anyone touched me, I started to cry. That's sunburn uh yeah no i've had levels of sunburn where i went on a uh an airboat in the everglades uh and someone gave me tanning oil instead of suntan no, lotion no, stop the madness. uh and i heard crunching noises when i lifted my arms no. i actually thought once i was so sunburned that the wind hurt like where i had to just be like indoors under a cover and a blanket yeah because if i had any kind of movement it hurt if i if i moved like this i would hear my skin crackle like a pork rind wait till i look like a beautifully tan man tomorrow and by that i mean i'll just still be red but what were we talking about uh you were about to talk about uh your channel sponsor channel sponsor thank you because you know what we wouldn't i mean I just feel so lucky and blessed to have people who are even watching, but let alone sponsor the channel. So I want to talk about SJG3 Collectibles, and they're amazing. Uh, and if you're into cool stuff, like we've been, we've been showing a lot of cool drinks and food items and things from around the world. And if you're into any kind of collectible, whether it's pop culture, uh, Marvel, DC, Disney, theme parks, what are some things you're into? Because you're a collector. Jello. Jello? What do you collect? Hey, hey Pete. Is that actually plugged in? Let's get a hundred watts in there. I was just talking that if you're there you go. Uh, if you're a collector, I think you should get it. You checked it out. Let's talk about it. SJG3 collectibles on eBay. You can just go to ebay.com backslash str backslash SJG3 collectibles. But go ahead. There's something for everybody. There's something for everybody. There's something for everybody. I mean, a lot of a lot of stores will only do Pokemon or something. There's everything. Yeah, you're talking pop culture from the 80s, 90s, 2000s. Yeah. So much cool stuff. All the stuff I missed out on as a child. Uh, but and it's also like approachable where they have items from two, three, four bucks all the way up to, you know, obviously the several thousands because he's a big autograph guy. He's got autographs from everybody. Yeah, my brother collects a lot of autographs. So I need to get my brother to go. 
He would love it. Again, if you want to follow them uh, on Twitter, it's SJG3COL or their website. Go to eBay. You can search them in the eBay stores, SJG3Collectibles or book there. Uh, just go to ebay.com backslash str backslash sjg3collectibles and so and there's obviously a lot of Disney stuff but all that other pop culture stuff that you were talking about um, all the stuff that I missed out on in my childhood it's actually harmful to go look because I look all the time like I should really but thank god I don't know because I spent a thousand dollars here hey Pete 20% on that? yeah oh you got everything dying you can plug it in here I can give you another well, I don't know. I have this power charger. You were at 10%? 20. Oh, 20. All right. I figured I would tell you early. You should be able to turn your... That thing power charges really well, so you should be able to turn your camera on and charge yourself. You want to try it? Here, let's try it. It's good. Right, let's try it. We're going to do a test of all the things. we got so many charges going on. Thanks for bearing with us for a hot minute. Let's just jump in the gimbal and see if it works. We're gonna try this. Is, is it powered on? It this one powers on when you just move it. Oh really? It's weird. Yeah, like. All right, so let's see if that works. Okay, that's uh, good. Now it's, uh, now it's vertical. No, but that's okay. We can fix that. Okay. And then that does this. Stall. Why is it just stuck on Ryan? Orientation is locked. I get it. Hold on. You just not pressing the right buttons? No, look. Here. Look what I'm looking at. It says orientation is locked. Rotate back. So it thinks it should be vertical. Oh. But it's horizontal. But I don't... That's going to be there the whole stream. Can you back out? Can you put it back to vertical and then put it back to horizontal and see what happens? Sure. Everyone, hold on one second. Don't go anywhere. Like and subscribe. All right, so we got that. There we go. Now we got everything charging and working. That was in the uh, New York Times uh, crossword puzzle. Cooking with gas? It was cooking with, or now we're cooking with blank. G-A-S, yeah. Yeah, gas. All right, wow, look at all these chargers. So many things going. Everything Anything else going. in the chat come up to you that I forgot to talk about or should we look through? Uh, I mean, I don't know how to scroll on chat, so. Oh, well, I can scroll. I was just looking at what came up. I appreciate that. You did a great job. Where would we be without you today? You've been the MVP. I'm gonna name you the MVP. He's the MVP, right? Steven Noon might know a lot of information, but you've been helping out with lines, camera, carrying. You've been the behind the scenes MVP. Just saying. I'm letting everyone know. Ryan has crushed it today. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Uh Ben Blickinson here. Alright, so we'll scroll up a little bit and see what I missed, and we'll just go from there. Joshua says it's my birthday today. Happy birthday, Joshua. We got a lot of birthdays out there today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Brandy says, how do you say got to hydrate the dehydrate in Japanese? That would have been a great tattoo, right? Uh, Manette says he needs sunscreen. I do. Uh, I put it some on this morning. He just comes off because when I go to the restroom, I wash my face. I wash my body. Also, I do a full wash. It's, yeah, it's just very hot. We've all been sweating. Like It's very warm. It's over 80 degrees, and we've been in the direct sun, eating and drinking and having yeah, a good time. I, uh, we had a, um, a UV index of 6. Yeah, see, that's not even that 10. bad. Oh, never mind. That's pretty bad. I thought it was out of 100. No. Everyone is talking about sunscreen, but you know what? It's here. We're fine. Everyone, look, I'm a nice shade of red, as David Long puts it. Hi, Diego. Great to see you. Let's see who else is here. We'll uh, use some lotion. Yeah, I have a ton of aloe at home. It's not my first Florida rodeo. Yeah, I have the Disney blue aloe, the cooling aloe from Disney. Ooh, that is nice. That's a nice aloe. That H2O product. H2O products are the best. If I mean, I wish we took more home. I mean, they used to just give them to you. Yeah. Uh, hi, Disney Dynamics. What's going on? Karen Burke, how are you? Great to see you. 
Jason says Pete is funny. Thank you. I appreciate that. I would agree. Pete is funny. He, oh, looking. Uh, oh, well, I don't agree with that. I'm assuming he left that off, but yeah, whatever. Uh, Karen said, I'm sorry I missed the beginning, but I love to sing all the food. Well, we had a, an awesome beginning. And the good part about these live streams, you can always rewind. You can go watch back when we end this stream. You can go pick up on all the parts you missed, uh, whether you've been lurking or not. Uh, Brandy, show and love to Josh. Yes, uh, we do miss Josh a lot. Allison B says, I bring Disney bamboo cutlery to Disney, and I would totally get an ABC Spork. Now we're talking. ABC Sports. I would I would get an ABC Bamboo Fork. Alice is on Med. I missed the Spike to be Sport. We still have a few. I sent them out to all the Patreons, I think, last year for Christmas, the year before last. Um, I still have a ton of stuff left over. Um, is it official that we're not getting any Spork this festival? I don't see any Sporks. I think it's, I think we're Sporkless. But we never went. We didn't go to the Honey Bistro well, yet. We didn't go to the Honey Bistro. Also, um, I heard that Joffrey's uh, syrup... Uh, for one of their specialty drinks got delayed so we might be getting a later season sport potentially i don't want to put anyone's hopes up but okay i like know, that disney that's fun get... disney hack How'd you like the ramen i enjoyed it yeah, yeah. I mean, you gotta shake it real good or stir it real good all the good stuff's at the bottom so like up top will be like a dry miserable mess but <laughs> yeah it's like literally a salad on shake it of, all the stuff on the bottom the makes it it's the best cold it's, noodle dish. It's cold. Okay. It's the best cold noodle dish they've done since they started introducing ramen here. Okay. Yeah, so this is like know. the best in what, four years, I would say? They've four been doing or five it. years. But yeah. shake it real well, dump it upside down, stir yeah, really, it. Really, really make sure yeah. that the sauce gets gets on everything. Yeah. Did just, you not just, like this? We, we liked it. No, we, we just, like we, we we're, we're trying every new item, and there's around fifty new items. New item. Yeah, <laughs> it's just it's. Are so you guys from here? Yeah, we we went to. Oh, nice. We're live on YouTube. Oh, sorry if you want. Sorry. You want? No, you you're allowed to be on. Come say hi. We were just informing you that you were on. We were just yeah. I like to tell people ahead of time but that way they're not mad. Yeah. But no, we're equal. Yeah. Thanks for of the course. tips. Absolutely. Absolutely. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy. Um, what were we talking about? We were talking about. Well, Ben, feel better, and let's keep going. Yeah, we were talking about the chat. The chat has been great. Uh, no, we were talking about Disney H2O products. They're great. Disney H2O. Happy birthday, Josh. Oh, uh, big shout out to my man, Arm Bandito, Nelson, sent a little Venmo to help cover some of the funds. Yeah, it's been a, a, a day. It's yeah. been a day. We're spending some money, but there's a lot of new items. So we have to try them all for you, because I feel like it's my obligation. To have a red face and... Well, you got that one covered in spades. <laughs> <laughs> got enough red in the face for the whole family. But we do like to give you honest reviews of everything. And even if you're new to the channel and we're skipping some stuff because it's from last year, you can always go back to last year's video and watch that too. And you, the, we're only skipping things we already reviewed. And that's for the sake of time and mostly money. There is so many things to try. And everything and is six to fourteen dollars this is a long festival so we will probably be getting some of the other yeah. dishes that are not new this year yeah, we'll go back to the classics for the short um definitely getting some of the the favorites from the past yeah we since this runs till may 27th we're gonna be here a lot so that's why you gotta make sure you subscribe you got that bell on uh what else is going on I gotta, get, I gotta see what's going on Ben. I miss, I know everyone's saying feel better. I'm saying feel better too, but I didn't see his original text. Laura McCann says, what is this magical contraption you are using to charge? Uh, so we have a few. Um, Daniel gave me his, this is insane. That's this is a 100 watt, yeah. This gets me four full lightning charges and that's mine. This is his, this is wild. But he wasn't joking that I went from nearly dead to I'm already past half since we started talking. It's this is wild. Yeah, that thing is a monster. Well, I, guess, I think it's because it's USB C fast charging right now. Yeah, I guess um, this does a lot of good. And then we also have fuel rods, which we like to fool around with in between street, you know, stops. Because also they're free to swap out here at Disney. And also, it's nice to have a small charger when you're walking. Yeah, oh, in your pocket, you just pull out a fuel rod, absolutely. Well, yeah, and like if you're if you're having to hold the gimbal and a fuel rod, it's not that much. But if you're holding, you know, especially yeah. Daniel's. I know, it's so funny, Brandy just put the chat, uh, Toriland Traveler is like a walking Best Buy. That is, so, look, first of all, even this cable, 
Looks like something I use when I DJ. Yeah, it's, that is, is the legit. nicest cable I've ever seen. This is legit. You can see the 100 watts right here. Like the the fitting alone for the cable. Daniel, where'd you get this? What it cost? Off of Amazon for how much? All right, so if you go to the Tomorrowland Traveler and look at his descriptions, you can find where he gets all of his products. And this was off of Amazon. Amazon. I believe that means that he has an Amazon affiliate link. <laughs> Which I was told I should do. I just, I'm, I'm behind on everything. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't cost anybody any money. And uh, just getting that, that click through, no matter what, even if they uh, buy, some, buy a different product than what was listed, uh, the people get a little I should kick, do it. I should do it. Uh, if you are buying anything from Amazon, you should always use somebody's affiliate link. Someone's affiliate link or smile.amazon.com, uh, yes. which goes to uh, an amazing organization. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Carrie Small says, hey guys, I'm a new subscriber. I saw you on Ron's stream earlier. Well, thanks so much. New subscriber in the house. Everybody show some love. We are 310 minutes into this stream, so I am sorry if I am not as pumped, but I am. I can tell you I'm very excited. Thanks for saying hi. You can plug both of those up into that. It's got two of each. What? So you told me I could do this into this? Yeah. It'll slow down the other one just a little bit. Well, I don't want to slow anything down. Let's just no, let's no, just blow them all up because I want to keep it moving. I feel like we've okay. sat here too long. Just, you got to keep streams moving. Keep that's what I was coming to tell you. you want to I want to get up. moving. You want to do... Uh, what would you like to we do? We have just... We have France, Canada, and the front of the spine left. And then we can do whatever we want for that. But then we've covered every inch, every topiary, right, and every food. Just, I'm just trying to figure out which way you want to go. France. 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 But yeah, if we do France and the front booths. There's a table right there if you want to sit I feel bad. Yeah, we give you ours, but it's a mess. No, no, no. He's with us. Yeah. France. <laughs> all right anyone else? anyone any more jamaican patty no all right does anyone any more noodles uh, you sound like no. a kindergarten teacher. That's all okay <laughs> steven's going for the noodles does anybody want more hurricane anybody want more hurricane anybody want a high five oh that's what you want everyone loves jenna look at this in the in the wild without a camera, <laughs> I know this is wild. Oh, okay, fair enough. We love it. They are the best. Everyone, if you're one of the four people out there that don't know about Resort TV One, you should go follow them. They're some of the kindest, sweetest, most genuine people, and they bring you some of the best live streams from all over Disney and the Orlando area. So go check them out. Thank you. Uh, yeah, and we love them. And during the pandemic, they did our video about what streamers are doing during the pandemic. I don't know if you remember that, but you were one of the uh, few that reached out. We had a great time. A few uh, very good people did it. So anyway, there's Jenna. I'm sorry to interrupt. Are you no, 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 no. We're, no, we're just, we're just eating. Yeah, go enjoy. Go eat. Did you get? I actually didn't forget. I put it on. It just, we just <laughs> expire so quickly on my skin. I, I steam easily like the lobster over at the Odyssey. Um, yeah. It was a bit warm, yeah. Our first, I'd say, like real hot day of the year. It's been a weird start to the year for Florida. Yes, yes. We it's felt here. like we didn't, like we all moved here to get away from all that other January weather. But now it's like Florida's back. Like, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, we're back. Yeah, we're like, oh, we have to wear sunscreen again and go in the side and the shade. But uh, enjoy the rest of your flower and garden. Great seeing all of you. You too. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. I feel like speaking of sunburns, I know it's. My, the case for me and I'm assuming it's similar for you we usually get like one decent sunburn towards the beginning of the year and then it kind of covers us for the rest of it yeah that first one yeah that first one uh that's when everyone kind of freaks out like what's happening here where yeah. they're like you are gonna be hurting um actually here I'll give you I'll give you mine too. Uh, I'm leaving my child under your supervision oh, no. oh this is a terrible idea choice. this is a bold move cotton I know we're gonna it's okay, he won't say much. We're gonna teach him a bunch of new bad habits. <laughs> I probably already taught him. Uh, yeah. okay. So, you ever try alcohol? No, I'm just <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't. Don't. Uh, where are you going? 
the restroom. Oh, okay. Have fun. What's been the best thing you've had to eat or drink all day, Phoenix? Ice cream. Oh, that ice cream was really from good. Oh, from France? He went. He, got, he got two. He went to Italy and France. Oh, you also Which had the one, one and you also had France? the American Outpost. France. That was the France smoothie. Was oh. The French, are, they, they know what they're doing now. Oh, but it's, the, it's the not Italian bad. gelato. Has to try different outlets. So you had the gelato, you had the French ice cream, and you had a, a little bit of the Equatorial Africa when we stopped across the bridge, where we yeah, had that the uh, tangerine and the, the tangerine, tangerine that yeah. one Aiden got. Tangerine cream. So you've had float. three of the best ice creams today, and your favorite is like still France. Wow, France! Congratulations, crushing it. Brioche right yeah. ice cream sandwich, top notch, and the ice cream martini. Awesome. Yes. So if you don't know about these things, no. these are fun little hacks. I'll, I'll let Stephen talk about because I'm exhausted. Yeah. Well, also, not a sh not a dessert guy. Yeah. Also, yeah, but I mean, I've heard that the brioche ice cream sandwich in France is absolutely yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, no, that's right. I mean, they make ice cream and they dig up brioche, they put on the brioche, and then they, and they like press it, put on like a panini so press, like a, and yeah. then put it together. And the ice cream martini. Ice cream sandwich. Uh, basically, they put it in the martini glass. And, oh, I've uh, had that. And that's yeah. the thing is, they'll say you want to American it's, or French right, style. So I thought there was something else I didn't know about. No, they just take a giant scoop of your favorite ice cream. They pour your favorite liquor all over the top and say, here you go. Yeah. So we got a big scoop of vanilla with pinnacle whipped vodka. And I thought it was one of the situations like, say when. And they just kept going. It, yeah. That was a value, but that was, I don't know, again, is that pre-pandemic or right after the did, pandemic? Did, I just had one, we did like salted caramel with the Grand Marnier, and like and they, they were said generous. they said American or French style. So American, they said they just did like, they did like a couple taps in, and then we still would go French style, and they go all the way to the top. Like they did about, yeah, French that style. was strong. So, we're French style French ice cream martini, it's way to go. Again, more hacks. This is why you need a travel agent. And thanks to everyone who's watched today. I am not giving up yet because we haven't finished the loop. We're gonna push on to the loop. We just need to recharge I both ourselves to, yeah, and ourselves, our technology. The batteries. It's been a day. And we were out last night. Uh, we did a loop around here during, to figure out where the topiaries were and what we were going to do today up until fireworks. Escaped out. Ran to see some other people who were here on vacation. I went to bed last night around 3.15. And then I woke up at 7.30. Tomorrow the Traveler slept over in our guest bedroom. So he was up at 7.45. Nice job. We were just up and slept on the plane. I was going to say, you, you had to sleep on the plane. Yeah. yeah. What was your wake up time today? Uh, we slept on the plane. Well, we just, I mean, I was up at. There he is. I was up at 6 30 on Tuesday morning. Very good. Yeah. And then went, and I we took a 5 45 a.m. flight. So I slept on the plane without, because we left, we had to leave our house at 2 30 to get uh, 3 o'clock, a little before 3. I knew about what, an hour ride to the airport? We gotta leave the car and get on the show. Oh. Friggin' Chicago. How dare she? What happened? Two hours. I said this cocktail's what she's she did back. because all over my Instagram. Do you want to promote your Instagram on the channel? Absolutely not. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do it right now. Okay. Because I don't have anything to promote. Okay. 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 Okay
Okay, done. Got that. Canada's not, there's not much new stuff. In, so oh. Canada, we can skip, but what about the other booths at like Canada, East Canada didn't do any of the France We never pool. got duck or any of that stuff, oh, right? Oh, no. Uh, there's Just also the, buffalo poutine, buffalo chicken poutine. Yes. Oh, that I ever did one. It's vegan. Plant-based. Plant-based buffalo oh, chicken. Why didn't they just With blue cauliflower? No, we can. Does any of this sound interesting to anyone? Will anyone eat any of this? Or are we what's all so full? What's the slushy in France? Diabetes. What are we talking about? What's new? So we're Somebody debating. So there's there's three or four booze left, but like if we order it, will we eat it? Because everyone is so I mean, full. No I mean, one's even nitro. finishing what we have now. I think we should go somewhere around the world since it came back today. Uh, nitro mango cheesecake. That's yeah, world showcase. You got You got to get that. I just want to go. I just well. want to play in the nitro. Uh, your your question about the I'm it's the frozen slush. Oh, it's the, the, the La Vie en Rose. It's an orange. I have the rum. How is it? I don't know yet. I'm drinking the water from Morocco. I mean, I like it. It's good, but mine doesn't have alcohol. My favorite drink so hard. Oh, duck coffee. Right now, I'm not sorry. We got moms gone wild over here. <laughs> Better than Grady's gone wild. Make sure you get a cramp. Oh, we're oh my god, you're so red. <laughs> <laughs> That's offensive. Oh my god! Thank you. Bro! That was her face! What do you want me to say back? Oh my god, you're so white. Stand in the sun. Yeah, I'm really sad. I need to The best part is he handed he was like, we have sunscreen. But that's He's a little past his name. He's a little past his name. Thanks. Her face. That was the best. Thanks. Get out of here, Whitey. <laughs> See you later, Casper. I won't be hurting tomorrow. Neither <laughs> will I. That's his normal color. Oh. This is how I roll. <laughs> Her face was like mom mode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was good. All right. Poor Pete. I'm just saying, you don't walk up to a lot of other colors and say you're so that color. You, like, like yes. you are so brown. Tan. Did you hear that, Peter? Tan. What? Me and when I met Stephen, he was wearing the same shirt. No way. Really? Opening of Custom Arts. We met over a pig and pop. Yeah. It's the first generation. Yeah, the first generation. The pig and popcorn bucket that we still have two of in our basement. What'd you say? Popcorn figment? What? Yeah. The figment popcorn bucket. The first one that was actual figment. The not, one that I had to buy. Food. That was, I call that the, uh... The one that, that was the 40th one. one. That was the... Oh. Yeah. The one for John. John Thorne. The one that got lost over at, uh... <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Didn't you walk away? Yeah. And no. We, took a we, we literally went and took a picture, came back, someone stole it, and I had it filled with Adventures by Carney stuff, so there's somebody with a popcorn bucket I think full of Adventures by Carney cool. merch. Uh, that Aww. ran away, but it is what it is. All right, here, take your mini computer back. Thank you so much. Is it charged? I think we're good. I mean, you're more than welcome to use it for whatever. If it dies, it dies. If he lives, he lives. Oh no, I messed it up again. How do we get out of this last time, Ryan? I'm in the filters. Uh, there's an X somewhere. I don't remember where. Oh, it's so small and so hard to find. That's what she said. Got it. Let's go. Daniel. Sorry, I just remembered. Daniel. I remembered we were left. All right, let's journey on, everyone. There's no time for dilly dallying. This is a just flower and garden festival. <laughs> is this. Thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. Representing Venezuela. My aunt lived in Venezuela for 10 years. She lived in Caracas. Thanks again. Good time to remind everyone to put on suntan lotion. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh my God, you're so red. <laughs> like she's never seen a red faced man. Anyway, I <laughs> believe me, everything my body wants to just turn the stream off, but we have to finish the loop. We do. We need to finish. I'm just being ridiculed. I'm tired. I am full of food. I can't even think about having any more food. That's a pretty tree. That is a pretty tree. I hope everyone's enjoying the stream. I'm not complaining about the stream. I'm so happy to be doing it. 
and I love all of you. And that's why I continue, because you're so much nicer than my friends. They're being so mean. <laughs> if you are enjoying the stream, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing. We have a lot of fun. We'll be live again tomorrow. We have a big day. If you've ever been to a Blockbuster or a Monster video, you're not going to want to miss tomorrow's stream. Uh, or if you just like seeing cool things around Florida, we're going to the Central Florida Fair. Let's go check out some more topes. We got Belle and the Beast here in France looking beautiful. Look at the way she looks at him. Beautiful. And then we can go see, oh, I see some more topes over here. The topiaries have been on point. Look, another Mets fan in the wild. <laughs> Go Mets. Did you say go Mets? He had a Mets hat on. Yeah, no, I know. I said we see another Mets fan in the wild. Look at this, and his clock is working. And Aurora is meeting guests here on the way back to the Ratatouille attraction in the back of France. All right, we can keep moving. I don't know where any of my people are, but I feel like this is a good time to just say thank you. And thank you so much sincerely for watching the channel at any point today, whether you just joined or you've been popping in and out or watch the whole thing. I know there's a lot of options out there and it's the first day of Flower and Garden Festival here at Epcot. And it means a lot that you spent some time with us today, whether it's been a few moments or a few seconds or hours and hours. I sincerely appreciate it. So thanks so much. It means a lot to me. If people didn't watch, we wouldn't have a channel. And also, speaking of, if we wouldn't have a channel. I just want to thank all the Patreons. And if you want to be one or check it out, that would be amazing. But also, just want to take a minute just to thank all the Patreons for believing in the channel, supporting the channel, helping the channel. I just feel extremely blessed and lucky that people find value in this support it i i'm touched by it and i think it's a, a big deal because i moved down here for that exact reason was i don't know when i came to the disney parks i thought this is kind of nice people are nice to each other guests are kind the cast members are kind people are just nice to one another it's clean you pick up after each other and now I know that's not always the case and things are not perfect. But I was like, man, this is cool. I like this. One day if it's possible, I would love to move to Orlando and just have this be around the parks. What? Why are you sprinting away from France? Oh, I'm not. I was talking to the camera. I didn't know where you guys went. Well, we were all waiting for you in the sun in front of... Uh, oh, well, of, you should not be waiting for me in the sun. I thought with the, with the burn, you really liked it. I would just be giving thanks for everyone who watches, supports the channel, including you. Thanks for uh, being so awesome. Ryan helps out so much uh, with the channel besides being on streams, but he's on the Discord. He supports the streams. He watches when I'm out being a maniac and hits the like button and subscribed. And that's really... Oh, yeah, I got the bell on and everything. See, that's all I could ask for. No, we were we were waiting to see uh, if you just wanted to show the menu. Um, but uh, I guess we'll have to do France on the next one. Yeah. I thought you guys left, so I just tried to catch you. No, no, you left. Oh, well, sorry, I'm so lightning fast. I listen, Lightning Queen. Do you need a finger? <laughs> I'm good, thanks. Should probably have some context to that. Well, Pete was trying to. 
to operate his phone with his nose. I don't like that bird. That's my ostrich. See, I don't mind it. I feel like we have a respect for one another. Ostrich are way more terrifying. That thing has twice as long of a beak as an ostrich. Okay, but this, I could be okay if this came after me right now. If an ostrich came after me right now, I that, that outweighs me. It heard you and... No, it's cool with me. It, I respect him, he respects me, or she. It's just a respect game. Ostrich, no respect. Look, it's Marquita's house. What, oh, the roller skate? That's where Marquita lives. Hard to keep cool this time of year. There was a young woman who lived in a skate. <laughs> <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, about an eight. Why are you so old? I'm determined. Come on, I was having some fun there. Alice is out. Look at Alice. I got us a lightning lane. I just want to know if anyone's going to eat anything else or are we done eating? No, we still have more stuff. We got new stuff. Okay, but will you eat it? Because I'm full, Daniel's full. Is anyone still hungry? Well, I'm saying I'll be back. That's why I'm asking if anyone's still hungry. Here's Winnie the Pooh. Really good, I might get it. Rabbit. <laughs> By the way, guess what reopened? The UK bathrooms are back, baby. You know, better than ever. You can go right past the Billy Shakes Garden. Look, it's Hamlet. It's Shakespeare. Come on. No, it's Hamlet. Well, this is a Hamlet, but that is William Shakespeare, aka Billy Shakes. No, this is it's a it's a speech from Hamlet. Oh, Ophelia's famous flower speech in Hamlet explains several of the meanings behind plants common during Shakespeare's time. Here are some of the flowers Ophelia mentions and what they're meant to uh, the people in the Elizabethan era. Like rosemary means rem remembrance. Pansies are thoughts. Wow. Someone, someone's like, hey, pansy, Mike, I'm a memory. Thanks. Wow, you thought I was thoughtful? You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. For, yeah, you're welcome. Fennel, flattery. Uh, honestly, anyone feel free to fennel me. You fennel me all the time. Columbine, deception, rue, bitterness, daisy, innocence, violets, faithfulness. I appreciate everyone's violets to this channel. It means a lot. And it's probably because it's I'm... It's really fennel. And it's probably because I'm a daisy. And there's your Shakespeare Garden vocabulary. Who are we waiting for? Daniel? He already left. Oh, the Welsh dragon. No, the Welsh dragon. The Welsh dragon's always been here. It's around the year. Yeah, no, she's just saying she had to try one. Oh. They're currently towing out the barges for tonight. I saw the bridge open about five minutes ago, but it was a hard shot to get for you. Robert D is watching. There's no AP drink at Joffrey's right now. No AP drink at Joffrey's. However, there is the citrus frosted iced tea, which is a tangy blend of frozen Minime lemonade, iced tea, and orange tangerine syrup garnished with a glazed orange peel. And you can get a spirited version with vodka for $14.99. Check out these topes. We're ticking and we're talking with Peter Pan, Captain Hook. Genation. So I was watching a, uh, a YouTube video uh, about the location of where the real Neverland would be. Okay. And it is a atoll off of the coast of South America. Really? Yes. Where nobody grows up? Is it a blue zone? 
Uh, so it is a it is a blue zone. It's also where the, uh, the fountain of youth uh, is alleged to be. Nah, they're wrong. I know. Yeah, well, but it's they're close. Yeah. Uh, well, that's why I said alleged. Alleged, alleged. Uh, that's cool though. I did not know that. Calculated it based off of the flora and fauna on the island. <laughs> Uh, his story, like, uh, because Captain Hook was originally a, uh, a bosun mate for Blackbeard. Oh, okay. And also the direction that they fly when they take off from the Tower of London. Oh, I love those deep dives. And I bet you somebody did think of that. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah so they flew southwest from London. Of course. Down to uh, South Towards, America. yeah. And then they based it off of, well, there, it had to be a saltwater crocodile, mm -hmm. um, which is in kind of all of the area between like the Amazon, Florida and northern South America. Yeah. Um, and then uh, certain birds and certain plants, they were like, they narrowed it down. And then they were like, well, where was Blackbeard? These are the deep dives I love. It was so, so interesting. I love stuff like that. By the way, for those who like fun facts, see this rock formation? It turns into a light at night, the top piece of the rock pops up and this is what lights this entire sidewalk at night more things you probably didn't realize here at epcot they're still pulling the barges out there's one missing here you can see one getting pulled in that bridge is up they do tow these barges in and out every day and i'm so happy they do that's what we missed and loved all right continuing on right everyone okay this also turns into a light tower as well. Flowering garden, the park is so beautiful. These are some nice topes. Here's Bambi Northern and Blue. Thumper. Let's just look at the menu. Real Northern Bloom, Canada Booth always delivers. Look at Daniel making friends over there. All right, let's go look at the menu. Cutting across. Now, 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 go, go. We got some seared scallops with French green beans, marble potatoes, and a bacon vinaigrette. You got some beef tenderloin tips with a mushroom bordelaise sauce, whipped potatoes, and garden vegetables. Both sound amazing, but I am so full. Then they also have, I like everything. See the beer flight I'll do right now. I'm just so full. I don't think I could do any more food. I'm shot. I know. I'm just, my, I am so full. I don't know how, is anyone still, I, I'm full. I'm pretty full. I'll do the beer flight, but I can't eat anymore. This, this is why we have to do several streams from food and wine. I am stuffed. Yeah. Let's do it. I'm into it. Check out these awesome topiaries. All right. We're following Stephen Noon. He's going to go to the Swirl Showcase and show you how they do the liquid nitrogen ice cream, which is a fun. It's fun to see. If you don't know about liquid nitrogen, it is extremely cold. You need to wear gloves. It's probably good content if you want to film it too. Uh, he's doing, he's doing the uh, liquid nitrogen ice cream. So our next stop is Swirled Showcase. Also, so next time we're here, we'll do Canada. We'll also do the refreshment board. I just, we are so full. There's so much food. We've really been pushing it. <laughs> Physically, financially, spiritually, mentally. There's also the Honey Bistro. Just what a day. It's hard to do it all. Can I ask you a favor? Can you hold up for one sec? Aiden had them. Oh, that's it. Oh, that was like seven cracks. I felt so 
Pete is uh, part glow stick. Oh, I am. I am. That's why he's red all the time. You're right. I'm not to glow. That felt so good. Fresh out of the freezer. Oh. I didn't want it on me, but it's fine. Well, Marquita didn't want it on her either. It's fine. I'm here for it. Thanks for watching, everyone. What hour are we on? 19? I can't believe you still have that here. We're still, I can't, I can't. Well, it's, it's 340 minutes, so nearly six hours, over six hours? Yeah. It's too much. 300 minutes is what? Five hours? Yeah, 300 minutes is five hours. Yeah, so nearly six hours? We're gonna show this nitrogen. I just wanna know if anyone else will eat anything else. If not, we could always, we're gonna be back here a million times. I love flour. This is why you should subscribe and all those other fun things. Man, it has been day. Yeah, no, I I want air conditioning and I want hydration. I'll keep going until fireworks. I just need like... I'm going to ride sword over the world. Yeah. Oh, 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 wait, great. what is that? That, here, get that drink. It looks fantastic. We're going to have to do it. I also feel like I can tell you. Yeah, hundred percent. Just so I sure, but I knew that before he said that the way he talked. Yeah. Because there's an air of why are you stopping and talking to me, but also. I'm Is yeah. Fun? That's oh. that's that's the energy of Boston. That's the energy of the Northeast. Yeah. Daniel, what are you getting? We're I'm here to film it. Oh, you already got one? All right, here we go. We're watching them. Here we go. You can see how delicate and beautiful. Of course. Receipt, please. So what you see Carlos working with is the edible flowers. I'm assuming that as a berry compote, but I haven't even looked at it. Thank you. I'll hold it for them. Oh, okay. One more cheesecake, please. Is that a berry compote? Are you putting music over this? Am I ruining it? Like, what am I saying yes to? If it falls, there we go. Into the liquid nitrogen. Oh boy. Next yes to the receipt. Let's go on. Hello. All right. So, wow. for the soft serve, we have the grape jelly soft serve, that the looks peanut butter so soft good. serve, and the two vanillas. I'm not a dessert guy, but that looks amazing. Yes. This is... Yeah, sorry, pick a good song. You don't want that silence anyway. I feel bad. He doesn't tell me he's taping. He's like, just want to put a song over it. Plain grape jelly, and then we have the peanut butter. Is that plain as well? Yes, finished product right there. That's... Sweet, sassy, molassy. All right. Oh, yeah. Daniel, what did Daniel get? Daniel oh, got, got the peanut butter one. and jelly. Oh, yeah. No, he got one, too. We have a vanilla. Oh, he did, too. All right. Cone. We have the peanut butter cone. See, I don't like peanut butter and jelly. But this looks fabulous. This was at Honey Bistro. Which is right there. Yep. And this year they just smashed it in nitro. Food. So I have, a, I have a question. You've had, you have both. What's your favorite? Take your picture. Is it the PB and J? Uh, do you need? I will hold. Them. But if I want something light, I will go with peanut butter and jelly. If I want something decadent, and I'm gonna have to sit down for a few minutes and drink some water. It's the ice cream. Yeah. The, the, let me try. I want to try a little bite. I'm, I'm curious. I'll try it anyway. I try everything. I agree in life you should try everything once. All right, here we go. Oh, that's delicious. Should I get both right down the middle? Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. But this is why I like different palettes. To me, that is the worst thing I've had today. But you love it. it I'm just not a peanut butter and jelly guy. If you like peanut butter and jelly, it tastes. It does because I don't like peanut butter and jelly. But this is so good for me. Before the peanut butter and jelly, 
caramel. You're good. You can go ahead. Sorry. Salty, salty caramel. Oh, salted caramel is so good as well. This is the exit. Sorry. Everybody does the same thing. But if you like peanut butter and jelly, like Daniel, you'll probably love this. You're a good human being. Are you guys staying hydrated all day? No. Water hydrated? No. There's free water at this refreshment for right here. Thank you. Thank you. you get free water right there at refreshment I will right now. Wait, do I can I go this way or around? I don't know where she came from, but me too. That's a nice cast member. Hi. I would just send by an angel. She said, you need hydration. So she said to come here for water. Oh, okay. Well, that's where I'm going. Red hat. I know I was in the blue shirt. I'm gonna go jump in. I'm gonna jump in. They were in our last live stream. Let's go jump in theirs. our newest festival tradition and I waited till you turn that oh, off yeah. is is reviewing the same food and seeing what you thought after we had it it's like you are bright red you need sunscreen I know, everyone's yeah. been saying it I mean we're live I know I'm red I went through I worried if you have extra I'll take extra I put it on this morning and everyone's like Pete you're dying and I'm like I'll be fine it's just yeah. the first Florida sun of the year. Yeah, I, I we've had a weird January. How many suns are on you today? Uh, uh, really <laughs> so many bright suns. Yeah, bright suns. I think you were back on about two. Yeah, it was a few bright suns. You got a gate. I mean, the first base layer. You guys just got this? No, we got it way earlier. Oh. We, we started here and went all the way around. Like, we're finishing Squirrel Showcase and Honey Bee Stroke. Oh, Squirrel Showcase. It's been a day. <laughs> Do you like it or no? We don't know, we can't go. go. So oh, so he had it, and I don't like peanut butter and jelly. He loved it. That's Daniel the Tomorrowland Traveler. Okay. Um, I said I've never liked peanut butter and jelly, so I was not a fan, but I like the other. Oh, the... The, the one they make, you know, with the oh, nitrous, yeah, yeah. which is cool. Yeah. The whole show. I'm, guess I'm, just, I'm a fan of a show. It's too hot for ice cream. Right. <laughs> but what was your favorite best. dishes of the day so far? I'm assuming... I, I actually, honestly, I think this one. The, That's a solid. The cauliflower yeah. in here. And I like the rhubarb. Strawberry rhubarb upside down. Yeah, that was great. Okay, that was from what the fresh. Uh, Florida, Florida fresh. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question for you. What did you think? Oh yeah, that was good. Banana solid. Yeah, it was solid. Just not like lower. Yeah, no, it just. I mean, it was like taste and. It was bananas foster. I mean, it was like nothing to write home. Lobster tail. It's what we've been talking to a lot of people about. Oh, okay. This talking earlier about this is that like. We, everybody I've talked to has said they love it. Like, that was like the, fam, the thing that tasted the best for them. But, like, I think we got a bad lobster tail. Like, I think it was. It was so pungent. I'm like, there's no way. So, I said I thought they overdid the butter to cover something up because I got a piece with a lot of butter. Yeah. And the butter was good and the lobster tail was good, but I was like, it's almost like 
they're using so much butter to cover something up. Yeah. Where like the lobster should just speak for the lobster. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah. And especially since it was well, you didn't know warm water, warm water, lobster, lobster. It's and that like yeah. more dense circulation. And we were all talking. Yeah. By the way, hi. Do you know what? You know. All the yeah, we met them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The lobster actually. Yeah. 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 This is literally, this feels like, I, yeah, it was like, we just surrounded I feel you. like this is the comedy from my day. Yeah, that is. Yeah, yeah, so, um, but no, yeah, that was the thing too, where I was like, I don't think, think that, that's comedy, that's like, yeah, so weird. But our stuff was something that's weird. Oh, and when funky. we credit, as New Englanders, it was funky. It was. Well, do you like anyone who... Like, we're, I'm from New York, he's from Rhode Island, so like, we like these, yeah, we like the cold water yeah, yeah. By the way, thank you so much. Everyone, for the record, put it all over my body. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, that's what I'm feeling like I need to do the but yeah, um, I don't know, it's okay. The veal thing, like, I, love, yeah, I like the veal. Yeah. The veal, I think veal's very hard to cook. I thought they did a great job. Yeah. Normally it gets dried out pretty quick. We had uh, one piece on there that was dried out for sure, but the other, the second piece I had was was solid. That pea puree risotto was I thought the risotto that was, was awesome. Right. Oh, I liked yeah, it. That was absolutely. I'm yeah. not a huge fan of the pea. With the yeah. Ben's original. Arborio rice. Uh, yeah. But uh, apparently this rice isn't Ben's original, or at least it doesn't say it. I don't, I'm upset by it. Did you guys have any good drinks, good beers or cocktails or anything? Did you any that? That's, that's the beer man to talk Yeah, I would say if you're into beer. Uh, uh, I books. There was a very interesting one. There is a Fruit Punch Gummy Bear IPA. Yeah, I have that. that yeah, yeah. Refreshment yeah. Punch, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, said, I thought it was like a little... I liked well, it. I thought it had... So that's no. the whole thing is I said she, she, she said it's more like an EPA that it's a pale ale that had uh, and I okay. said they must have put it up front because a lot of the beer making process but like so the, for instance like in the Odyssey yeah. they had an yeah. orange beer that I thought it was just too much orange and a yeah. orange peel to finish yep. and I said they probably just put a lot of orange peels in a that's what you said and, and then in the bright tank in the finish so you pick up all that orange on the finish and it was like yeah. that burnt orange or peel yeah. orange yeah it was like the same thing bad. with the the lemon shandy it just tasted like lemon peel it at the is. end yeah. just the fact that bitter. i didn't like lemon shandy i said you i, I know, actually didn't know, mind lemon shandy as shandy. much i said if you pretend if you've had a blue moon yeah, you sucked yeah, orange for lemon. yeah but i mean then that's how like, yeah. Yeah. most people would serve it until blue moon came around and then it switched to orange so i did just but there was the other fruit punch beer out of America. America. America, America. We didn't try that one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, we good? Was unapologetically yeah. fruit punch. Oh. Like not oh. trying not to be fruit punch. Like it's it didn't taste thing. like beer. It tasted like you were a child. Which one was that? In America. The yeah, we didn't get that one. In America. Yeah, it was on my list. The beer yeah. flight in America was probably one of my favorite beer flights. Ghost of the, in the Machine Double IPA they brought back from last year. But I'm a huge Double IPA fan. I love Ghost Machine. Yeah. So like. It's, you it's have a, to like IPAs. It's a grocery store here for me, though. No, it's like I agree, but there's been several they, of those today. If they had I don't to, I know. Here's my thing: if I'm going to come back several times and us as locals do this, and I'm going to go watch a show at the American Gardens Theater, I know I could go to Ghost Machine Double IPA, have like one or two, be in a good spot, and enjoy the show. And yeah, have and nice have a good little, drink, right? Have a nice day around the world. Because you, you know you're going to pay a premium. Either way, but so. also, you know, they obviously like bring back certain people for certain reasons and price points. Yeah. Oh yeah. The fruit punch I thought was interesting there, like, but the other one was interesting because it doesn't taste like beer. No. That's what I thought. Was, I was like, oh. Okay. It, like, you said it was like Hawaiian. Well, wait, are you talking about the one in America? He the was, one... no, he, the, well, he so was. The one in but America the, is uh, like, will mess with your head because they don't even make it a temper taste like beer. It tastes like a okay. fruit juice box. Yeah, so no, the one in Equatorial right. Africa oh. tastes like they tried yeah. to bring it to an IPA. And it, I told everybody, like, if you drink it at first, it tastes good, and then it kind of holds up the flip. Okay. Uh, yeah. In my opinion. What's but, the percentage on the one in America, though? Like, is it one? Is it like a chauffeur hooper? Like, I said, you know so what I mean, mean? an interesting opportunity today. They don't give you the ABVs on the cards no. or in the passports. Right. But they're probably interesting. interesting. Uh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Either place, no 
Normally, that ADD is posted everywhere. Right, yeah, absolutely. No matter where you go. It used to be in the park, too, so it's really interesting. Anyway, we crashed you guys, but I, I just want to go over and say hi. Yeah. And uh, because now, it's opening day, I'm like, we got to go over and say hi to the Diz, so <laughs> go follow all their really great reviews. Yeah. It's not second time, is it? You're one of the four yeah. people not the following tomorrow. the Diz. Uh, yeah. Oh, I like that. What's, what? I'm like one of the four people oh, not following the Diz. Yeah, there's four people. Come try the margarita hey. tomorrow. Hey. Did you tell them about the margarita? That's an opportunity. What? Margarita tomorrow? Margarita tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow there's a secret margarita. Oh, really? Uh, it's a coffee one first. So, no, 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 tomorrow's a secret coffee margarita in Mexico. Oh, man. Inside at the bar? No, outside. 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 Okay. I'd yeah, like peanut really butter and jelly. It's going to come later. Oh, like that one for a second. Yeah. It's kind of like um, the Nose Man. You really okay. tell people we like? The cauliflower is really good. Yeah, yeah, we like it too. Like either photogenic or. What? I thought both margaritas are great. The lychee uh, threw me through a loop, uh, okay. but Wait, then they gave the, me the recipe. The, what was the one we got? Lavender. Uh, the, uh, Lavender. Yeah. yeah. We did that last year. That was disappointing. That's all it makes I normally like, so. It's more like a gin base, like a lavender drink. I actually did think the gin based drinks this year were better than years last past. Year. Okay. The lemonade's good, but I'm going to Gin drink and I didn't know I'm like, no, no, it's it, actually it, really it good. It tasted like a garden. It tasted, I, I don't like watermelon. Yeah, and it was very cute. And I had the alcoholic version, which you're not surprised. So it's not worth the money. I think it's like $12 for a dentist rinse cup. But, but to do what we had to do it for the stream. But I, it, I said, if you're going to have a flower garden festival, it tasted like if you juiced a cucumber and a watermelon, added a little gin, it was very well done. There's a cucumber watermelon a juice at Trader Joe's that I'll get and literally just that gin and maybe like a little... I feel like this should be an experiment okay, side by side. Up. Anyway, we just want to say hi. Sorry, we crashed. Oh, no. We waited. Yeah, no, good. But we love everybody. Everyone loves everybody. This is why we like the tiz. All right. Love you all. Thanks for doing all the, work, the hard work out there. I know. I'll, I'll be fine. Thanks for the lotion. Let's keep it moving. Yeah. A, a woman stopped and literally bent over in shock from how red he was. Oh. Yeah, like, like and she just came out of nowhere and she just popped into the group. And she goes, so you're red. so red. And I go, thanks, ma'am. Have a great day at Epcot. Hope you're having a good time. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, yeah, first of all, the movie is called Turning Red. Uh, and, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We love you guys. We'll see you later on. Everyone knows the Diz. Go follow the Diz. You got Rhino and Craig having a good time out here at Disney. Here at Pineapple Promenade, you have a spicy hot dog, a Dole Whip pineapple, as well as, I'm sorry, you can look too. I'm so sorry. Beverages and alcohol, you got a, a pineapple wine, you got a Dole Whip pineapple with a mango cream liqueur, a violet lemonade beer, a tropical jefe. We got to get Ferris to try the Vital Lemonade. There's a pineapple beer, beer flight. I feel like I have to do the pineapple beer flight. We also need Ferris to try that beer. So he'll like it because it's sweet? Well, because he loves the Violet Sake. Oh, you're right. Who loves hot dogs? This guy. Where's your hat? You're going to turn red like me. Cover that face. Ryan will give me lotion so my shoulders and face are covered. Are you ashamed to wear the ABC hat? How dare you? The new ones close are the Tropical Hibiscus oh, okay. and the Wicked Weed. Yeah. Wicked Weed. All right, should we do a little beer flight? I'm going to pull up on one of these tables then. All right, never mind. Anyone? You got it? Someone want to save a table? I think it's your glasses. We're, we're so white. He is much worse <laughs> off than he just replied. Um, I'm, I, 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 yeah, no, this is, it happens to the beginning of the season every year. So this is like. It's a major concern. Honestly, if you're concerned about how red I am, uh, here's a way you could let me know. Hit the subscribe button. And you watch how red you get. No, no, and then you, yeah, you can see the progression. See how red is this guy all the time. You don't know unless you subscribe and you're consistent. It's about consistency. That is hilarious. That's so funny that one woman goes, sir, over she, like, to Ryan. Over. Yeah. Huh? Hey, what's up, Wendy? How's things? Hold on. Look at this beautiful group. Wow, this is where they all gather. Really? <laughs> 
I'm fine. So then I saw you not that long. So why don't we try to really like this at your table? It was that red Friday. Oh. It was literally that red Friday. I would buy it. I don't know. Maybe it's just on camera. <laughs> I wonder if it's just red or on camera. I thought you said it was that inside the water. I like the Oh my god. No, the hat is my favorite. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I, uh, my hands were really sticky. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
That's nice. Good. I like the, the night nice one. We got a good one with the uh, going by out like in Magic Kingdom, in front of Magic Kingdom, out in front of the train station. It was got the red and green during Christmas. Yeah, did you get that one? Nice. Yeah. I just like those style shots. Yeah. What is Steven getting? Is he only getting the collie or is he getting I don't, I don't know if he was getting something, but we did the He's in the line. Waffle. We did the chicken and waffle last year. I'm not, not, I'm not a chick I did not. I like chicken and waffles. I did not like it. It was dry. It looks like it's burnt. It was not. It was like burnt and dry. I just, He's I, a cord. And they got rid of the little flatbread that was really good. I was sad about that. <laughs> Thank Hello guys, I know that uh, we've been ignoring you. Uh, Pete is catching up with some of the guys from WDWNT. Uh, so I figured I would try and talk to the chat a little bit. Um, I know that there's a hundred of you in there, so I feel like, feel bad having you guys get ignored. Uh, 
15 strokes from each other every night. <laughs> Uh, we're just looking at a tree. Pete reapplied some sunscreen. He has aloe at home. He will be okay at the end of the day. We appreciate the concern. Oh, we're back. Oh, that's our Marquita. Hi, everyone. So sorry about that. I'm going to go get this last year flight, and I think that's how we're going to uh, say hurrah, hurrah. Oh, put it, oh, everything you need to do, you put my bag. I'll be RB. Hi, everyone, we're back. Hey, Pete, do you want to bring that to me so I can talk to Chad at least? Sure. Tell him we're coming back. Yes. I don't know what angle you want. This is fine. I mean, we'll, we'll I'm going to probably switch it around, I guess. Or you can look at my big red head. Hey, yes, we are back. Oh no, that is all your... Six days until your Disney trip, you'll be down here in no time. But yes, I, uh, I made sure Pete got the uh, stream back up. He is currently in line for the pineapple beer flight from the pineapple promenade. All the, all the commercials, yeah. I have the chat on my own phone because it is very dim on Pete's screen. Uh, Pete has his brightness down very low and he also has a privacy screen so it's difficult for me to read on there. So I have chat down here. He was excited about this. Uh, he does enjoy fruited beers, but he likes them to be bitter, from what I've noticed. Uh, so maybe with the tartness of pineapple, will be a good flight for him. trying to catch up with chat a little bit there. Um, thank you all for saying uh, all the kind words about me being a good co-host. Uh, I do try my best when uh, Pete needs the, uh, the help. He makes it very easy, and so do you guys. Uh, 
You guys uh, have built a great community around Pete. Um, I mean, I'd still be here if you took it horizontal. <laughs> I know, I know, but they want me to, maybe I'm sitting no. on a chair or something like that. <laughs> waiting for his flight right now so we're gonna get a flight review Thing we're doing that I am killing the stream. Cool, it is on you now. See you later, WWNT. Hey, Tomas. Well, it was where Pete was. David Lung, we are back. Uh, we are back to being live. Uh, we had some technical difficulties there. Eric, are those shirts uh, kind of like Roosevelt's? Yeah, I heard you can kind of keep it stretchy, like such. Yeah, park candy. I really like the masks that they used. Yeah, these are, I like these a lot, and these are, um, like Roosevelt's the same thing I would size up like okay. Roosevelt's fit a little snug on me like this is a little baggy but the like next size down is just a little restrictive not much but I would I would size up but you get 15% off if you put WWE I'll check it out yeah they got some good tools. Yeah. I have bought this one before but I know that they're not the most uh, yes that is exactly the technical difficulty that I, that I am speaking of Also, the technical difficulty of Pete keeps wandering away, and technically, that is making it difficult for him to stream. Yes, I will read the the flight card while we're waiting for Pete to come back, so that. We can have something that I can talk about easy. So we have uh, the Tropical Hefe from Three Daughters Brewing in St. Pete. I know that Pete loves Three Daughters. Um, we have the Tropical Hibiscus Blonde Ale from Copper Point Brewing Company in Boynton Beach, Florida. And we have the Perny? Perny? Hazy, Haze Hazy IPA from Wicked Weed Brewing in Asheville. That's the second uh, beer that I've seen from uh, Wicked Weed Brewing in Asheville. Uh, heard great things about Asheville. Yeah, they like 
Yeah, I think if you stuck an orange slice in any of these beers, it would take up the entire beer because it is a flight. Um, they are, I would say, heavy sips. Yeah, yeah, beer shots. Pete is treating these beers like a... Uh, like a Guinness, he's letting them rest. I do apologize, I'm not as uh, great at uh, filling the space uh, as Pete is. Yeah, no, they're, they're, they're cooking in the sun, I'll be honest with you. I don't know why Pete has not come back. Um, he is having a conversation with uh, some of the guys from WDWNT. I believe that we are probably signing off after this, because this is the last spot around World Showcase. Marquita, I'm gonna drag Pete over by his ear. I tried. Marquita is trying to pull Pete over, but he is doing what Pete does best, which is talking to people. Alright, let's do this. I'm sorry I walked away. I'm trying to do some fun things behind the scenes. I don't know if anyone's back. Anyone back? Oh yeah, no, we're back up to uh, about 70 viewers. Love it. First of all, big shout out to Ryan for holding it down. Could not do without him. Could not do it without the entire squad. Brian. Oh, I got the front of the five. You got the front. Not a lot of people got the front. I know. I know you do. I know. Uh, we're going to do this beer flight, and then we're going to talk a little bit. Uh, right now, we are doing the beer flight from Pineapple Promenade, uh, starting with the Three Doors Brewing Tropical Hefe. Glenn is accusing you of alcohol abuse because you let these sit in the sun for too long. No, they're fine. They're still cold. 
They're also in cardboard and we're actually in a little bit of shape. Uh, this is St. Pete. We're the road, about two hours from here. Yeah, I was saying that you really enjoy Three Daughters. Yeah, and Eric actually knows somebody from Three Daughters. I'm going to jump in that conversation. Next up, Copper Point. Oh, I've been here. They're over at uh, Boynton Beach. This is the Tropical Hibiscus Blonde L. And then I was saying that this is the second beer from this brewery that you've had today. And I do love Wicked Weed, the finishing scrub. This is the Wicked Weed. Purdy Haze, Hazy IPA, which I think is new for me. Because they have an IPA called Pernicious. They have an, a hazy IPA. This is Bernie Hayes Hazy IPA out of Asheville doing amazing things. Look what? Yes, Coach. Pete has reapplied his sunscreen. He is yes. a little burnt. Rhino from the Diz gave me sunscreen. He is. He has aloe at home. I'll be fine. It's our first son of the year. I'm yeah. Okay. I'm kind of in the same boat as Pete. Me and Ryan are equally or beautifully ready. Yes. Yeah. Over here. Let me turn around. Look at both of us. There you go. Do you want to come sit? No, I'm, I'll stand. I'll stand. All right. I mean, I can stand up then, so we're the same. Do you want to stand? We're the same level now. Doing some table rearrangement. Oh, that's so just a shot of my neck. <laughs> just so I can get a little closer to you, that's all. Yeah. What are we at? 385 minutes. I don't know what that is. Well, 360 is six, six hours. So we're at 25. six and a half hours. Wow. It's been a day. It has been so much fun. I want to, um, first of all, well, thank you. Truly could not have done it without this guy today. Uh, the man is awesome. If you missed our one of my favorite streams of the year so far, even though I got a lot of great feedback, but if you missed our Valentine's Day monorail ride, you should go watch it. Me and Ryan can talk for hours, and we've done it on other streams, so I thought, why not? Let's just go do it together. So if you're looking for some romantic ideas and just want to talk about places that are fun to do for Valentine's Day, no matter when you visit, just romantic places, go watch it. We we have to do another one where we're not on a time crunch and we yes. can actually take our time and enjoy talking to the chat. That's actually the nine hour stream. We just sit down and talk about one topic. Honestly, nine hours. we could do it. <laughs> we could do and it. You, I would love to watch it. I, know, I don't know about all of we you. We could do it. But we could, we could talk about any topic for nine hours. Um, speaking of which, if we hit 9,000 subs, or when we hit 9,000 subs, we're only a, a few hundred away, I think about 200-ish. Uh, we were going to do a nine-hour live stream from Walt Disney World, so please subscribe. Make sure you get that bell on, hit all notifications. I'll be there for all nine hours. And Ryan has pledged all nine hours as well, which is awesome. Uh, very thankful to the rest of the group, too. we got Steven Noon here today, uh, Marquita, Daniel, the Tomorrowland Traveler. Go follow him. Um, who else am I missing? Who's been in and out all day? Uh, Ferris was here. Ferris was here. We had a lot of friends come and go throughout the day, and thank you to all of them for helping me make this stream a success. If you enjoyed the stream, please hit the like button. Uh, we're still going to stick around. I'm committed to hanging out all day and all night, so if you want to follow the shenanigans, the Instagram is at TikTok is Adventures by Carney. The Discord is Adventures by Carney. The, there he is. Twitter, Daniel. Is, uh, Twitter is your WDW guy. Yeah, Get in close. here, Daniel. Um, Marquita, we're signing off. Oh, I'm about to leave. Oh, well, I have to go say over here. But anyway, that's it. Thanks so much for being awesome. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Jump in the Discord. Do all the things. Uh, go follow um, everyone we talked about. Check the description. Everything's fun down in the description. Jump on our Discord. Please Thanks for jump being in the you. Discord. It's one of the best communities. And it really is awesome. Not even just a Disney community. We got sports. We got yeah. books. We got everything. It's really awesome. And uh, it's not my thing. It just kind of just became what it is. And I'm very lucky to be a part of it. So thank you so much. And if I could ask one last favor before we say goodbye is please just be kind to one another. You never know where somebody's coming from or what their story is. So let's just all make the world a little bit better and be kind to others. All right. I love you all. I love you guys. I love you guys. And I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.